So, Jimmy, what's going on with Leno? I'm sure you've heard that a lot in the last uh, few days. I'm more concerned with what's going on with Jimmy, with Leno. (laughs) Well, Um, you know, I think you did really well for for Leno, and I think you'll continue when he goes back to doing The Tonight Show. I hope it's an hour he gets back, and I hope he gets The Tonight Show back. Uh, Conan's so done. He might be, yeah. Conan O'Brien is so done. They're just trying to be nice guys at NBC and go, look, we want everybody. They're hoping Conan walks, and then they don't have to pay him his salary. If he doesn't (laughs) walk... Then they'll probably boot him and just pay him off. It seems like Jay. You I, can't give Jay Leno a half hour no, show. He's got to be happy about it. He, he. I don't think he ever wanted to do ten o'clock. Um, mm. And look, they sold NBC, got bought by Comcast, and a new guy came in, and I think he saw what it was and said, "What are you doing? You're going to ruin both." Because <laughs> Leno was making the money. It wasn't a financial mistake. No, but he wasn't getting the ratings that the affiliates wanted, and they were bitch. I mean, I'm just telling you, it's in the paper. It's obvious. Yeah, yeah. So. The pro- Here's the problem I had. People who didn't like the show, that's all right, fine, you didn't like the show. He's a guy who was thrown with a brand new format at 10 o'clock, and he had to change everything he was doing, or a lot of what he was doing. And the, the people were murdering him. He's a failure. It was terrible. None of these fucking critics, none of them, are going after Conan. And uh, I'm not even saying that Conan shouldn't be given time. Because if you gave Conan, it took Leno three years for The Tonight Show. If you gave Conan a year... Two years, maybe or maybe he wouldn't. It's still too short to tell. I, I, I have to jump in. I don't think you could give Conan that much time, <laughs> knowing that Jay Leno was very successful and still number one in that time slot. I agree. So I mean, so you you yank the number one guy to bring in Conan, thinking he's going to be the future of your network. He's got to get the job done immediately. And while you were gone last week, Ant and I were talking about this, and we both had this observation that Conan O'Brien pretty much fell off the face of the map. Yeah, with his show being moved up an hour, you like don't no hear one, anything no one's about talking him. about Conan O'Brien. They were talking about him when he was on later. Yep, but no one's talking about this new show of his. What he did was because again, people made their decision on Conan already. It wasn't like he was a new guy. People knew Conan. They either liked him or didn't. Same as Leno Letterman. So he comes down. He probably brings his audience with him. And then Dave is beaten by two million people. And again, it's, I'm not even shitting on Conan. I'm really not. It's just I don't like the fucking fact that the critics. None of them were talking about that. Yeah, yeah. None of them. And he didn't have to change anything. He stepped into a number one spot, and you're going to lose people. It's just the way it is. Of course. But they're not attacking him at all. And people who I've talked to who are real fans of the show said the show did change when he moved to a certain degree. So it's, where are they? Where are these fucking little faggot bloggers and critics attacking Conan with the same venom and the same purpose that they were attacking Leto for. Yeah, he's right. That's what. That's the only thing that bugs me. Again, people who thought Leto's show wasn't good, or, or again, that's just your. Th- you don't like it, fine. Sure. It's that the lack of balance makes me fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. Makes so, me crazy. Uh, so he's going back to eleven thirty. Ru- rumor is uh, Conan's got offers from Fox. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he does. He has to. Yeah. Who knows though? I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. Well, NBC, they want to look like good guys, so they're just going to wait it out. Yeah. And hope that uh, Conan goes to Fox, I think. But then they got to compete against Conan, so it, it's a weird little puzzle I don't think they got to they figure care out. about competing against Conan. He's not yeah. even proven that he could do anything. It makes Conan less of a marketable commodity at 1130 because he had a tough time against Dave. Who, uh, you know, yeah, it's Letterman. And Letterman, in fairness, did have all that stuff with the cheating. It's like he had a lot of stuff happen. Perfect timing. But, but Leno Perfect was timing for the cheating. Perfect. If you're, yeah. you're going to get caught for cheating, you might as well have it to work out in your, yeah, when, your favor. When the other network is shaking stuff up. <laughs> right. But I think that um, Conan would have a very tough time against Leno. I think what should happen, and this won't happen, is Conan should just go back to where he was. Leno should go back to where he was. And they should have a joint press conference where they say it wasn't broke. We tried to fix it. Um, and again, this way, everybody is okay, and they stay. Leno goes, hey, I moved. It didn't work out. Conan goes, I moved. It didn't work out. They can both stand there and kind of fucking take the beating with the network as opposed to Conan looking worse because he fucked up the Tonight Show or Leno looking shitty because he blew time. It's like it's all this shit. It was, I would love to see them both just go, eh, mm-hmm. it happened, and the network going, it's our responsibility. We should have left these guys who yeah. are both kicking ass where they were. And then everybody goes back and is happy. Wow, well, leave it alone. That's going to be rough. It's not going to happen, but I that's mean... That's going to be rough for Conan to swallow that pill. That's hard for Leno, too, I'm sure. Leno had to swallow the pill when he went to 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. He had to swallow the pill being booted as number one. He mm-hmm. hadn't lost anything. Yeah, can, well, like, why? We can learn from this, Leno. I, Dude, 
We can learn Absolutely. from this, Leno. Because <laughs> if that move was done to you and I while we're on top, we'd be motherfucking everybody. Then we'd be on the oh, unemployment line. Yeah. Leno just kept his mouth shut, was a company guy, did what they uh, wanted from him. And look, with the look, they move him right back into his slot. But when, with he, the punches. when he makes a remark, though, I, don't know, I would love to roll with the punches. I don't know how you do that. Because though. when he makes a comment, it counts. Like what he did was, and I said this to him, I was, I'm like, dude, you, I, I said, you're so smart in interviews. You never give them anything like that they can just run with. And he was like, eh, you know, you know, you just kind of you, you take it and you he's just you know, he's just very kind of like, yeah, he's very ambiguous about stuff. And he's like, you know, it's like cause they try to get you to say stuff. He's like uh, when they said I was wanted to go back to 1130. He's like, the guy asked me like three times in different ways. Do you want to go back to 1130? I'm like, yeah, I'll just do what they want me to do. What if they wanted you to go back to 1130? Well, I'll do what they want me to do. Oh, boom. Let us go back to 1130. It's like they try to ask you a certain way to get the sure. response they want. And he's really smart with that stuff. Well, well, he has a mouth off. Well, there's three great uh, quotes in the paper today <laughs> yeah. about the situation. This is what Jay Leno had to say. To be fair, NBC is working on a solution. They say in which all parties will be screwed equally. That's certain NBC touch. Yep. It's Leno just having fun with it. Conan writes uh, or, or said, NBC has come up with an exciting new idea. They want me to follow Jay Leno. <laughs> and then Fallon actually had the best one of, uh, of all three. It will be interesting to see how Jay and Conan do against Dave and how we do against the perfect push-up infomercial. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Fallon. That's what good. happens to Fallon? His, his show has a nice one, little buzz. 105 a.m. is what they were saying. Really? Yeah. But it's, it's yeah. odd to me that they would... I think Fallon has a buzz, don't you think? Uh, I don't know what the ratings are saying. <laughs> yeah. Why do you give Conan and Fallon an hour, though, and give Jay a half hour? It doesn't make sense. They're not giving Jay a half hour. It doesn't make sense. They can't. They're not. Mark my word. I don't know shit. The, Jay Leno is not doing a half hour. This is all about negotiating and just kind of hanging in there. There's contracts involved and all that. Mm -hmm. That's like you just get up to speed after a, a half hour. Well, you, Leno's you, monologue alone is what? The yeah. first segment on these shows is about 12 minutes long, it seems, right? I think he does That's a long the monologue, show. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a long monologue, and then he's got like some kind of other uh, goofy thing, and then well, the show's over. That's it. And then there's no guests? Yeah. Wouldn't make you know. Silly. And you got to have time for Jimmy. I hope so. Of I'm, I, know, I know I'm scheduled for tomorrow night. And I'm doing my, uh, the next uninvited guest is actually the 11th. You'll be on Leno tomorrow night? Yeah. That's a nice spot, because everybody's taking a peek now. And I'll be watching the 11th. People that haven't hope. been taking a peek are now taking a peek, yeah, no matter what. Look. Now they'll look. You'll be part of uh, the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. You proved yourself. If, uh, I don't know what his format will be. They've always had correspondence and comedy bits, too, so it's not like, I, I hope he goes back to what he loved doing, which was the big monologue, some bits up front, uh, guest, guest, music. Right. Um, well, he's got to stick with that formula. I love that formula. It worked. Yeah. It fucking worked. And there's mm -hmm. less room for comedy correspondence there, but there's still enough mm -hmm. room where they did have guys going out and doing bits. And it wasn't like they didn't no, have I it. I think you got a spot with Jay. <laughs> I don't know. I really believe that. Jimmy. I hope so. I think you proved yourself. Uh, well, speaking of Jay Leno, this is his monologue from the 8th. What day are we up to? So this was Friday's monologue when it was all going down. Now, here's some frightening news. Kev, this will interest you. Okay, what's up? Uh, the world, the, well, the Worldwide Fund for Nature came out with its list of 10 species most likely to be extinct in the near future. You know what number, no, number one was? What's that? Us. Yes, <laughs> us. <laughs> I guess, I'm sure you heard these rumors that NBC is talking about canceling our show. You know what that means? You know what that means? I didn't sleep with any of my staff for nothing. <laughs> Well, if they did cancel us, it would be an easy move for me because I still have an unpacked from the last show they canceled us. So it's just, everything's still back there, so it's fine. No problem. But to be fair, to be fair, NBC is working on a solution, they say, in which all parties will be screwed equally. So I think it takes, it's that certain NBC touch. I am proud to say the post office coming out with the Jay Leno stamp. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's good. Well, that's good stuff. It gets canceled after four months. But you want to get the stamp. <laughs> right after it. <clears throat> yeah. And then uh, Conan from Friday. Let's see how he handled it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for that. We've got a great show for you tonight. Uh, I have no idea what time. You can hear it in his that's, voice. But that's a funny. I can, can see where he's going with it. That's very funny. Voice. Yeah. 
You can hear it in his voice. He's defeated. Poor Conan. No idea what time it will air, but it's going to be a great show. Let me promise you that. <laughs> but no. Don't set your... We're going to screw up a lot of DVRs with this. Uh, I'm sure... I'm sure you've uh, all heard the rumors, ladies and gentlemen. NBC has finally come up with an exciting new idea. They want me to follow Jay Leno. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> they thought it was... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I gotta sit down. <laughs> yeah. Woo! I've been working on this. You gonna be all right? Oh, they gotta rewrite the history books yeah. on that one. <laughs> No, I had a really weird day. Uh, when I got to work this morning, there was a 1923 Duesenberg parked in my spot. Yeah. <laughs> He's calling me later. He'll call. Eh, with no Duesenberg in 23, they didn't start till 23. <laughs> eh. uh, he does that on the phone. Uh, I uh, do have to let you know that, ladies and gentlemen, I've been advised until this whole thing is sorted out, NBC lawyers have asked me to refer to this program as the sometime at night show with some white guy. So, yeah, enjoy. Thank you. It's funny. It's doing funny, it through, uh, yeah, it's funny. He's doing it through clenched teeth, though. Yeah. And he's getting the jokes out, getting yeah. big laughs. And then, uh, what the hell, on Friday, Craig Ferguson from CBS, who has nothing to do with this, had a lot of fun with the whole uh, Leno rumor. Now, this is the latest I've heard. I don't know if this is true, but this is the rumor I've heard. This is the one that's going around the late night circles. Jay moves to... Uh, 11.30, and he does a half-hour show between 11.30 and 12. Then Conan does 12 to 1, and then Fallon does 1 to 2. I think that's what, that's what the rumor is tonight. I don't know if that's going to happen. And I'm thinking, where's Carson Daly in all of this? But... <laughs> but I have to tell you... Now, watch the other, you know, NBC making this terrible mess of their schedule. And the guys that they're moving, they're nice guys. I know these guys. They're perfectly nice guys. They're professional. They're, they're good at their jobs. But they get moved around. And when I watch the other guys making a mess of it, I think... <laughs> Like when you're playing a game of football and there's a guy coming to tackle you and he kind of trips and you go. <laughs> anyway, I just want to assure you of this. As as uh, you know, the other guys they're they're doing all this stuff. They're they're making all these mistakes. But I I do like to think that we still make the crappiest late night TV. <laughs> but what did we do? We sucked at the same damn time every night. <laughs> I guess we didn't have to play that. Ah, whatever. Mm -hmm. So there you go. A lot of people give uh, him props. I uh, you're not a big fan of the Craig not Ferguson. Not a big fan of the Craig Ferguson. Kind of, uh, I kind of yeah. take a look at it once in a while. No, can't so, be can't be bothered. So Jimmy will be on Leno tomorrow night. Yes, it's a it's a and then round did panel discussion, like one of those discussion things with Corolla and Megan McCain. Why Megan McCain again? Why? Why? Because because. Yeah. Because, because. <laughs> I don't know. And then uh, when does uh, Jay go off the air? Right, uh, right before the Olympics? 12th. His <laughs> last show is the 11th. The Olympics are a couple weeks away. The late night wars. Are you following this, Anthony? Oh, oh, be uh, horrible. The death toll now climbing uh, to what? In this late night war. Well, the death toll definitely took out Conan. Yeah, I think Conan is Dunsky. And he is saying, Conan's saying, ha, 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 you for, for this uh, later it, time slot. I think a lot of people read the Conan O'Brien statement yesterday, and it basically says, fuck you, NBC. You don't yeah. have to read it. No. It's, it's long. Yeah. And he talks about, it could have been a Bob Costas moment, how he had a dream I had a of dream. one day of hosting the tonight show and that yeah. dream came true and blah 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 and the dream came true <laughs> right off main street <laughs> um yeah but he basically said yeah i'm not doing that 1205 shit no he said the tonight show is at 11 30 mm -hmm. as you put it on later it's not the tonight show and he's not going to do it and uh that's that but uh, Conan's saying that because there's got obviously a clause in his contract that he doesn't have to do, you know, the show any later than 11:35. Oh. And at that point, you know, he gets to negotiate it out with NBC. Yeah, they're gonna pay him or something. And and they don't want to pay him the whole nut because it's a lot of money. So now Conan goes, all right, well you pay me some of the money, uh, but uh, wave that damn no compete 
Because that's what what happens in radio and TV. Yeah. You leave one company, they say, well, you can't work for anyone else for whatever. It could be six months, could be a year, could be could be the length of his contract. Yeah. So now he's basically probably going to say, all right, you waive the, the no-compete. I'll give you a break on, on the money you owe me. And then he's going to show up at Fox. It's Go obvious he's Fox. going to Fox. Right? Oh, yeah. But he's saying there's no deal. There's no deal in writing. Yeah, but... I mean, obviously, he's a commodity. Somebody's going to want him for a late night. They put that stupid George Lopez on, TBS. Is anybody watching that? Is that still on? Is anybody watching that? I, 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 I think we're the wrong skin tone. Yeah. Isn't he kind of going for, like, the... the uh, Hispanic audience? I think he's going... Ethnic? I think he's going for the ethnic audience. Ethnic? Yeah. I haven't even taken a peek. No. I have no interest. Uh, we got Letterman's monologue. Letterman's monologue last night was awesome. Did you hear it? No, or he's watch uh, it. He's acknowledging. Oh yeah, yeah. He's calling Jay Leno big, big, uh, big jaw Jay, or big jaw Leno, or something like that. Listen to this. Things are getting uh, interesting in late night television. You know what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, in late night television? Wait, wait, wait. Chaos and craziness oh. and mayhem. Wow. <laughs> A couple of minutes ago, Conan O'Brien, yeah. who was the host of The uh, Tonight Show yeah. over there at NBC, announced that he would not follow Jay Leno at 12.05. Oh, yeah. So, you know what this means? That's right, I knocked off another competitor. <laughs> Thank you. Conan said he made the decision not to follow uh, Leno at uh, 12.05 after he talked to Johnny Carson. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I would want. But listen to this. If uh, Conan does leave The Tonight Show, President Obama then has to appoint a replacement. Did you know that? That's how he... Oh, my God. Power and then I got a call just before I came out here from NBC, and they said, look, look, we still don't want you back. Okay. <laughs> really? They called. What? I said... And now, so J Jay Leno apparently is moving back to 11.30, and it's been hard on my mom. It's been tough on my mom. Really? Because for the last six months, she's been forced to watch me. Ah, uh, poor thing. <laughs> and now, according to the New York Times, Al-Qaeda is claiming responsibility for the wreckage at NBC. They're Crazy. They're claiming responsibility. It's and everyone is watching the late night shows right uh, now. I huh? know. Yeah, this is great for all of them. Absolutely. Apparently, uh, but uh, you know, how many are going to be there <laughs> to to reap the rewards of the uh, ratings? Yeah, I guess Jimmy Kimmel did his monologue and Jay Leno makeup last night or something. <laughs> so he's really? Getting everyone is just getting involved Jesus with this. Christ. Want to hear what uh, Leno had to say? It's short. Sure. This was from last night. Leno uh, talking about the situation. The guy that uh, wins. In the end, on this one, huh? Yeah. For sure, you know, NBC announced they're pulling a plug on our show February 12th, Kev. February 12th. Well, here's, the, listen to this. here's the amazing part. That is the exact date the Mayan calendar predicted we would go on to. Really? Wow. I got to tell you, you know, the folks here at NBC, they, they don't handle these things well. They don't have a lot of tact. Like that, too. They, after they canceled the show, they told me, if I put on 10 pounds, I can get on Biggest Loser. You know what I mean? <laughs> That didn't seem right. And you, 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 gave, you didn't do that? Well, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> they don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's what, amazing. NBC? The executives, yeah. Well, we've been in that situation. How are we at? Yeah, we're, they, they we're, come we're up with their brilliant ideas. And then they, they fail miserably, and then they don't fire themselves. They fire everybody around them. No, 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 no management heads roll. Ever. They just, uh, yeah, get rid of this one, get rid of that, put this one in this time slot, and then hope for the best. Yeah. I mean, someone, it was someone's idea to do this. <laughs> it was someone's idea to take the number one late night show, take the host, and move them. Right. And put someone else in there. Right. And, uh... Didn't work, and wh why? Why does that guy still have a job? Yeah, and se and they only gave him seven months. Yeah, they only gave Conan O'Brien seven months. I mean, you know, there's not much of a buzz on his version of the Tonight Show, but yeah, the fact remains he only had seven months. But I guess in media these days, you have to get the job done immediately, or 
or they yeah. start panicking behind the scenes. Yeah. So uh, let's get to Conan. Conan uh, Conan's gaining a lot of fans for this uh, thing. Yeah. He's getting, gaining a lot of sympathy through this whole thing. He's the underdog of the whole thing? At this point, yeah. I think a lot of people are on uh, Team Conan. And this is uh, what he had to say last night. Please, I may not have that much time. Please. <laughs> You're using valuable time here. <laughs> yeah, and he's gone. <laughs> Where'd he go? I don't know. They took him away. Yes, we took him away. <laughs> Thank you for that. Hello there. My name is Conan O'Brien, and I may soon be available for children's parties. So let me know. I made a peacock. Uh... Yeah. No, no, seriously, welcome to NBC, where our new slogan is, no longer just screwing up prime time, huh? <laughs> Crazy day. Crazy day. I've been giving this whole situation. It really has been crazy here, Andy. It's Andy. been it's been the most fun I've ever had in a showbiz scandal. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's fun. And uh, I've been giving this situation a lot of thought. You know, this is a true story. When I was a little boy, I remember watching The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson and thinking, someday I'm going to host that show for seven months. <laughs> I knew that was the perfect amount of time. <laughs> what I was going on, NBC says that they are planning to have the late night situation worked out before the Winter Olympics start. That's what they said, yeah. And uh, trust me, when NBC says something, you can take that to the bank. <laughs> yeah, they just are good people. They're very good people. A lot going on in the world. Senate, uh, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid is in the news. He's still under fire for remarks he made about President Obama's blackness. You reading about that? Yeah. Bad, yeah. Sources say Reid could face congressional censure or even worse, be promised The Tonight Show at 1130. <laughs> That's not good. I, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Uh, there is... Here's the difference I hear today. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, some good lines right there. Uh, we've been playing the monologues off and off since this whole thing broke, right? Yeah. There's a different energy uh, with Conan. Oh, yeah. He he knows something that uh, n nobody else knows yet. And that isn't that yeah, he knows that natured he... network ribbing that no, um, no. You, you recall uh, Letterman doing in no. the past. That is... He's taking some good shots. I am pissed at you. Right. That's Opie talking about serious management what? type of, type of uh, uh, jabs. <laughs> what? Pleasantries, my friend. That pleasantries. Was, no, he had no pleasantries <laughs> no, there. No. He's like good people. But good you, hear people. The, you hear the energy? It's different. Yeah. He's, he knows he's going to be okay, and, and, and I don't think from a money standpoint, I think he knows yep. that he will have a show in the very near future with a company that will embrace him oh, yeah. and want him. And give him a chance to succeed. That, yep. That's you can hear all that in that because the monologue a day. I think it was the day before. His energy was like, oh man, what the fuck? Yeah, getting fucked over, motherfucker. You, <laughs> you know what it is too. Uh, I think uh, for the most part, and this usually doesn't happen. The public knows that the real bad guy in this are the executives at NBC. Like, they don't usually get that, and they pick one guy and go, oh, I, I guess Leno's an asshole, or, yeah. you know, Conan, what a dick, he's not doing this, that. I think most people do understand that the network itself, the executives, fucked up Royal. Oh, yeah. So, you know, all the guys uh, have have a, a little bit of sympathy, and uh, the, the viewers are tuning in, mm -hmm. and it's like a whole other thing. Yeah, Conan will be just fine. Yeah, the, the executives, the nameless, faceless people. You yeah, don't even yeah. know who they are. Yeah. Everybody's talking about them, but you don't know who they yeah, are. Who they, the fuck? they know who they are. Oh, they oh, do. Oh, fuck, Conan's really giving it to me today. I bet there are some great closed-door meetings that just are, oh, people getting yelled at. Mm -hmm. Oh, temper tantrums, phones being thrown at walls. Sure. Gold so, records being th taken off the walls, just smashed, longer. smashed over a secretary's <laughs> head. Yes, exactly. Uh, John G. from Lexington writes, Jingleheimer Schmidt, his la, la, name la, la, is... La, la. Uh, he writes, just not. Oh. It was Leno's contract. He was signed, and Conan 
was going to be owed $50 million if he didn't get The Tonight Show. So they yeah. were in a huge bind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this comes down to all sorts of contracts. They would, Well, I, someone I, wrote the fucking contract. So. I think the executives got very greedy. Yeah. This is what happened. You know, they sign Conan, and then what? They tell him, if if we don't give you the Tonight Show by a certain date, then there's a payout or something. Yeah. And then they just expected, I guess, Leno to fade away at that point. But Leno's ratings were still hot, and as still he was number one. Yeah. So now they're like, nah, oh, fuck. Now what do we well, do? Well, that's a fuck up. Yeah. It's still, that's a fuck up. It's still fuck ups in the end. Ugh. Please. So we got oh. that going on, which is nice. Yeah. Andy Levy here from Red Eye. Jimmy's going to be on Red Eye tonight. Yes. What are you guys talking about on Red Eye? Anything good? I have no idea. We don't have a story meeting until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, I, but you go off the news, so you got to come up with some jokes about Haiti. Yeah, we'll be doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leno Conan thing? Yeah? yeah? We did that last night, so I don't All know. Right. Yeah. What's your take on that? I think, I think Conan's getting screwed. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. What do you think, Jimmy? Um... You're in a tough spot, but what do you think? No, I'll tell you, please. Yes and no. Um, he he is in a way like I, I don't I don't feel happy to see Conan getting shit like this. Cause I don't dislike Conan, but they should have never done it in the first place because uh, there was I, no reason to make the change. I think they fucked Jay really hard, uh, but I also think Conan like I think Conan probably could have made a lot more money somewhere else, and he stuck around. Like you know, what I, mean? yeah. I I think everyone's kind of getting screwed over. But it's not like Leno planned this. He didn't. It's like, you know, what are they supposed to do? He's not doing well at, in the Tonight Show spot, and it's not that he sucks or anything. It's just his fans came down and stuck with him, just like Jay's people came and watched him. It's just not the numbers anymore. I would love to see the numbers for Leno at 10 o'clock now that mm. this controversy hit. He, the numbers got to be really, really strong. Jim, yeah. do, do you blame yourself for any of this? <laughs> Dude, if you, don't, if you only knew how anything I attach itself to no. dies on the vine. No. Yeah. That's what Ant and I were saying. We're like, the luck Jimmy has, it's unfuckably evil. He's involved with stuff that really should be taken off, and for some reason not, they don't. You're like heartworm. Like, I, I fucking got I, lucky, Louie on HBO. There was no reason why they should have picked up a, 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 another season. No reason. The fucking Tough Crown thing was a fine show. Yeah. Two two years. Oh, I'm glad glad you're a regular on Red Eye, Jimmy. I know. So, <laughs> have fun with that, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> I really am the kiss of death. <laughs> I don't mean to be. I You'll just be, show up and have fun next week. But Jay loves you. You'll be part of uh, the Tonight Show now. I hope so. I, I hope. But again, I know what his format is going to be, but I, I certainly hope so. I think. Yeah. I would fucking hate not going out there. It's fun, man. No, nah, you. No, nah, you. You got a spot now. Absolutely. I hope so. Well, it depends on what they have. What they do at the show. If it's the old sh- format, right. there might be some spots here and there. Well, they would have to go mostly old format because that's what was number one with Jay. Yeah. Be or were they that too. stupid and, and wrecked that formula too? No, they wouldn't. Uh, you know, executives got to just leave shit alone. I know. Hire talented people, and then you, you just make believe you're doing something in your office. But That's then, your job. Then you don't feel important. No, yeah, you got to make big no. decisions. You oh. see the new, speaking of what, you see the new fucking coat hook, man? That took over a month. That's to nice, get though. Damn. Nice, right? Wow. Want to hang your coat over there? Yeah. Ah, I wish I, wish I would have thought of that. That's a good, that's a good second hanger for a derby. Yeah. Bring a derby in tomorrow. By the way, my manager is a fuck. He's coming in Friday. We have to have Jonathan on. I had dinner with him last night. He's a psychopath. He told me he asked his assistant, Jean, who's like, she's a maniac. She just talks like she doesn't have any emotion. And he goes, right, who would you rather go on a blind date with, Amon Gert or Paul Pot? Oh, my God. What a, <laughs> what a selection. I just love him so much, Raz. And she's like, I don't know. They're both terrible. I don't want to answer. Can you refresh my memory on those two people? Amon Gert was one of the horrendous human beings. Ray Fiennes played him in, in, uh, yeah. in uh, Schindler's sure. List. He was a horrible Nazi. And right. Pol Pot committed genocide in Cambodia. I think you'd have a better uh, chance of living with Pol Pot. Well, that, well, he said that eventually she decided. He said that he tried to sell Pol Pot a little bit more. What he goes, he probably to... he would probably just want to sit there and look at your straight hair. And she's like, yeah, you're probably right. And then she did decide ultimately on Pol Pot. Yeah, we haven't <laughs> talked about it in a while. Have you figured it out? Is it a ball bag or is it his cock? My manager has a giant uh, anomaly in the front of his pants. That we, we all stare, we all stare at it. We try, we're trying yeah. to figure out what's going on there. Yeah, I don't know what it is. And he doesn't even realize that he's just got this big mass of something in We've the front asked of his him. pants. Me and Florentine have asked him. Uh, what has he said? Well, yeah, he's just he's uncomfortable. Steve from Bay Show wants to clear something up. Uh, <laughs> Amon got... Uh, Girth, he, uh, he Gert. was Gert. Gert uh, wasn't a terrible Nazi. He was very good at it. 
Yes, he was a good Nazi. Yeah. What was the line Jonathan kept quoting last night when there was when I'm in the walk through the Warsaw ghetto and the one guy was smart and he just started picking up bags. I was told to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, uh, "Well, then clear the way, uh, click little clicking Polish soldier." <laughs> was that the line? He was so good in that man. <laughs> hey Jimmy, before yes. I before I ban a hater, would you take on this question, please? Sure. Jay, uh, this is Joe from New York City. Uh, probably a fake name, I'm sure. Jay Leno fucking sucks. Tell little Jimmy to jump ship. What am I gonna say? It's just a guy who's. You I, know. I think Jay Leno's record speaks for itself. But a guy who does. I don't care if a guy uh, likes written Leno. by Conan. Huh? It was yeah. written by Conan. Yes. Oh, oh come on, C O B. We know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Leno had huge success with the Tonight Show. But he, the, the, the Leno sucks is just silly. And it's everyone like, knew going into the ten o'clock time slot that was going to be a rough one. Doesn't it make anybody wonder shot. why nobody's? And again, why is nobody? This is how biased they are. They're not attacking Conan at all. Who's losing to Letterman? But they're attacking Jay, and he had to switch. For, it's amazing to me how he got fucked originally. Is so weird. Yeah, it started with him getting uh, screwed over. Yeah, but whatever. I mean, you know, he'll go back, and Conan, whatever he does, will make millions. Conan's going to Fox. It's obvious. Because with that statement yeah. yesterday, he's got something going on. Look, I don't, after, he's got the biggest balls well, with plus, that statement. After last night's show, after the the shit he was given NBC, I don't see how they can keep him on the air for the rest of. The, I mean, I think this after this week, you know they, they, they got. Oh, I know. How can they, they got to start running reruns? Right. Or something. You know what, though, Andy, you're right. Because we've been in situations where we knew we were going to get fired, and they're like, "Oh my God, we got to get rid of him immediately." Yeah. Why? Everyone's going to want to see what Cohen well, has to say. I mean, he's really it. trashing the network, and I just don't think well, a guy is using your airway. Well, I think it damages your brand. And it wasn't even it in a way like like when Letterman does it; it's kind of in a funny way. Right? It's he beyond just that now. Like, yeah. Now he's like. Saying things like, "Yeah, nice people." Yeah, nice no, people. exactly. Like a couple of a couple of nights ago, it was just it was funny. It was oh, he funny. did it on the airy track. Oh, 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 it was yeah, funny yeah. last night too. But it, the, it's it, getting, I mean, it is now crossed over. Well, in I this love that shit. Straight old mean territory. I, yeah, yeah. I love that shit. Oh, it's fantastic. It's getting it uglier and uglier. Yeah. Um, as the do we have audio? Here. that I didn't see it. Yeah, we can play it again. I've actually yeah, Conan, Conan. I've never met, but he seems like he'd be a fucking. I don't know why I think I'd like him. Yeah. Yeah, he's like self deprecating. Yeah. He's, he's you know, really never acknowledged the show, oh, unfortunately. But he was We're, uh, bashing NBC. They yeah, took oh, that. Yeah. Could you bring that audio back? Where is Zero? Take it. Did he put a donut on it? Maybe it's over so here. That was a plate. So. <laughs> 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 Just carrying it around, eating it whole daintily. Yeah, where'd it go? It didn't get him roll itself out of here. <laughs> oh, Chip, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Danny. Danny laughs at Chip. <laughs> Danny, fuck it. Here's the thing. As far as Danny is concerned, Chip is the sun and the moon and the stars. <laughs> Danny adores Chip in the Latin sense of the word adorare. I am I'm totally crushing on Lyle Chipperson. I yeah. know you are. His middle name is Delmar, by the way. Lyle Delmar Chipperson? Yeah, it's a weird name, my mother. We had a gardener. He's a black fella, a nice guy named Delmar. I don't know why. My father hated him. <laughs> yeah. My father sold encyclopedias. <laughs> Danny fucking digs Chip in a big old way. Yeah. We have the audio? Yeah, we got Conan trashing uh, NBC and everybody during his Yeah, monologue. just listen how this gets like... <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jimmy. <laughs> listen how it, it's not really fun. All right, good. He's, he's really kind of twisting the I screws. love real Venom, man. But I know. I like, it's great. The difference, though, he sounded deeply depressed the night before, yeah. and now he's just like, yeah. he's rocking. I heard he broke into tears when he was reading a statement to his staff. They said he oh. cried. He, you know, he said... Yeah. Good explanation. <laughs> <My asshole. laughs> Wait, I may not have that much time. <laughs> You're using valuable time here. <laughs> yeah, and he's gone. Where'd he go? I don't know. They took him away. Yes, we took him away. <laughs> Thank you for that. Hello there. My name is Conan O'Brien, and I may soon be available for children's parties. So. <laughs> Made a peacock. Uh... Yeah. No, no, seriously, welcome to NBC where our new slogan is no longer just screwing up prime time, huh? No, it's a crazy day. Crazy day. I've been giving this whole situation. It really has been crazy here, Andy. It's been it's been the most fun I've ever had in a showbiz scandal. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, it's fine. And uh, I've been giving this situation a lot of thought. You know, this is a true story. When I was a little boy, I remember watching The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson and thinking, someday I'm going to host that show for seven months. <laughs> uh, 
I knew that was the perfect amount of time. <laughs> what else is going on? NBC says that they are planning to have the late night situation worked out before the Winter Olympics start. That's what they said, yeah. And uh, trust me, when NBC says something, you can take that to the bank. <laughs> yeah, they just are good people. They're very good people. A lot going on in the world. Senate, uh, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid is in the news. He's still under fire for remarks he made about President Obama's blackness. You read about that? Yeah. Bad, yeah. Sources say Reid could face congressional censure or even worse, be promised The Tonight Show at 1130. <laughs> That's not good. I, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Uh, <laughs> there is... <laughs> That hilarious. is really good. That was man. very funny. He's but you can tell time. that oh, yeah. that oh, yeah. passes yeah. by just let's make fun of the yeah. the old network and behind the scenes they'll go, hey, that was fun. And then he was even, I, later in the show we had Tom Brokaw on and he was still going at it. Every time Brokaw kept bringing up uh, NBC and Conan was finally like, why do you keep, stop saying NBC, stop saying NBC. I'm trying to, I'm trying to have a good time here. Oh, shit. And it was just going, it was uh, through the whole show. It was unreal. He's uh, <laughs> But he's in a, they're in, NBC is in a weird spot because if you yank him, it looks bad. Uh, like all of a sudden, you're silencing the guy for criticizing. Like it's it, but he, it already looks hard. But I mean, I'm it saying they're a, in a bad spot. They're in a bad is, fucking spot. I just yeah. they've got to reach some Frankie. kind of an they have to reach some kind of an agreement where after this week it's going to be rerun. Here's what they are: they're Pesci they're sitting on Friday. the steps. Yeah. They're yeah. Pesci talking to Frank Vincent right now. <laughs> oh, I'm in a bad fucking spot, Frankie. <laughs> I fucked up. I fucked up with this 11:30 spot, bad. <laughs> <laughs> They'll start a new Monday. Conan will be done by Monday. Yeah, I think so. God I damn. think you're right, uh, Andy. Uh, Andy from Ohio writes, Jesus, Jay never got screwed out of his position. He fucking gave NBC the timeline for when he was leaving the show. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa. Jay's the asshole in this situation. Sorry, whoa. Jimmy. Jay did not give them the timeline for when he was ending the show. That was what they came to. They said they wanted to give it to Conan. That was not Jay's decision. That was the network. Basically, Conan was going to leave the network, and this is to the best of my knowledge. They didn't want Conan to leave the network and compete. So they said, look, it was 2004. In 2009, we'll give you The Tonight Show. And if we don't give you The Tonight Show, you can leave with $40 million extra dollars. I believe that was the deal. So Leno didn't want to leave. So the guy who just said that, I hate to tell you, you're complete. Leno and loved hosting The Tonight Show. And he didn't bitch about it. He stayed number one. The problem was Bay did not anticipate him still being a Beast, right? An unbeatable beast at eleven thirty. They, they gambled. They thought, all right, in five years, I think Leno, Leno's else. run will be over, and and we'll move Conan in nicely, and and that's that. So for the people who think that Jay just flip flopped on a decision, not true. Again, he he's a company man. He didn't bitch about the company. He did what they said, what they wanted him to do, and then the time came, and he was still number one, and they realized, okay, now we have to deal with him across the street. So now Conan has to face Letterman and the Beast, who's number one. We can't lose Leno. I heard he agreed to leave. Oh, you're right. So he, uh, <laughs> so they promised him prime time. And I've, been, I've said from day one, and it's a theory. I would never have asked Jay about it. It was a theory that I think Jay wanted to stay at NBC A because he didn't want to. He didn't want. He said he didn't want to leave with bitterness. And B, it's like he knew that. You know, he had to know that if things didn't work with Conan. He's still there for the Tonight Show. He had mm. to know that. Yeah. But don't tell me Leno couldn't have went to fucking ABC and made a shitload of money. He, he would have got whatever he wanted at another network. Yeah, the number one true. show leaving, he would have gotten whatever he wanted. So that guy, you're wrong. And a lot of people think that. Wrong. Yeah, Leno's getting a rap. He did not flip-flop. He never wanted to leave. They forced him out as number one. Horrendous decision. I blame it all on stupid management because I mean I've seen I've seen management Ants, before. Pleasantries. Jesus Christ. Pleasantries. Well, I'm not going to name anyone specific or even a company specifically. By the way, congratulations to Comcast for stepping in and taking over this mess. Yeah, you see that, huh? You got to be really excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. What do you think of the late night wars? I think Zucker is a fucking douche. And he's, uh, uh, Letterman took Zucker. I mean, you know how loyal Jay was to NBC, although, and they just do that to him? Man. When he was number one, you mean pulling him out? Yeah. yeah but I, that, but that, and I mean, to get the Tonight Show in the first place, all the affiliates, he used to, you know, travel all over the country, you know, meet with the affiliates all over. 
couldn't have been more loyal to that company, and then they shit on them like that. <laughs> what, Jay? Yeah, the, Jay. The original shitting on yeah. we're talking about? Yeah, because now everyone's like, I mean, Jay's sort of looking like a bad guy with some of the stuff I'm reading, and it's like, Jay, you, you know, know, Jay got fucked to begin with. Because people don't know what they're talking about. Exactly they think they right. think that Jay quit, and now is trying to take it back, and he didn't. That's what's driving me nuts. Exactly. NBC kind of fucked him, and he was a trooper and stayed there. And I personally believe that he stayed, and instead of going to ABC, where he could have made a shitload of cash, right. too, believe me, he could have went there. Right. Uh, he stayed loyal to the network. And I also think in the back of his mind, what if, he, he had to think, what if Conan didn't work out? He'd be the guy they'd go back to. He had to at least think that. Um, but now, you know, it looks like he, people, anyone that thinks that Jay is fucking Conan, you're a dummy. If you think the network's fucking calling, that's fine. But if you think Jay's doing it, you're a dope. Yeah, how does that get twisted? And, and I was watching like Letterman last night, and he was sort of implying that, too, that Jay was, like, sabotaging. <laughs> uh, maybe Although Letterman's... I did love Letterman was rip, ripping Zucker to shreds. He's the one who, you know, mm -hmm. when when Colin did the original Tough Crowd, yeah, sure. he did it on NBC, yeah. he put the kabosh on. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. He's got the magic touch, doesn't he? What, he wasn't a fan of the show, He was obviously. at the taping, and no, he liked it. He actually thought it was very funny. So, but he thought it was too edgy for the network. I remember. I know it was Zucker too. Yeah, wrong there. call again. <sighs> that that would have worked. I think so too. That so would have worked. So uh, yeah, I, I, you know, Christ, that that just goes to show you, man. It's it's all like uh, it's a, it comes down to one guy's opinion of what he likes, what's funny. Mm -hmm. You know, Zucker maybe really loved what Conan was doing or whatever. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I know they want that demographic, but Jay was. Was number one when they gave him the boot, was he not? Dude, he beat Letterman without writers, and that's not a knock on Letterman. It's just a matter right. of Leno was just doing fucking... He's a beast. He's unbeatable at that hour, or at least he has been for years. And, and, and they he, pull him. And, when you, again, the advantage of The Tonight Show being in Hollywood, you get the better guess. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, I mean, come on. Jay's well, perfect here, for that stuff. Here's the question. When Leno goes back to 1130, will he be as effective? Yeah, he will. I think it's going to go right back to where it was. Yeah, because it hasn't been long enough. It'll go right back to where it was. Because it was so short, exactly. Yeah. If it was a year or a year and a half, it may have damaged Jay or it might have damaged the Tonight Show name. But I think now it'll, it will. People, like, don't forget, in a year, people look back. Oh, yeah, remember that four months? Then two years, it's just distant memory. Right. I think so. So what do you think Conan's going to Where is he going to I don't know. It's going to be hard. How, are they gonna, how is Conan going to go to Fox and demand big money? Where they saw that he was having trouble beating Letterman, now he's got Leno and Letterman. How do you, how does Conan go and justify yeah, big money somewhere? I don't know. With all the attention Conan's getting, Letterman's still kicking his butt. Is so. he still beating him? Yeah, oh yeah. But they he kept is. saying Conan still had that demo young demographic, those numbers that that's why Fox is still interested. Oh, okay, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know how it plays out. Man. I never met Conan. Everybody says he's a nice dude. He is. He's a great guy, Conan. I just didn't like the people working for him because I was doing panel on Leno, and they wanted, they wouldn't give me a date to do stand up on Conan. <laughs> that's, that's how it is. The guy. And, and I'm I not, know it's bizarre. I man. would have showed him the set after, like with Eddie for Letterman. They gave me a date, and then I, and then Eddie came to the club. But it was just a matter. Of, I'm not going to fucking audition for you. But that one guy who worked for him had such a, a, a dislike that's of me. That's what I'm talking about. It was very frustrating. Hey, you make uh, it personal. We got uh, John in Jersey. John. Hey, good morning, boy. Good morning, John. Hey. Uh, I just want to say, Jimmy, I think you're missing the point with this whole. You know, Leno was was number one, and they got rid of him. I don't think that matters in the end because really, what NBC was doing is saying, "All right, we're going to make a move for the future." At this point in time, they're saying, "All right, five years from now, Conan." And how'd that work out? It's like Green Bay with Brett Favre. That is what they said, dude. They did say we're going to make a move for the. You're right, but the thing is, they miscalculated. It's there's something wrong with it if you miscalculate, and they miscalculated Jay's effectiveness five years down the road. They just they just, underestimated his yeah. effectiveness, and that was a terrible miscalculation. They look at that with Jimmy, dude. Uh, look at how it's working out. Look at how it's working out. Look! Look at the look at the Brett Favre situation in Green Bay. It's exactly the same thing. No, it's not. Says, Brett, it's, Brett Favre it's is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brett Favre, Brett Favre is not funny, fella. All right, Never dude, what say, this guy's fun. obviously a Conan guy. Go ahead, go. Yeah, but when, when Favre, Favre said he wanted to come back right before he went to the Jets, he was still playing at a high level at that point. But Green Bay said, "Look, I know you want to come back. I know you're talented. I know you're still playing at a high level. But we have this guy waiting in the wings who's been waiting for." And a they're out of the now. playoffs, and Brett Favre's in the playoffs. Right. So you, wait, yeah, you, but you Brett, thought that it was the right move. But was Brett Favre winning the actual Super Bowl? Favre Jay Leno was Jay Leno was, was number one when they kicked them to the. They curve. were looking at Jay's personal <laughs> age and going, "In five years, right, right, be right." Unappealing. The ratings aren't going to be as good. This is a and... young man's game, but, but they don't realize the shit that goes into it. And there's a lot more fucking longevity in late night hosting than there is a physical sport like football. So you're you're obviously a Conan guy. 
you you think it was the right move for them to go, and I'm telling you, they didn't anticipate the pudding, not that, to be a dick. that Jay would I, be number one. They didn't. They, I don't dislike Jay. Dude, I don't dislike Jay, but I also think that how am I missing the point? Because slip? I just think the fact that he was number one doesn't matter. I mean, because wow. ultimately, ultimately, wow. if they're making a move, because if they're making a move for the future, then they're obviously this isn't sports. You're, 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 you're making a sports analogy that doesn't work. They're making a move for the future. But let's just say Jay had gone to ABC and Conan had taken the Tonight Show and Jay had said, fuck you, I went to ABC. The move to the future, Conan is not going to be beating Jay. Because they thought that they let, let uh, uh, you know, uh, I just completely lost my thought. He would not have been beating Jay or they wouldn't have kept Jay. But they saw, I think Conan was having trouble with Ferguson. Uh, I think Craig Ferguson was beating Conan. Now, I'm not, I'm, I, I've heard that. I could be wrong. But I think that they started to see that although Conan is a very niche guy, and he might be a very specific humor that maybe won't appeal to the numbers that Jay will. I also have to think. I also, I also think you have to look at why Jay was number one because when Jay first took over the Tonight Show, he wasn't number one for a while. He Three had years. That whole Hugh Grant thing, and then, and then all of a sudden, you know, people are attracted to scandal. Well, Conan comes on in June, and all of a sudden, Letterman's got this national uh, news grabbing scandal with him and his affair that he's talking about on air, and all of a sudden that's going to attract viewers to Letterman, and then I just don't think that Conan was able to recover from that, plus the fact that they put crappy prime time. Uh, dude, you're making, uh, you, dude, I know what you're doing. You're making excuses for the fact that Conan wasn't, at this point, again, he really didn't have enough time, but he wasn't doing what you thought he was going to do at 1130, and you're trying to find a reason why he's being fucked more than Jay got fucked, and it is unprecedented that the number one guy is pulled off when he is beating the, yeah, the, the, been done before. a, a monster enough. like Letterman, and Leno is beating him readily. Letterman's not an easy guy to fucking beat every night. Letterman's a funny fucking guy, and he's a very competent, good host. And and, and Nick just uh, had a good point there. It never happened before. Where you never. You the guy who's number one yes, still. Jeff That's crazy. Touch. That's Johnny crazy was, in entertainment. Johnny was much older. When, 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 when Leno came in, Jay's 59. Now, to us, that's old. But you know what? Another right. six or seven fucking years, you could easily do that as a comic? Right. Absolutely, man. I mean, I wasn't trying to come up with a reason why I think Conan's getting fucked more. I'm coming up with a reason why I think Conan has been losing and why he's been doing so poorly right, in the ratings. Well, all right, I mean, well, I think that he does have a massive appeal for a younger audience, and that is something that NBC should right. value. Conan, Maybe they just pull the trigger way too soon. Yeah, so. and Conan will be just fine wherever he's And playing. the obsession with youth in Hollywood, um, I think a lot of times they miscalculate what people are going to look for and what people are going to like. It's a bunch of, don't forget, dude, you're also taking, uh, uh, executives want to be the ones who get their guy in. That's why when networks, uh, fucking network heads leave, new network heads come in, a lot of shows get axed, projects get axed, people want Tell their stamp it. on it. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, sir. I, I appreciate thanks. it, John. All right. All you want right. to see what Conan said last night? I, yeah, I want to hear both of them said, definitely. What, what they were funny. First? I'm sure they're both great. I mean, you know, Conan was really funny last night. They played some of his monologues. It was very funny. You want to do Jay first or Conan first? Because, I mean, you know, if we do Jay first, then people are going, why do you do Jay first? Blah, blah, blah. I say Jay first, just alphabetically backwards. I say Conan. All right. Well, you... <laughs> <laughs> tomato, tomato. I'm just trying to make good radio. <laughs> Here's fucking Jay from last night. Well, some good news from Afghanistan. Do you hear about this? Uh, critics of the war have stopped referring to it as another Vietnam. They're not calling it anymore. The bad news is now calling it another NBC. Yeah, that's what <laughs> Welcome, of course, to NBC, America's most dysfunctional TV family. <laughs> huh? Thank you very much. Oh, man. Please. Oh. You thought the Goslins were screwed up. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, nobody knows what's going on here. Conan O'Brien, understandably, very upset. He had a statement in the paper yesterday, and Conan said uh, NBC had only given him seven months to make his show work. When I heard that, seven months, how'd he get that deal? We only got four. <laughs> hey, who's his agent? Get me that guy. I'll take seven. <laughs> well, all the late night hosts are having a great fun with this debacle. Uh, last night, Jimmy Kimmel did a show dressed up as me. Show that clip. Here he is dressed up as me. My name is Jay Leno, and um, let it hereby be known that I'm taking over all the shows in late night. <laughs> now, you see, now I was going to come out dressed as Jimmy Kimmel. Put Jimmy's picture up there, but... You see, I realized I do not have enough black shoe polish here at NBC to get my hair that dark. <laughs> now look, now look at 
<laughs> I love it. I, I'm fucking I love loving when they, this. When they go to the phys- well, yeah, it's fun how they're all having. I don't a- fucking yeah. See how fun- they're still being a little too nice though. I, I really wanted to get. Well, that last night was he pretty was, yeah, pretty harsh. He was throwing roundhouse. I, I think yeah, but you know what? It's kind of annoying funny. though because I'll say this: Jay kind of laid off. Mm-hmm. He did a couple of jokes when Dave Scandal broke. But he was like, he right. really didn't want to be a dick about it. And I think Letterman still got that bitterness because he's yeah. probably still pissed off at Jay. He's, you know, it's obvious. But it's, it's funny how when, when, you know, you get millions of dollars, you know, Conan will be, he's fine financially, no matter what. Yeah, let's so not you worry can about have Conan. fun with this. Yeah. If they were like, making, yeah, exactly. you know, fighting for their lives, it wouldn't right. be that funny. If it was two deli owners fighting for a spot on the corner, <laughs> yeah, you know. It's a lot more personal. <laughs> of course. You know. We're talking about two guys that'll be fine no matter what. He has maggots in his corned beef. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and this is uh, what Conan did last night. Anyway, we have an amazing show tonight. We're going to have so much fun tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Million. Oh, What, happened what was that? happened? That sounded like a merge of two different clips. Yeah, what happened? Well, let's see if it gets better. <laughs> oh, my God, it's, it's Kenneth the Page, everybody. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't see this last night. I didn't see that either. And I was watching. Hello, oh, Mr. O'Brien. Kenneth, what are, you, what are you doing here? Well, I have a tour group here, and they wanted to see the studio. Oh, okay, Kenneth, I'm doing a show right now. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. O'Brien. I know you'd understand. <laughs> This is the former home of The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> now, Kenneth, I'm, I'm still here. Oh, okay, right. The soon-to-be former home of The Tonight Show with Conan <laughs> no, O'Brien. No, 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 no. Well, and here's a fun fact. NBC spent more time building this studio than using it. Oh, uh, <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. yeah right. That may be true, Kenneth, but... It is a beautiful studio. Oh, yes, it yeah. sure is. And it will make an even more beautiful storage facility for old <laughs> office furniture. <laughs> oh, here's another fun fact. Just like Conan, most of the staff here gay uprooted on TV? and moved Jesus their families Christ. to come work here. What the hell? In fact, Max Weinberg uprooted his family and his other secret family. <laughs> You know, maybe, Kenneth, maybe you can do this later. That's cool. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> this is the 5 o'clock tour. It's always been the 5 o'clock tour. If it's moved any later, it won't be the same. <laughs> Where would you get such an insane idea? You're right. I'm sorry. Is that last night? Kenneth the Page, everybody. He's a good man. Was this set up? He knew Kenneth was coming out. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let me say hi to Cutler, it looks like, the trucker. Cutler. Yes. What's up, buddy? Hi. Not much. Uh, I don't know. To me, it seems like Jay Leno's shows make more sense and they're funnier than the, than Conan's. Well... I prefer Letterman. I mean, I mean Leno, but it's it's uh, to Conan. But, you know, again, Conan has, does have a, his own... That's Earth just a matter of taste, man. Yeah. Two different shows. Yeah, I mean, Conan does yeah, appeal to a certainly different... It's a taste thing, whatever. I mean, there's a lot of people that would say, I prefer Conan, so... Right. You know. Yeah, but I mean, didn't y'all say the other day, though, that if Conan lost his spot and they moved him past midnight, he's going to get, what, $50 million or $15 million or if, something like if, that? If, from what I... Again, I don't know the intricacies of the contract, but the get, Conan could have left years ago for more money. So he stayed loyal, wanting The Tonight Show. It was a miscalculation by NBC that Jay would still not be a fucking, as we say, a beast in that hour. So they said, look, Conan, in 2009, we'll give you a Tonight Show. And if we don't give you a Tonight Show, you can walk and we'll give you $40 million. And I believe that's what it was. Yeah, 45. But when this was happening, I'm like, how are they going to pull Leno? We can't even get these guys to pay for our coffee around here. How do you pull Leno now? And then the economy shits the bed. Right. And it's it's really hard to justify letting a guy leave. Not sure if he's going to beat your guy and then handing him $40 million. It's very tough to justify that, to just let a guy walk and hand him $40 million. So then they're kind of forced into the move, I think. Yeah, this story, that's, kind of, that's NBC's fault, you know? Well, yeah, of course. They, they think... should have they should have looked at their numbers better. I agree. It's they not Jay's fault or Conan's fault. Where's Jay going to be at? I think they know? should give Carson Daly a shot at the Tonight Show. Oh, boy, he's got to be miserable. Fucking good. Believe me, if they both stay, he's, he's finished. Gonna, what do you mean? He's got a 4 a.m. slot nailed down, guarantee. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if they put both shows, no, 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 for their numbers, I wasn't trying to go up. No, for the car. No, 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 not for you. 
I meant to hit it a little earlier, to be honest with you, when you said Carson Daly. <laughs> They'll both be fine. I can see why you're a little confused. My timing was way off on that, Nick. Thank you for calling me out on that. This is an audio thing. It's like, wait, you left me? I wasn't trying to be funny. No. Hit the chirpers right after I say <laughs> Right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got enough problems. <laughs> All right, Cumber, okay. thank you. Okay. All right, take care. And uh, why don't we uh, make it fair? Let's see what Letterman did last Absolutely. night. Absolutely. Nick, you said he killed with this thing? Well, he was, was, he he the was best? going after everybody. He was kind of, you know. I heard he, he said he ripped Jeff Zucker. That's kind of funny. He, oh, geez. Jesus, did he ever. He kept putting his picture up, which is great, because a lot of people, well, the average person doesn't know what, you know, the head of a network. Right, like right. He kept putting his picture up. And yeah. He was zinging Jay, and he was like, it was like eight minutes. He was just Let brutalizing get, people. Let him get vicious. Well, I, I like when but, he gets a little vicious. But it's not vicious. vicious. It's funny. Yeah. It's like back but, to, this is what made him famous. He was a cranky, cantankerous prick. And, and you know what I mean? That's when I, I, I yeah, loved that's... that show. And uh, they get away from that. It was like... Right. A little different real feel to it. But you, get to, you get to see it. This is yeah. like old Letterman coming yeah, out. exactly. I enjoyed it. Okay, all right, settle down. CBS hasn't fired me yet. <laughs> I'm still here. Cold outside, isn't it? Lousy cold outside today. <laughs> you know, they say from the Weather Bureau, they say it's caused by an Arctic chill between Jay and Conan. That's... <laughs> this, uh... I still have a show, right? You yes, so far. Uh, did you hear about this yesterday, uh, Conan O'Brien? It's so, oh. so confusing, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Jay Leno used to be on at 1130, and then they moved him to 10, and then Conan O'Brien was on at 1130. Now they want him to go on at uh, 12.05, and then they want to put Jay from 10 to 11.30. Oh, yeah, so. And, right. and Carson uh, Daly, now i got to get a show in Mexico or something. Right. He, is, he don't know what to do. I mean, he's just... Hey, what about him? Hey, what about him? What about him? It'll make you dizzy. So Conan O'Brien yesterday says, well, I'm not doing uh, the Tonight Show at 12.05. And you think about it, well, he's right. The Tonight Show, that would, you know, that's the next day. It's not really the... T that's right. It's like the day after right. or the what it used to be the Tomorrow Show. Right. Right. So he said, forget it. I'm not doing the show at 12.05. Well, uh, NBC went back to him and they decided to sweeten the deal. They offered him 12.04. Maybe you don't get it. But... Uh, I think this is still his monologue, right? Yeah, I don't know. When he sat at the desk, it was when he kind of started freewheeling, and they had a few clips thrown in. He said something about Jay sabotaging NBC, and it, he said he did it when he was a kid at his high school play. And they showed some, like some actual footage of a black and white play where stuff was falling down. That's that, funny. That was really fucking funny. Actually. Was it a, a good? I, was it more visual though? Uh, not really. Well, I mean, he was doing both, but he was yeah. brutalizing uh, Zucker verbally. <laughs> And now uh, the buzz is that Conan may leave NBC to start a show of his own at another network. And I thought, where did he get an idea like that? <laughs> what? What? Was that? He probably got the idea from Letterman because Letterman did it. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole idea. The idea of this was uh, NBC wanted to get a thing going whereby they wouldn't make the same mistake they made when Johnny uh, quit and retired, that there were a lot of bad feelings. They wanted to avoid causing more bad feelings. Well, mission accomplished. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Brandon wants us to find out what uh, Tank Hankris uh, thinks about the Leno situation. God damn it, you're right. Tank Hankers, he's a funny dude. He's a correspondent. We have come in to steal well, one of his terminology. A, he's like a man's man, Nick. Yeah. yeah. And he gets right to it sometimes. Get Tank in here immediately. Can we get Tank Hankers to give his opinion on the whole Leno Letterman thing? Tank Hankers. <laughs> Sam's trying to, to get Tank. Uh, <laughs> he's so fucking miserable. Why does I must have a stethoscope? I, I don't know. I'm looking at his glasses. Those fucking creepy tinted glasses. I do love Imus. <laughs> Imus is. Right, here comes Tank. 
Here Nick, comes Tank. Nick, yeah. you're going to enjoy Tank. You yeah, really he's, a, he's a man. He'd be good to have you host a sports show again. Okay, yeah. what's he, super guy? He's the guy he has. Yeah, you guys he, are really laying it on here. He so really knows sports, up. and he, he drinks pitchers of beer at uh, Hooters every night. Yeah. He's that type of guy. Yeah. Hey, Tank. <laughs> Sucks pretzels like they're cocks. <laughs> Is it Hank Tankerous or Tank Hankerous? Hank Hankerous. Tank Hankerous? I don't know. Is that like Cantankerous? Yes, that was where this came from because Dumbbell didn't know the word. Yeah, uh, Tank, say hi to Nick DiPaolo. Hi, Nick. Hi. Oh, Tank, he said. <laughs> tank, how are you? Not Eric. Tank. <clears throat> are hi, you? Nick. Hi, Tank. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tank, what do you got on the whole late night war thing? That's right. And why are your lips pasty white? <laughs> You're not the virus right now. You're, you're Tank. Tank has a lot more confidence than the got, virus. What do you got, Tank? What do you got on the late night wars? Oh. <laughs> Are you nervous in front of Nick? A little. Come on. Come on, Tank. <laughs> tank, what do you got on the late night? Go. It's the microphone. Go. Do you want to do it outside so you don't have to look at Nick? <laughs> Come on, Tank. No. What do you got on the late night wars? Go, Tank. Tank has nothing on the late night wars. <laughs> You're not even doing the voice. At least do the voice. Be Tank. <clears throat> we want Tank. Tank's got nothing on the late night wars. <laughs> Come on, Tank. Yes, you do. What's your opinion? <laughs> I think it's because of Nick. <laughs> Come on, look at Nick and talk. Is Nick, Nick likes a man's man? I do. Is he intimidating, Nick DiPaolo? Just a little bit. All right, he's not going to make fun of you. Just fucking yeah. do tank hankers and... I'm having my stomach scope like an old lady in about two hours. <laughs> right. How intimidating is that? They got a numb the back of my throat. Really? Yeah, they spray that shit out. Uh. I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah, there's other ways to do it. <laughs> tank anything? <laughs> it's a real cheap doc. He's going to throw me a couple of fucking yeah, Tic Tacs. He head over the bed. Mm. Good deep throat fucking until it numbs us. <laughs> Jesus. Tank? Guys, a wealth of knowledge. Yeah, isn't there's, all right, there's nothing happening here. Thanks, Tank. Oh, Jesus Christ. Another big disappointment. Holy shit. Between him and the homeless guy. Yeah, no this kidding. This is fucking tremendous. Why is everyone panicking? I don't know. In front of live What's mics going today? on? It's really you, Nick. Don't they realize this is satellite? Yeah. All right, we're going to take a break. See, did you get that, that uh, <laughs> uh, from Kurt. Kimmel last night? The end of Kimmel. Andy Kimmel? Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Um, what was they saying? Yeah, so it's a year ago today that Sully landed. <laughs> this, yeah. This is the funniest thing. Okay, before he gets back to his office, we're just having Steve run around getting late night clips for no apparent reason. Things have no, I don't know what happened on Kimmel. Yeah, of course. If I was nothing. So next time he comes in, it'll be something else. Yeah. Okay, he's going to go back into his office, so we'll this be quiet. Um, <clears throat> Speaking of the late night wars... <laughs> It's getting real ugly. I guess TMZ was uh, reporting that Leno officially uh, signed a contract for for the whole hour now. Well, they I didn't know that Jay's contract. This is what, I didn't know that if they pulled him off the air, he they'd have to give him sixty million dollars. Well, pull who off? Leno for his wow. his ten o'clock show because you knew he wasn't going in there naked, right? Mm. And uh, sixty million dollars they would have had to. Wow, they just throw money around at NBC. It's amazing. Willy nilly. It's how they keep kept him from going to ABC and killing him. I think, you know? Hey, they threw us a lot of money after only three shows. <laughs> what? XFL. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, oh, my God. That was a they hell of a payday. Us, they paid us for 20 some odd episodes, oh, yeah. and we only did like three or four. We made a fucking boatload from NBC. After did you that. Realize? Oh, yeah, yeah, they love just put you on a show, cancel it, then no. pay you money. It's great. We did more than three, I think. I have no idea. I wish we didn't do one. I was listening. I was not listening. I was, uh, uh, for some reason, that popped in my head last night. I was just thinking of that going, oh, my God. Yeah. Just remember how. Embarrassing that was to stand on that stage with the dancing girls. Was it a bad show? <laughs> it stunk. <laughs> it, <laughs> Come on, it, it wasn't stunk. good. Yeah, it As wasn't good. It good. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't good. Uh, wow. I'll never forget the first one we did, and we're on a stage, and I go to see Pete at NBC because he's editing it. All and, right. And he's he's pulling his hair out. He's actually has his hands, and he's trying to pull <laughs> hair out of his head. I'm like, what's wrong? And he goes, look at this. Look at this. And every time me and Ant were on stage, oh, people were playing with our penises. <laughs> like they they had monitors set up, so they knew if they used their... 
their little little like uh, fingers. They could make believe they're squeezing our our dicks and stuff oh, on wow. stage. So they had a they had to edit the whole thing using long shots. Oh my god! <laughs> Pete was out of his mind. He goes, your fans are animals. I remember, this is when I first started getting to know you guys, and I was doing a warm-up. I had been on the show for a little while, and I remember doing a warm-up at that play. What was that tape? That was the Hard Rock? In yeah, the Hard Rock. Yeah. Can we hear, I, can we hear some of this? <laughs> it's said, whatever you want. I had, uh, first beer. All right. We had to, like, uh, run out. And oh, yeah, that's... Now you guys are running in an empty XFL field. Opie slid. Anthony just grabbed the ball. Oh, no. Well, I pushed him. No, Anthony pushed me. I pushed him. He pushed me forward. and oh, whatever. Look at the stands are empty. The T after the kickoff. <laughs> Come right back. Careful. I, I thought it was funny. They took the T from you. It seems somebody already took it. What happened out there, Oh, If there's no T, somebody else seems to have taken it. You look like an ass. <laughs> are you Jesse the Body Ventura? No, I... All right. It was an empty stadium, right? <laughs> yeah, there was no one there. <laughs> Sarah, it was, was one of the attempting worst. Attempting to do a comedy show on the sidelines while they're playing football. It was just a disaster. It, it was one of the worst ideas uh, ever for television. Vince McMahon thought this was going to be great. It's going to get another football league out there, and mm -hmm. it's going to be uh, amazing. And, right. uh, and it just was an... A horrible flop. Do you think it was a bum? It's a uh... complete and total <laughs> bomb. It wasn't good, man. <laughs> oh, was that bad? I don't even know where my hitman jacket is. <laughs> all right, whatever. <laughs> well, I'm heating off. It's yeah, really I'm bad. starting to get all starting to get a little warm. Uh, one day, and you maybe you don't know this yet. Mm -hmm. One day, you're actually going to be in the ring with tights on, <laughs> flying around, taking what we call bumps. Sounds like uh, my bedroom now. <laughs> Even the tights. These are the fans of the XFL. Why? Are you just a bunch of fans cheering. Oh. So hard. You, you handpicked us for the job to host XFL game day. Uh, without question, because if you're two individuals who are eminently qualified to host this show, it's Opie and Aaron. <laughs> now, did, did you mean this Anthony and that Opie, or was there some confusion? Because no. we can't figure. We thought maybe. Something happened. You were on medication that day, or something. No, that would be my wife that's on medication. Is that well, married to you, man? <laughs> you know, we see what happens there in the ring. Now, if I can only see the game, is there any way to get a helicopter to airlift me out of here? Obviously, you haven't seen the show. <laughs> it's that bad. <laughs> no, it's so good, so good that I think it might okay, even no, go no. over your head. No, why would we do that? Okay, just double check. All you right. know, it's so good. I don't even think you need to watch it. Yeah. It's it runs good. itself. It yeah. runs itself. Just like the XFL. Right. Okay. Thank you guys right. very much. Thank, Thank you, Ben. I find it hard to believe this wasn't scripted. I, um... <laughs> this is script. There wasn't even an idea that, like, here's two mics, yeah. make something happen. And I'm like, I, uh, isn't this supposed to be NBC? This isn't, like, college TV. You, you would think they ha would have some kind of at least plan for us. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. I really have just kind of... I, forgotten this oh, part yeah. of my life. I just blanked it out of my head. That was our one chance at being network stars, and we network failed. Network stars. And we failed miserably. How cool was it to like walk into Thirty Rock? We'd walk up there, yeah, we go saw some, in. Saw some of the SNL people just milling about. Yeah, we were part of the family at Thirty Rock, and we'd walk in for you know a couple of weeks. But poor Pete, and like okay, skedaddle. You're no longer welcome here. Poor, <laughs> poor Pete trying to edit this thing. Oh, God. When he saw the fucking listeners fucking around with the, mo you know, what they saw on the monitor. The line of shit they gave us with, uh, with, uh, because they, they come back to us so many times. You, you got to do this. And we're like, no, no. What's the idea, the concept we got? Right. We, we don't just want to be thrown on television with no concept or idea. And it's like, no, no. All you guys got to do is host it. Here's what you guys got to do. Bring your listeners down uh, to the uh, XFL, uh, whatever it is, the, the, the restaurant down there, WWF restaurant, mm -hmm. which was a hard rock, and um, and just show up and, and we'll have everything for you. And then we show up and, and they're like, all right, what, what are you guys doing? I, 
Well, I thought you knew what we were... What? N no game plan. And the cameras, are, and go. And, and we had a, a radio show we had to worry about. Yeah, this was after the radio show. After the radio show, it was like, what do you guys got today? We're like, what are you What are you talking about? You said that there was, there would, we'd just show up. Right. And you'd was, have stuff written, and we can do it, but... Was Bob there that day? No, why would he be? The agent didn't fly in no. from L.A. when you guys were filming a TV show for NBC? No. no. Of course not. One of the many horrible Ow. deals Bob made outside radio. <laughs> Fucking <Hey>. NBC paid. <laughs> Fuck him. Just not hey, Opie's in. Uh... What happened? <laughs> I don't know. Opie's uh, old helping out with rescue efforts. Oh, that's the old school. Yeah. What is that CNN? <laughs> One of my old douchey haircuts. <laughs> I don't do the douchey haircuts anymore. Finally, now that I'm pushing forty. I figured I would fucking pushing. get a haircut like a man. <laughs> like yeah. a man. It seems like you're pushing 40 right up against the wall or something. Oh, jeez. I'm just going to start <laughs> laughing at everything Chip says. Oh, Chip. <laughs> Late Night Wars. Where do you want to go with this fucking thing? I hear Leno had a good note to NBC. I hear fucking Conan was brutal. I heard Jimmy Kimmel was great on Leno's show. What the fuck is going on? Well, if you haven't heard the, the news, Conan's out. Yeah, Conan's out, what, a week from today? A week from today, he is done. And uh, I predict, let me have a, a prediction here. Uh, they're not even going to keep him on that long. I think he is going to be so brutal to NBC on the air that they're just going to have to pull him. I say today, well, no. We've lived this. We've lived in this world. They say, Conan, you're done a week from today. They pull him after today's show. Wow, you think that oh, yeah. soon? Oh yeah, that's my well, that's prediction I, on top of your prediction. My prediction was that they're just gonna, they're not going to let him do. He'll never make it to next Friday. But next I bet Friday, you because right. they like to make believe you got a little time to say goodbye to your listeners or your uh -huh. viewers or your fans. You, got, you know, guys, it's really it's horrible that it had to come to this, but, you know, we want to do the right thing and keep you on the air and blah, blah, blah. And then next thing you know, you think you're going to be on the air for a little bit, and they just yank you. The lock's on the door. Oh, yeah, he's done. My guess he's done after today. He'll take his little key card and go, beep, right. beep. Why, why does it keep coming up red right. when I slide it through yeah. the security And then thing. they'll do reruns next week, and that'll be it. It's weird with this, too. The thing, the difference is, like, we're always afraid, radio guys are always afraid that, like, you know, they're going to take you off the air and you have no outlet. Yeah. But this is so big. It's like everything these guys say, the whole country here. If they're oh, in yeah. a weird, like, if they were to yank Conan and go, fuck you, or pay or play, and you're sitting, Conan could go, fuck you, and go on 60 Minutes. Or, like, or go, or go on any news channel he wants, or on any show he wants, or on, he can go on O'Reilly, he can go on uh, Kenny, Larry though? King. I don't know. Kenny, maybe there's something in this deal yeah, that, that says, I, you've got you to shut your mouth. There's, there's always some kind of breach where not, no only, not only do they not pay you anymore, they sue you, and now yeah, you owe damages. them money. Wow. Yeah. So, I don't know well, if it's as easy as doing this. that. I don't, I don't, yeah, maybe not. I just mean that these guys are, the whole country, they, they could say something Dude, that a hundred million people hear. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's hard to fuck with that's, them. That's true. Did we ever talk about when we sat for two, almost two and a half years? So we know what this game's all about, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they paid us very well. Uh, absolutely. To sit, because they were scared. And this is the God's eyes truth. Yes. And people don't want to hear this that listen to both shows, but they were scared shitless that we were going to go to Q104 was the station at the time here yeah, in New York City to give us a and job. compete against. Is Howard Stern, and that scared the <clears throat> fuck out of him, and that's why we had to sit for almost two and a half years. But in that uh, time, they threatened us all the fucking time. Mm. Do not do a interview. Do not show up on TV. Do not show up on another radio show. And they made it perfectly clear if we did any of those things, yeah, they would they would sue us. And we didn't have as many. It wasn't even about the internet. It wasn't even about losing the money they were giving us because we knew that we could make that money back. It wasn't about the right. money. But what scared the shit out of us, and they did a very good job, they reminded us almost every two, three months, remember, no interviews, no other, no TV shows, no other radio shows. If you do this, we will be suing you Yeah. for the money, a lot of money that Ant and I certainly did not have. Didn't want to give And that's why for sure. we didn't say a fucking peep for almost two and a half years. And with the Internet the way it is now... You could get your word out there. Right. You could, like, leak it to somebody else. They'll fucking Twitter it. They'll put it. Some way, somehow, yes. you're getting your side out there without breaching anything. Right. Because so they, it's hard for them to contain every uh, outlet that's out there on the Internet. When we were 
uh, thrown off for for three years. There really wasn't. Right. There was message but boards, but then it, it, if they find out you were the one that posted this or right, that, right. then you're fucked. Yeah, absolutely. So I don't think uh, Conan has free reign like that. I really don't. I, don't. I think there's some things in but that contract will get out. that are pretty damn scary. Yeah, his side will definitely yeah. get out, but I don't think it'll be him personally. I think you see him go away for a while now. I don't, yeah. By the way, Rosie really annoyed me. Um, she said the time for Leonard to step aside. And like I understand she's a Conan oh, fan. Her, but and, uh, just as a comic, she should shut her fucking mouth. But it's like, what, what do you... Uh, she goes, Obama, she said, it's time for Jalen to step aside for Conan O'Brien and not try to flatten his tires before he even gets going, which I'm sure people say to her when she gets in their vehicles. Take <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, fatso. Uh, uh, O'Donnell, talking to reporters about promoting uh, something, said she's a huge fan of O'Brien. Okay, so she's biased. She likes Conan. But she said, if you're privileged enough to drive the bus, first of all, can we stop at the bus thing? If you're privileged enough. I'm so privileged enough to drive the bus! <laughs> you drive the bus! <laughs> ah, we go for a ride! A ride! Shut up, you fat retard! A ride! If you're privileged enough to drive the bus, you should say thank you and drive it to the best of your ability. And when it's time for them to hire a new driver, you should say, thank you for allowing me to drive this as long as I did, and pass the keys to the new guy with red hair and try not to flatten his tires before he gets going. Uh, excuse me, what world are That's we on analogy. where that fucking works? Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, uh, thank you, Chair. And, and it was... Uh, no, I'm saying that she's, but her, her example's not even... <laughs> it's stupid. That doesn't, it, that's not how things go. It wasn't even accurate. Why is everyone so angry at uh, Jay Leno? Because, I, don't, I don't understand that. Because, I really don't. I don't know Jay Leno. We were on a show once, and we met him for, what, 15, 20 minutes before we went on, and he was great. He was a really nice guy to us. Jimmy has had nothing but great experiences with Jay Leno. I don't really understand the hatred that's uh, going his way these days. Because it's been this underlying aggression at him. Uh, the, the people for a long time think they think that he's not the hip guy. They think that Letterman's the hip guy, or they think that Conan's the hip guy. So he becomes their guy, and they kind of root against Leno, who they see as yesterday's news and mom and pop. The, the reality is this. The bus driver example is great if the bus driver is slowing down on his route. Yeah, if he's, he's not picking up passengers. <laughs> right. But if yeah. he's still kicking the shit out of the other company, yes. you don't take a newer driver who has not nearly the success... And yeah. put him in the fucking main driving seat. Give him seven months, and all of a sudden the customers are not getting picked up on time. Yeah. And then when the other guy wants, you want to put him back. People go, oh, "Why are you putting the other guy back?" It doesn't make sense. Conan's driving around with one person on the bus. <laughs> yeah, and it's her. <laughs> it's her. Mm. Ah, drop me off by the bus depot. I'll talk to the ah. people. I have to make pee pee's and not wash my hands and then touch food. Look, Conan is getting screwed. Absolutely. Yes, but he is. Completely. Uh, Blame uh, Leno is ridiculous. They shouldn't blame Leno at all. It's ridiculous. He uh, never wanted to be pulled off. And by the way, people got to stop. This is what big comedy fans got to stop doing. If you don't like Jay and you think he stinks, that's a valid opinion. You don't like a guy's comedy, that's fine. Yeah, you can't uh, argue that. If they don't like it, they don't like it. Fair enough. Right. But when someone says, I, someone says, like, do I his hack show, it's like you got to learn what the word hack means. And if you're out there and you call Leno a hack, you really don't know anything about comedy. If you don't like him, fine. You think his humor sucks? Okay, cool. Let me jump in with that sure. uh, that point. Nick DiPaolo was in yesterday, yeah. and you guys were discussing how you know Jay uh, does you know um, comedy in his monologue that no one else will touch. He gets really fucking edgy with uh, some of his stuff as far as network TV goes, racial stuff. And this is what drives. It's like mm -hmm. we, we're doing the test shows and stuff, and we, we're doing the the uh, the, uh, the roundtable panel where we you know the four of us. One of the topics we covered was the fucking Lockerbie bomber being freed. And we talked about the Lockerbie bomber. And it's like, there's none of those late night shows are going to let you fucking do jokes. No. And again, none of us did Pan Am victim falling out of the sky joke. But to address that at all, none of them are doing that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and then he did a, a sketch on the show about the fucking, uh, they, they did like a, you know, guys pulling oil into the British embassy or whatever it was. It was tying in the Arabs with it. Mm -hmm. No one else is doing that shit. And it's, it drives me nuts that if people don't like him, fine. But anybody who says, oh, the guy's a hack or you just, you don't know anything about what comedy is, what the word hack means. Don't throw around words you've heard people use when you don't know what they use. Kind of like I do with fucking uh, so yeah. sociopath. I say that too much. <laughs> and uh, Anthony and I were invited to do uh, Leno's show next week, but I don't know. I mean, we're thinking it over. We might go there. And, you know, <laughs> I don't ass. know, but I'm not a big flyer these days, so I'm not really sure if I want to go there. But uh -huh. you know, Oh, you should. We're such important people that <laughs> Leno really needs to talk to us next week and get our opinion on this whole thing. So I don't know. We're, we're thinking about it. 
We might we might have an announcement by uh, Tuesday if we're going to do it or not. So <laughs> just want to get that. Make him sweat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bullshit that I see on a daily basis. Oh, oh. Can I ask why? Oh. Pe- why are people pitting the talented guys against each other, though? What Jay Conan. I mean, I understand people. People make Jay look like the aggressor, but Conan is the one. And again, I understand him wanting to host the Tonight Show. It's it's a very. It's, a lot of people say it's the most prestigious gig in show business is to host the Tonight Show. Right. But five years ago, they went to Jay and they said, this is what's happening. He didn't ask for this to happen. Mm -hmm. So anyone that's shitting on Leno for just being there and being willing to go back to where he never should have been removed from, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, true. If you hate Leno, that's fine. But just don't don't be inaccurate about it. Uh, So what what do you want to do? I didn't see the Conan uh, thing addressing NBC. We got Leno's note NBC. We got uh, Jimmy Kimmel getting involved. What do you want to start with? Because all of this is really good. Start with Conan? Well, I, I have gained such respect for Conan, by the way, because he's a fucking, the guy is just going out there and he's smashing them and he's not he taking really it lying is. down. I mean, I love the fact that he's smashing NBC. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, I'm getting attacked on Twitter and stuff. I like Conan. I, I, I did like his uh, 1230 show, but, yeah. you know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from us? We're just giving our opinion. Why, yeah, why would anybody? I don't understand it. They just don't. They're, they're reacting emotionally, and I mean, like, I'm very biased because I like Jay. And if I thought he was wrong, I wouldn't come on here and shit on him. To be honest, with you. I really wouldn't. But it's it's like I don't think he's wrong. It's easy to defend him. I don't think he's wrong. Yep. Right. Okay, here's uh, Conan O'Brien from last night. Thank you so much. Hello there. I'm Conan O'Brien, NBC's Employee of the Month. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Crazy yeah, free here. soup down at the commissary. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, it's big. You know, uh, of course, everybody knows NBC and I are having a little tiff right now. Yeah, little lover's quarrel, if you will. Now, there's a rumor, this came out today, there's a rumor that NBC is so upset with me, they want to keep me off the air for three years. That's, the, that's what I said, yeah. Yeah, my response to that is, if NBC doesn't want people to see me, just leave me on NBC. <laughs> It's like I'm over here in the witness protection program. <laughs> Time sure does fly, though. It's crazy to think about this. Do you realize that a baby born on the day we did our first Tonight Show is now a slightly larger baby? <laughs> <laughs> when you still can't walk, a little yeah. you know, harder to hold now. Yeah, when you when you put it like that, it really well it doesn't make you think. No, no, no. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's, that's some good stuff. Uh, Vincent Bayonne makes a pretty good point. I really don't have a side in the late night wars, but I see Conan's fans being more of the hip savvy internet crowd that make their presence more well known than Jay's crowd. Yes. It's the same thing that works so well for Obama. That's a pretty good point right there. Yeah. I don't think the Jay Leto fans are like Twittering and Facebooking and coming up with like a nice little uh, uh, graphic they could put on their Facebook pages and their Twitter pages like they're doing with Conan. No, they're just watching the Tonight Show at 1130 when Jay's on it. <laughs> yeah. right. I mean, that's yeah. what they were doing. It was like Louis said when Louis... When well, maybe Lucky they're, Louis. But they're getting their voices uh, heard a lot a lot more than uh, the, Absolutely. the Leno fans. I guess they feel like the guy is being screwed, and I certainly I understand that. But just don't blame Jay. The network screwed up. I mean, look, it happens. Mm. But don't don't make the fucking other performer the bad guy. Right. It's like Leno fans shouldn't be shit on Conan. Right. The guy just wants to host the Tonight Show. He wants to yeah. do his gig. Yeah. Uh, Conan continued. Now, my future is, uh, well, it's pretty uncertain right now. And this is absolutely true. I'm not making this up. I received a letter from the adult film company Pink Visual <laughs> offering me, this is true, offering me a role in one of their porno movies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I looked at yeah. In the movie, I'd be having sex with a beautiful woman, and just as we're about to climax, I get replaced by Jay Leno. (laughs) (laughs) I got it from here, kid. I'll take over now. (laughs) Hi, lady. Uh, (laughs) <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. 
You know, I got a different approach to this whole thing. I think this is the the best thing that could happen to uh, Conan O'Brien. You hear really? a different energy. You hear it, it's almost like it, it's catapulting where he needs to and wants to be now. And I think if he, he get out of the NBC contract, someone will certainly pick him up immediately. And I think I think now. He's he's really truly ready to take that next step because yeah. when he moved down to eleven thirty, we said it on this show. The buzz was nothing. Yeah, it wasn't he had there. more of a buzz when he was on at twelve thirty. But there's something about Conan now that I feel. I just feel it. Yep. Maybe is... maybe he was a little nervous and scared when he moved down. I don't know what it was, but you weren't hearing anything about Conan O'Brien's uh, Tonight Show. I think he felt he had to. Uh... Uh, kind of conform a little more because it's the Tonight Show, so you got to be a little more, uh, I don't know, respectable than right. he was with, with his uh, later night right. show. And this now is bringing him back to the way Conan was. Right. And and an angry Conan is is very good. You could tell. Right. He's just one of those fucking like. Well, you could tell he could probably be a real nasty mean yeah. guy. But you know what? We do we do our best work when we're angry and yeah. when we have nothing to lose. Like I mean, it's, it's, I think at this point Conan feels I have nothing to lose, and I think that's really freeing for him creatively. Mm -hmm. And you you really hear it in these clips, and I don't think it stops here. I really don't. I think this really pushes him forward now, for real. Mm, well, here's one more right. clip from Conan. But all joking aside, I really do consider myself a very lucky person. I do. No matter what happens, it's been a real honor to sit in the same chair as Steve Allen, Jack Parr, Johnny Carson, Jay Leno, and Jay Leno. It's, uh... <laughs> it's <right. laughs> See, here's a touchy feedback, but, you know, the truth is the truth. Uh, Steve from Germany slash Huntington, he's like uh, you guys when N.E.W. and Howie fucked with you. Uh -huh. We kind of know this shit when people are fucking with you behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, although the, 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 we kind of know this game a little bit. It's, um, this is much more the company, I think, doing it. But people forget, like, on Leno's last Tonight Show, he had Conan on. And he welcomed yep. him. He oh, yeah, didn't give were, any public indication, indications. He didn't try to turn people against Conan. No. He was actually saying in interviews, hey, you know, they got to give him some time. You know, Jay wasn't shitting on Conan or, or trying to undermine him publicly at all. Mm -hmm. But you got to think Jay wasn't happy. But he just knew how to play it right. I will say that. Unfortunately, I would have to fucking vocalize that and blow everything up. That's my problem. But uh, Jay just knew. I'll just go with this. He he, he couldn't have been ha happy like uh, you know. He absolutely behind was, the scenes. could not have been happy. Yeah, he, but he played it perfectly. Could no. not and was palling around with Conan, and making it easy for him to, you know, take over the show at the time. I'm going to guess that he was very very angry at being pulled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. against his will. He never wanted to yeah. be pulled. All right, we move on. We got Leno. Uh, fucking Kimmel is just killing with this. He did a 10 of 10, he made fun of it, or he was on it? Did you see the clip of him I did not know. coming out as Jay Leno? No. You haven't seen that yet? No, I've, I saw the photo of him. Yeah, right? yeah. It, and he had, the, he had the cadence of Leno down. Can you find that real fast? It's a minute clip on YouTube. Jimmy Kimmel the other night comes out dressed exactly like Jay Leno with the hair and everything. He even had a fake fucking chin, and it went down like this. I think fake we have it chin. here. Oh fuck! I hate commercials on on the uh, intro tubes. This is what we're gonna, and it's gonna be with every clip. Oh, right. uh, that's on one of those where they make an, their own TV show. It's a clip show. Stop it! Just get the Dan. The actual clip's like a minute thirty. If you see uh, that, all right. On again, and this weekend for the fourth weekend in a row. Did you hear about this? <laughs> <laughs> The second highest grossing film of all second time. High second highest grossing film. <laughs> Even Tiger Great. Woods came out of hiding to see it. <laughs> but, in all, but in all fairness, he thought the term 3D referred to the alien girl's bra thighs. <laughs> <laughs> The music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, stealing right, the Leno right, music and everything, right? So much money, I hear NBC's trying to move it to 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. It's That's a different good. clip. He did the whole show pretty much as Jay Leno, but when That's he first funny. comes on stage, is the one. It's about it's a minute twenty seven second clip, if I remember. That's funny. If you find it, whatever. All right, so uh, then we get, let's start with Leno. Leno's note to NBC, and then Kimmel did Leno last night, and everyone is talking about how he just destroyed Jay, destroyed the situation, and just got huge, huge laughs. The first Jay Leno. Welcome to the new show, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Off NBC. Yes! <laughs> well, another 
other TV news. Hard to believe there is other TV news. Uh, Sarah Palin has signed with Fox News to be a correspondent. Well, in a statement today, uh, Fox said if Miss Palin does a good job, they will sign her to a long-term contract. If she doesn't work out, they'll just blame Leno. That's what they said. <laughs> As you know, with all the controversy going on here at NBC, actually, the Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien's ratings have gone up. They've gone up. Really? So, you're welcome. <laughs> out of God. Now, Ricky Gervais is, holding the uh, is hosting the Golden Globes on Sunday right here on NBC. Said he's really looking forward to it, which is rare. A host that's happy on NBC. You never see that. <laughs> you, don't, you don't see that anyway. <laughs> they are smashing NBC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hopefully they have a sense of humor over yeah. there. Oh. And then uh, Kimmel came out. Any big late night news? I don't know, Jay. I watch Oprah at night. All right, all right. We have ten questions. Question number one. You had fun impersonating uh, me Tuesday night on the Jimmy Kimmel show. What is the secret to doing a good Jay Leno impression? Well, um, I hate to give away my secrets, yeah. but it's part Sylvester the Cat, it's part Curly from the Three Stooges, yeah. and part Scrappy Doo. Wow. So it'll be like, uh, Fuffer and Thuck Attach, uh, what are you, a live guy? <laughs> and then. If you, if you have like, and this is for kids at home, if you have silly putty to make yourself a nice big Dudley do right chin, that yeah. works too. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's all the time we have. My next, no. <laughs> uh. Number four. If you got to interview anyone in the world, who would it be? You and Conan together. Oh, okay. I would like to have the two of you. If, I, uh. if Conan won't do it. I like just you. In fact, I'd like to do 12 at 12 with you tomorrow night really? if you would be willing to do that because I have a lot of questions to ask you yeah. about this whole thing. A lot. I don't think people care about what I have to yeah, say. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Going yeah. on yeah. <laughs> tomorrow night, it's, uh, yeah, tomorrow night's bad for me. All right, let's move on. Oh, it is bad. Mm, I thought this was good. Mm. I thought it was good. Does maybe, it get better? Maybe it picks up. Ever order anything off the TV? Like NBC ordered your show off the TV? Yeah, yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, something like that, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah, I will order any, if I see an infomercial more than nine times, I will order the product. I have a, a Snuggie, a Slanket, I have Chia Pets, I have Mighty Putty. I tried to order Ryan Seacrest once. Really? But he wouldn't come. <laughs> hmm. Number seven, you grew up in Las Vegas and hosted the man show. What's the most number of lap dances you've had in one night? Jay, my mother's watching the show, so. Actually, no, wait a minute. The show's canceled, right? Nobody's watching the show. Yeah, my mother's right, not yeah, watching the show. Your mom's not um, watching. I'm not much of a lap dance guy. I'm more of a lap band guy myself. Lap band guy. But, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, I don't yeah. like, you know, strippers I don't like in general because you have this phony relationship with them for money similar to that of when you and Conan were on the Tonight Show together yes, yes. passing the torch <laughs> right right yes, yes you know what I'm saying yes yes I yes. do yes I do yes I do <laughs> wow Jay really doesn't know what to do with this yeah. <laughs> no, he's just he's kinda... a little puzzled <laughs> he must have known that he was gonna get fucking slammed, yeah, slammed oh yeah. yeah I mean he must have what do you fear most uh, volcanoes Volcano. Uh, tidal waves. Okay. Yeah, I actually I lived in Seattle. I, I was scared of Mount Rainier. It just sat there, but I was scared yeah. of it. Okay. Um, I have dreams about tidal waves. All right. I fear the network will move my show to 10 o'clock. Right. All right. I had that nightmare. Yeah. It does just keep pounding them, every question. Jesus. Number nine. Is, is there anything you haven't hosted that you want to host? Oh, this is a trick, right? Where no. you, you get me to host the Tonight Show and then take it back from no, me? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going to... Listen, no, no. listen, Lucy, I'm not Charlie Brown. I don't fall for that trick. <laughs> no, I'd say, I'd say the Soul Train Awards. Soul like Train Awards. The Soul Train Awards. <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, but he's, he, Jay's just trying to set himself up with the question. Yeah, yeah. he kind of... Yeah, yeah, he really is. But he should be slamming them back a little bit somehow, some way. I don't know.
I don't, I don't know, know what he's supposed to do with this, but... Finally, number 10, A, B, or C. You came on at 10 of 10 because, A, you love innovative satellite technology. B, you're promoting your own show. C, you want to keep me happy in case I decide to switch to ABC. <laughs> It's, you know what, it's all of the above, really. Listen, really. Jay, Conan oh, and I have children. Oh, I'm sorry. All you have to take care of is cars. That's right. I mean, we have lives to lead here. You, you've got $800 million. For God's sakes, leave our shows alone. <laughs> A plea from Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy, thank you very much, my friend. Are they friends? I'm sure they are, yeah. Have to be the he never would have had them on if they like weren't that. friends. Yeah. 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 You know, Letterman didn't go on. Yeah, exactly. That would have been a fun ten of ten. <laughs> Speaking of Letterman, oh, we'll wrap up with this thirty-second uh, clip uh, as far as the late night wars go. You know, uh, Jay uh, is getting a lot of negative uh, publicity, so he has released now a message reminding people of what he, Jay Leno, stands for. We have a copy of it here. I think you'll find it enlightening. Take a look. Jay Leno is Middle America. He represents traditional American values. The things this country was built on, like killing Indians because you want their land. <laughs> Jay Leno, America's standing up for Jay. That's right. That's right. Here we go. By the way, Jay's not from Indiana. Dave is. Uh, Jay's from Boston. True. He's not middle America. <laughs> He's not. He's not from the middle of the country. Just gotta bash him somehow. He's from a big city. Yeah. What the fuck? I love that. That love that illusion. <laughs> the Jays is fucking yokel from the Midwest. Yeah. He's not. <laughs> and there you have it. The latest on the late night wars. Yeah. I don't know. I. You know something? Honestly, I don't even watch him unless like Jimmy's on. <laughs> when Jimmy's on, I watch. When he's not. I, I, uh, I'm not a big fan of the uh, let's watch some celebrity sit there and plug his fucking show product, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I can't be bothered. There you go. It doesn't affect me. They said Conan has trounced Letterman the last few nights because he's uh trounced. Yeah, I love that word. But he said he trounced him just for you know because he's everybody's watching Conan right now. Yeah. All right, we'll take our first break. Get into some other things. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that just tired me out. Was, did it? Yeah, it was too long. Really? Yeah, it was like, nah. All right, we'll uh, regroup and we'll continue. Opie and Anthony, stay there. There's been a lot of speculation as to why, what's going on with Jay and Cohen. And I've been saying it for a long time. Like, look, this was not... It wasn't like Jay said, hey, I want to give up the tonight, you know. And it's like last night I got a, uh, an email from uh, one of his producers who's a buddy of mine, Bob, who just said, hey, just Jay goes through a good explanation in the second segment tonight. You might want to watch it just to mm -hmm. see it, you know. And I tweeted it because I'm like, it, you know, let, let, if the guy's going to explain from the horse's mouth, you know, it's like yeah, yeah, everyone yeah, speculates. the guy. And then someone Twitters me, you, yeah, but it doesn't matter what Jay says. Of course it does, you fucking idiot. He's one of the guys involved. Yeah, one of the main guys. <laughs> and, and Jay was very quiet up until now. Conan got his letter out, and uh, yeah. you know, finally Jay said, you know what? All right, I'm going to tell everybody what this is all about. No jokes, I don't think. He went I, pretty I think serious, he did, right? I, I did not hear it. I read the transcript. I thought it was great. Uh, it was very honest. And I, I guess I'm, I imagine he's justifiably sick of just fucking idiots and these shitty critics who have, I mean, again, I, I'm very pro Leno, obviously. And, uh, the fact though, you can't say it's right. The way people are saying, well, they didn't give Conan enough time, which is true. More time might have helped them. But Not one of those people is saying it about Jay. Right. By the second episode, critics had said, oh, he sucks. It's failing. It's terrible. Not one of them. Ratings drop 50% from the. And even though the look, maybe primetime wasn't the right place, but not one of the critics said give it time. Yeah. Not one of them. But that's ridiculous too, because they don't give anyone time anymore. There's too much at stake. So they, it's like they they believe in you, they move you into the big spot, and then yes. you got to produce immediately now in, uh, in 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 the media world, oh, or, yeah. or you're gone. They like Conan. I, I wish they would give people more time. I Certainly. agree. And and the critics like Conan, so they didn't attack Conan. They, not one of them attacked Conan. And again, if you gave him more time, maybe it would have turned around. Who knows? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, he's obviously a very competent host. Who knows? Um, but th I'm glad Jay explained it because... Uh, well, let's see how it went yeah. down. We got the audio. Now, folks, I thought maybe I should address this. Uh, kind of 
at least give you my view of what has been going on here at, at NBC is still well. Let's start in 2004. 2004, I'm sitting in my office, an NBC executive comes in and says to me, uh, listen, uh, Conan O'Brien has gotten off this from other networks, and uh, we don't want him to go, so we're going to give him The Tonight Show. And I said, well, you know, I've been number one for 12 years. They said, we know that, but we don't think you can sustain, sustain that. <laughs> I said, okay, how about... Uh, until I fall to number two, then you fire me? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you, you understand? If we ever think balls. we ever think we get fucked by a, by a company or a boss in particular, this is Leno, and he's number one for 12 years, mm. beating a guy who is very good, Leno. Yeah, yeah. And he has to hear this from somebody. We don't think you could sustain mm. it. I also stopped it because it's weird to see Leno, although we stopped as he made a joke, being very serious. Yeah. This is a very different J. Yeah. Right? we've all seen over the years. He sustained that. I said, okay, how about uh, until I fall to number two, then you fire me? No, we've made this decision. It sounds emotional. I said, that's fine. And don't blame Conan O'Brien. Nice guy, good family guy, great guy. He and I have talked and had not a problem since then. That's what managers and people do. They try to get something for their client. I said at the time, okay, I'll retire just to avoid <laughs> what happened the last time. Okay. So time goes by, and we stay number one up until the day we leave. Mm -hmm. We hand it. We hand it. No, no. no. <laughs> uh, okay, but I'm leaving before my contract is out, about six or eight months early. So before I could go anywhere else, uh, it would be at least a year or 18 months before I could go and do a show somewhere else. I said to NBC, would you release me from my contract? They said, no, we want to keep you here. I said, well, oh, okay. Uh, what are your ideas? They said, well, how about prime time? I said, well, that'll never work. They said, no, no, we want to put you on at 10. We have done focus groups. People will love you at 10. Now, look, look at these studies that show Jay's chin at 10. People will go crazy. I said, well, I don't know. It didn't seem like a good idea there. But I said, all right. I said, can I keep my staff? There's 175 people at work here. I say, said, can I keep my staff? said, yes, you can. Okay, let's try it. We guarantee you, two years on the air, guaranteed. Now, for the first four or five months when you're against original shows like uh, CSI, you'll get killed. But in the spring and the summer when the reruns come, uh, that's when you'll pick up. Okay, great. I agree to that. Four months go by. We don't make it. Okay. All right. Now, meanwhile, Conan's show during the summer when we were not on was not doing well. The great hope was that we would help him. Well... We didn't help many. Okay, so they come and they go, listen, this show isn't working. Uh, we want to let you go. Can I get out of my contract? They go, no, you're still a valuable asset to this company. How valuable can I be? You fired me twice. How valuable <laughs> can I be? <laughs> uh, okay. So then, they then say the affiliates are not happy. And the affiliates are one that own the TV station. They're the ones that uh, sort of make the decision. They're not happy with your performance, and Conan is not doing well at 11.30. I said, what's your idea? They said, well, look, how about you do a half-hour show at 11.30? Now, where I come from, when the boss gives you a job and you don't do it well, we, I think we did a good job here, but we didn't get the ratings. Okay, so you get humbled. I said, okay, I'm not crazy about doing a half-hour, but okay. What do you want to do with Conan? We'll put him on at midnight at 12.05. He keeps the Tonight Show, does all that. He gets the whole hour. I said, okay. You think Conan will go for that? Yes. Y yes. <laughs> Almost guaranteed. I said, okay, shake hands, that's it. I'm not a, I don't have a manager, I don't have an agent, that's my handshake deal. Next thing I see, Conan has a, a story in the paper saying he doesn't want to do that. They come back to me and they say, if he decides to walk and doesn't want to do it, you want the show back. I go, yeah, I'll take the show back. <laughs> if, that's what it, if that's what he wants to do. Uh -huh. This way we can keep all our people working fine. So that's pretty much where we are. It looks like we might be back at 11.30. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. But through all of this... Through all of this, Conan O'Brien uh, has been a gentleman. He's a good guy. He, I have no animosity towards him. This is all business. You know, folks, if you don't get the ratings, they take you off the air. I think you know in this town you can do almost anything. If you get ratings, they keep you on the air. I wasn't getting the ratings. He wasn't getting ratings. That was NBC Solution. NBC Solution, it didn't work. So we might have an answer for you tomorrow. So we'll see. Cool. But that's basically where it is. It's time for headlines.
Damn. But do you see what, oh like, and what he's really telling bad. you is the absolute truth? <clears throat> Um, and, and he said some of that to me in private conversation. Again, it's like not that that's earth shattering stuff, but about, you know, two years and all this. It's like, and then the guy is coming out and explaining all this, and he's not motherfucking Conan. He's not douching Letterman. He's not being a fucking baby about mm -hmm. it. He's just telling you this is what happened. And for five years, he knew that he was asked to leave a show where he was number one, and he didn't snivel and bellyache, and he stayed number one on the air, and they still asked him to go. I, I am just stunned, and I don't even know why. Uh, that you think it gets better with the different network and something like the Tonight Show, or they, and meanwhile, it's just the same shit. That 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 same dumb shit mistakes that these idiots make. And I've been, and again, I've been bitching for a while. It's a situation You've been I have been here for a long time. It's, man. it's serious. Uh, <laughs> Where uh, where where management is doing something that I am, it's just I've never experienced it in twenty years, mm -hmm. and then I look at something like Jay, who has been the perfect employee or whatever, and done the job completely, and is much more valuable to NBC than I am to Sirius, and they still, you know, he's got to deal with that shit. So yeah, yeah, uh, never ends. Oh, is he still in the line? But people who have. You know, who think Conan's getting fucked. Maybe you're right, but it's not well, by Jay. Somebody mm -hmm. was on the line and said that, uh, what would Tyler Durden do? Dot com, WWTDD.com. Uh, has some audio from 2004 where, where it's a little different than what we heard. Well, probably because... I got the audio so we could listen. Yeah, let's to play that. Probably because if Leno spun it a certain way in 2004, it's because he was being a company man. That's what I'm going to guess. He might have said, I decided to step down because probably it's humiliating to go on the air and say, uh, listen, uh, I'm number one right now, but for the next five years, you're going to have to look at me and I've been asked to leave. Mm -hmm. right. All right, let's listen to it. I, have not, I, heard I haven't this. heard this I, yet. I honestly have not either. Yeah. I want to elaborate on the uh, announcement. Yeah, just to make it perfectly clear, this is like from five, six years ago. Right. Okay, 2004. I want to elaborate on the uh, announcement made earlier today. You may have uh, heard about this, uh, that uh, I'm going to leave the show in 09. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. No, let, me, let, let me explain. Let me explain how these things work. Uh, about six months ago, I sat down here with the folks at NBC, and they said, we want to re-up. And I said, okay, what do you want to do? Because I don't have a manager in age, and I, I like the people I work with. They're nice folks. And they said, and this is a high-paying job. Oh, this is a great paying job. <laughs> so they said, listen, we would like to do five more years. I said, great. I'd love to do five more years. And that was six months ago. And then time went by. Uh, there's all talk about Conan O'Brien. Will he go to ABC? Will he go to one of these other networks? And, and they came to me and they said, we don't want to lose... Conan O'Brien. And I said, oh, okay, what does that mean? <laughs> and I said, uh, well, um, we think Conan would be a good replacement, as I do. Conan is a gentleman, funny, the hottest oh, late night guy out there. Excellent. And I said, you know something? I don't want to see Conan go anywhere else. I'm 59. I'll be 59 years old when this leaves five years from now. That's 1,200 shows. They're not going anywhere tomorrow. <laughs> and I said, you know, there's really only one person who could have done this into his 60s, and that was Johnny Carson. I think it's fair to say. I'm no Johnny Carson. So I called up my buddy, uh, no, 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 I called my buddy Jerry Seinfeld. I said, Jerry, what do you think, you know? And Jerry quit his show when it was the most popular. And I'm proud to say this show has been number one. We will keep it number one. And then in 09, I'll say, Conan, it's, take it over. It's yours. Because, you know, you, you can do these things until they carry on on a stretcher. Or you can get out when you're still, you know, you're still doing good and think, I'm not quitting show business. You know, you know, I've... But I realize I'm not spending enough time with my cars. No, no. I, <laughs> no but anyway, <laughs> this is not tomorrow. It's five years from today. And I want to say uh, I, I don't think there's a better choice. Because, you know, when I took this show over, boy, there was a lot of animosity between me and Dave and who's going to get it. And, and quite frankly, uh, a lot of what I thought, well, good friendships were permanently damaged. And I don't want to see anybody ever have to go through that again. Because this, you know, this show is like a dynasty. You, you hold it, and then you hand it off to the next person. And I don't want to see all the fighting and all, and who's better, and nasty things back and forth in the press. So right now, here it is. Conan, it's yours. See you in five years, buddy. Okay. Clear enough. That's actually not that much different than what he just said. No, not Other at all. Other than his attitude about it. Um, he was, he, NBC came and asked him. But yeah. let me tell you something about Leno. Okay, he's a fucking competitive guy, and he's been in the game a long time. Oh, yeah. No one in show business is happy and feels positive when they are number one, and they say, we are going to give your show. <laughs> yeah. Just nobody feels good about that. And I guess at that point, Leno had two options. Do what he did and continue to host the show mm -hmm. or be bitter about it 
and start to let that bitterness show. I, I don't know how he sat on that resentment or annoyance. I don't know how he did it because I'm a big mouth and I would have shot my mouth off immediately and yeah. probably lost the gig. Wow. So, but that, that to me, that's not me, that different. Let me go to Frank in Manhattan. Frank, hi, Frank. Good morning, guys. What's happening? Hey. What's up? Hey, I, I work in the TV business, and this is why broadcast networks are getting the shit kicked out of them by cable networks because of stupid ass uh, the mistakes like this. NBC had a great show for uh, prime time, ten o'clock, uh, back in the spring, Southland. They didn't pick it up. It got picked up by TNT. It's a hit on TNT, and now Jay's getting fucked like this. They're just idiots at broadcast networks. Broadcast stations are dying because of it, and they're killing the industry, and cable's kicking the shit out of them because they make better choices, and they make better programming choices because they give programs time to get ratings. I work for the ratings company. I know how this shit works. And it's also, too, dude, it's like like Jay said this time. People think he's going back on what he said. When it was time for him to go and they said, we're going to give it to Conan, they wanted Jay probably just to fucking sit. And he goes, can you let me out? And they were like, no, because they didn't want him to go to ABC yeah, exactly. or Fox or whatever network and fucking smash them. Mm -hmm. So out of a right. fear, believe me, if his stock had run out. And if the Tonight Show had fallen to number two or number three and Letterman was beating him pretty, they would have said, adios, motherfucker. But it didn't. It was number one, and it was showing no signs of slowing. And they're like, okay, this beast is going to go across the street yeah. and be the same guy and do the same monologue and have the same show and kick the shit out of us. So for self-interest, they changed the entire lineup because they were afraid of losing him. And people it's who are shit on Jay for that make me sick. What, is he, what was he supposed to do? Yeah, what was that? How was that his Someone fault? explain to me what Leno should have done differently. Or even Conan, mm. what should he have done differently? Like, again, I don't blame the guy for wanting The Tonight Show five years ago. Mm. What should either of these guys have done differently? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, NBC is way at fault on this. They made a mistake, dude. They, they fucked up. What did Conan say? Like, does yeah, he have a statement or well, something? Well, Conan, uh, we got audio oh. from Conan from 2004. <sighs> Uh, all right. Well, here's what Conan said back in 2004. We heard we heard oh. from Jay in 2004. You know, equal time for these guys because you got the Conan fans like wanting to rip our throats out. Why? I think we've been pretty. Uh, no one to hear shit on Conan. Why well, the Conan fans can shut the fuck up? No one's bashing yes. Conan. Shut up. I am going to talk about something right up uh, front. Some of you probably saw this in the newspaper uh, today. It was announced yesterday. That uh, I guess I'll be doing this show for how many more years, Jeff? Fifty-two more years. <laughs> I'll be doing this show uh, for about four and a half more years, and uh, then I'm going to take over the Tonight Show uh, here on NBC. Which is pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Uh, that's nice. Uh, yeah. They've. Uh, That's a huge mistake. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. No, uh, this is um, this is a huge uh, this is a huge thing for me. This is uh, uh, something I've dreamt about for a long time. I think uh, people in comedy only can dream about something like this. So uh, I am incredibly humbled uh, and thrilled to get this amazing opportunity. And I did want to say. Uh, give my heartfelt thanks to everybody at NBC uh, that made this possible, and particularly uh, to Jay Leno. Jay Leno has been a big supporter of mine, uh, a good friend to me for 11 years when I first showed up at this network, and he's been incredibly kind and gracious about the whole thing, and he's a class act. And so uh, to everybody at NBC, but particularly uh, Jay Leno, uh, a huge thank you, and uh, I hope I, I can live up to that uh, challenge. But Run, you have, it! Is, 15, is it 15 years? <laughs> Four. Oh, 11, 22 years. No, I have I have some uh, some time to figure it out. So uh, in the meantime, uh, there's a lot uh, that I'd still uh, love to do with this show, and so uh, a lot of things we still want to try, and uh, I'm looking forward uh, to doing that. So. We're going to be here for, for quite a while still, but, uh, but to everybody, thank you very much. It's very cool. So you see, at, in 2004, 
him and Jay both did well, basically the company line, you know, which was, uh, and again, I'm sure it was friendly on some level, mm -hmm. but no one came out and just said, look, NBC, he, Conan didn't come out and be 100% honest. He didn't say, look, NBC is giving me the show, uh, even though Jay wants to stay. Right, yeah. yeah. Not, he didn't say that any more than Jay did. Mm -hmm. Moby Beaver mm -hmm. from a uh, from, uh, fan site. You keep saying Conan's ratings suck, but never mention that Jay's horrible ratings led to a 40% drop in ratings. In late night news in major markets, New York City, Philly, killing Conan's you, because he wasn't. You, you can't blame Jay's lead in because when Jay had a stronger lead in, Jay would win the night. You understand what I'm saying? It's like Jay actually won the night outright a few times with stronger lead ins, but nobody wrote about that. But it had Jay's lead in been stronger, maybe it would have helped. But uh, you know, what are you gonna do? And then Conan's gonna walk away with at least thirty million. Yeah, four. Holy shit! Who doesn't want that deal? But any any disgruntled thirty million, I'll get out of the seat right the fuck now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave right the fuck now. Any disgruntled Conan fans that want to get on the air, I, I mean, I think they should be heard too. It's like we just we, we you know, I don't want to be so pro well, that we don't listen to anybody complain. That's what's weird because you got a lot of uh, stop writing it and call well, it. You huh? got a lot of internet tough guys. You know, internet yeah, tough yeah, guys just want. fucking writing their shit on his feedback. Call the fucking call show. Up. I mean, not even to yell, but if like if We're you disagree honest, with something, yeah, we'll listen to you. Express themselves in an actual two-sided conversation. That's what are you crazy. crazy. Yeah, Stephen Please. S. from Bayshore. We're inviting you. Going backwards a little bit. Stephen S. from Bayshore writes. I'm, I'm doing the rundown for Nick Cannon's new show. Here it is so far. Nick talks boringly about his new gig. Some songs play. Nick talks boringly about his wife. Some songs play. <laughs> and then Nick talks boringly about how how happy he is to be with CBS. Is he? Good luck to you, Nick. Happy. Why, 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 why don't you comment on that in a, a, a little while? Good luck to you. how it is dealing with those people. All right. Genuine pisser, I say. <laughs> and boy, did Dick Ebersole fucking have a Lulu of an interview with the New York Times. I got yeah. That. I got that, too. He was the guy. I don't he, know how much you want to do with this. Well, Ebersole is a very big guy at NBC, and he was the guy who how basically... Big? Well, he took over at SNL. He's responsible for Eddie Murphy's Eddie? career. Yes. Like, Eddie Murphy does not credit Lorne Michaels at all. It's all Ebersole. Like, mm -hmm. that was the era that Ebersole, I believe, yep. ran SNL. So he's done a, you know, he's got a tremendous history at NBC. And his son actually was one killed, I think, in that, that uh, plane crash. Yeah, that plane crash. Oh, that's right. A few years ago. Yeah. Horrible. But it's, uh, do you have audio of that? I don't. I have it written. I got, not much. I got a letter fucking <laughs> responding to it, though. Cool. Like, this is, I don't know. I hope everyone else is enjoying this, because I can't get enough of this. I love the back and forth. I am now flipping around wars. watching all late night uh, shows. Late night wars. And then I'm like, what is Jimmy going to do tonight? And uh, and then Fallon is just fucking hiding under his desk, waiting for the whole thing to pass over him. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's a nice guy, but it's like, uh, Jimmy, yeah. you could tease them a little bit. It's okay. You're not, you know, you, you yeah. can't get in on it and fuck with them and have I, some fun. It's just, we love Fallon. Yeah. But, I mean, he's definitely, like, keeping his distance in this Come whole on, thing. Come on, have a pisser. <laughs> Uh, okay, what, what did he say in the New York Times? It said, uh, NBC executive Ebersol trashes Conan, astounding failure. Chicken-hearted and gutless. Uh, NBC uh, exec Dick Ebersol trashed Conan O'Brien in a provocative New York Times interview uh, with Bill Carter. He called Conan an astounding failure, and he wow. said his jokes about Leno have been chicken-hearted and gutless. He's the uh, the chairman of NBC Universal Sports and NBC's Olympic guru, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he described Conan's jokes about Leno as chicken-hearted and gutless to blame a guy you couldn't beat in the ratings. He added what is really... What this is really all about is an astounding failure by Conan. Ebersol said that Conan rejected his and the network's advice to make his show friendlier to middle America. So now a lot of people may say, all right, cool, Conan wouldn't change what he does. And um, maybe that was the good thing. Maybe you do have to respect Conan for not wanting to change what he does. But to make it, I guess, and again, I don't know how the networks work completely, but to make it marketable across the entire country... Maybe he would have had to change. Letterman obviously made the adjustment because he went from late night to being mm -hmm. extremely successful. And, and Letterman did uh, a quirky show before Very. he moved down. Very. I yeah, remember yeah. those days, man. Letterman was totally uh, different. just as quirky as Conan, if not more. Anybody Conan on the phone who wacky, disagrees? Wacky I'm, wacky I'm, I'm being honest. Not to argue. Not one phone call, Jimmy. But not, not to be a fucking... <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> they're lit. Are you kidding me? So let's get somebody... I mean, let's, I want to okay. do the... Just because uh, everyone has ADD, okay. we do, and the listeners do. Now I want to go with Dave's uh, response okay. to the Dick Ebersole thing that happened in the New York Times. Okay. And then we'll go to the phones to get people who want to sure. talk about Conan. And it's it's uh, Jay. Yes. It's Conan. 
and it's me, and every now and then Jimmy Kimmel comes in and causes some trouble, which yeah. is great. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody knows what to do. Uh, Conan uh, would like to stay. They said, no, you should go. And he said, no, I, I want to stay. And, and uh, so now they got to throw him out. But to throw him out, he gets $30 million. And Jay, of course, all Jay keeps saying is, yeah, you know, I think there's room for everybody. <laughs> I think there's room for everybody. And so, and so now, all of a sudden, comes this uh, outpouring of anger directed at Jay, who is, is, is America's best friend. He's the guy next door. When you need to borrow a wrench to fix your lawnmower, or when you need your lawnmower fixed, Jay will come over, and he's got his blue jeans on, and he's got his blue jean shirt, <laughs> and, he, and he, you know, got, got that thing, and he, uh, well, okay, let's, know, yeah. rolls up his sleeve, and he goes to work. Yeah. Yeah. Or let's just say you're driving from uh, Omaha to uh, St. Louis, and your car breaks down. Right there by the side of the road is Jay to change your tire. <laughs> For the t for the home viewer, Jay is AAA. He's there. He's Johnny on the spot. Yes. He'll take care of you. And I keep saying to people, well, what what has he done wrong? He's right. just kind of doing what the network tells him to do. Yeah. You know, they say, Jay, go to ten. Yeah, okay, not a bad idea. Right. <laughs> so they they say they say, Jay, all right, Jay, the ten o'clock didn't work. Come back to eleven thirty. Yeah, okay, sure, if that's what you want. Right. Uh, and then I pick up the uh, New York Times. Here's the headline. Can you see it right there? Executive leaps uh, to Leno's defense. So it's a guy who runs uh, NBC Sports named Dick Ebersol. Now, I've known Dick Ebersol. You've known Dick Ebersol. For years, yeah. When we worked at NBC, I've known Dick Ebersol since the late 70s. Yeah. And he was a guy, and he was always a guy, and he still is a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> And, and he, he, he came in to NBC, and he's the one that said, get the Olympics, get the Olympics, get the Olympics. And it's been a tremendous success. And now they got the Winter Olympics coming up pretty soon in a couple of weeks. So now all of a sudden, Dick Ebersol feels he's got to get in there and help Big Jaw. So I, I think, what, what is this? How did, how did this happen? Right. You know, it, it's like you're, you're, you're wrestling around in the backyard and somebody's mom comes out. Okay, come on, boys, right, break yes. it up. Break it up. Let's Please go. Quiet. Don't do that. Leave Timmy alone. Come Please. on, get off him. It's completely unnecessary. Like I'm off. Uh, and, and plus, Dick Evers Hall has got things on his mind. I mean, the Olympics kick off up there in Vancouver, up there at Whistler. Whistler. <laughs> I mean, he really, right now... He should be up there putting the finishing touches on the Bodie Miller story. He should be right. He he should be up there picking out sweaters for Bob Costas. He doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't have time for this. So. The Bob and Bob, turn around. Let me see the one with the reindeer. All right, turn around. All right, now try the plaid one, Bob. All right, let's see what that looks like on camera. What about a scarf to go with that, Bob? Kind of a thing like that when you're out there with the bobsled boys, a thing like that? Why don't you look into that? Get yourself a scarf. Gloves. Get him some gloves. <laughs> so now here's what Ebersole says. Out of the blue, and I'm thinking, oh, Dick, 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 Dick. Uh, the verbal barbs in this uh, late night uh, war uh, got louder Thursday as a top NBC executive struck back against on-air attacks on the network's once and future Tonight Show host, Jay Leno. Now, this is what he said. Out of nowhere, he didn't need to talk about this. He really doesn't. You know, leave us alone. We're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Referring to the pointed jokes made uh, this week by Mr. O'Brien and David Letterman of CBS, Mr. Ebersole said it was chicken-hearted and gutless to blame... Uh, uh, blame guys you couldn't beat in the ratings. Chicken-hearted and gutless. Ah, That's what he said. He's calling me and Conan O'Brien chicken-hearted ah. and gutless. I can't speak for Conan O'Brien. Ah. <laughs> I... For the sake of the discussion, yes, I'm chicken-hearted and yes, I'm gutless. But these two characteristics have nothing to do with the current situation. I'm telling jokes and making fun of Jay Leno over and over and over, relentlessly, mercilessly, simply for one reason, and that is, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> it's... I don't know. It's just fun. 
<laughs> oh, that's all I got. I got to tell you, Letterman is at his best when there's shit happening. Absolutely. He, he is at his best. He gets right in there, man. That was good. And knows how to scrap. That was Definitely. I good. think Jay should hit really him harder good. too. I, and you know, Jay certainly could. But uh, Jay does him for some reason. Jay, yeah. he's a really nice guy, man. He yeah. really is, and it's not some yeah. phony bullshit act. I've sat and chatted with the guy. It's like he's 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 just not a dick. All right, let's go to some uh, Kona phone calls. Sure. I've been waiting through that whole thing there. Let's go to Dan in Philly. Dan, hello, Dan. Hello, boy. Hi, Dan. Uh, I'm not even a big Conan fan, but what what Jay did that was wrong is he just stuck around the situation. When Carson retired, he disappeared. He was done. Well, honestly, though, hold on. But retiring, Johnny was a lot older than Jay. How old was Johnny? Was he pushing 70 at yes, that point? Yes, I believe he was. He was a lot older. And uh, Jay was still number one with no time, no sign of slowing. Yeah, but he agreed that his time was up, passed, passed the show on, and then just stepped back from the situation. Well, so, so basically Jay, you think... Jay, well, instead of disappearing, basically has his own show on at the same type of show right before Conan's show. There's no, uh, Conan had no shot. Of ever succeeding in that position. So you would have walked away. Like, let me ask you honestly. Like, you're in Jay's position. Right. They give you this this horrendous option. Uh, you're losing your gig in five years. He didn't want to agree right. to that, Dan. That's pretty obvious. You stay I number mean, one. I mean, he turned out to be a nice guy about it in 2004, but he didn't want that to happen. Well, so hold on, Dan. You stay number one. Now your time is up, and they're going to want to sit you. And you go, okay, could you let me out of my contract? Basically, so you could go across the street and compete. Jay was willing... To honor the deal, let Conan do what he does, and go across the street at 11.30 and tell jokes. Right. Now, obviously, they were terrified of that. Mm -hmm. So they said, we want to keep you. What should Jay have done? She's going to quite have the same record. They were afraid Jay was going to go to the other team and beat the shit out of them. So the do, you coach, remember what, do you remember when Jay started his ratings? He was getting slaughtered by... Uh, first three years. And, and until the Hugh Grant thing. Yeah. Absolutely. First, and also the Cheers uh, stuff he did. First, he had three years, I think, to become number one. But that was NBC's decision. Because did you notice they didn't give Jay the same type of time? They didn't give him three years in prime time any more than they gave Conan three years at, at late night. Yeah, they don't give anyone three years anymore. You know that, Hell Dan. Hell no. It's a, I, I it's a different you, I, world. I, I, I understand you're loyal, but I just think you yeah. cannot completely... You cannot completely say Jay's not at fault. Loyal? Okay. Dude, I'm being loyal. I'm not blaming you. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not blaming you. I agree. If I was in your position, I would say the same stuff. But, I'm, but dude, even in my, my position, I don't like what Letterman's saying, but I think it's funny. I'm not going to say Letterman stinks because he's bad-mouthing bad Jay. The reality is Jay was willing to leave and go across the street and compete, and they did not want him to. Right, but but because the company fucked Jay, then he has to go and turn around and fuck Conan. How is he fucking Conan? Yeah, he gave the guy his spot, and now he wants it fucking back because his. Well, his oh my work. God! Dude, wait, you... wait, wait, Dan! NBC made the decision. He didn't give him his spot. Even if, he's even, fucking making. Even if Jay said, "Holy shit!" They're not going to they're not gonna give Conan the eleven thirty spot. They've already decided they they need to do something different. I know, but if Jay is as classy as he kind of kind of like. You know, purports to be. He should just end his career. No, no, he should end his career. End his career. Seinfeld stepped back, and now he's kind of doing new things. Seinfeld I mean, wanted to leave. You can do something different. Dude, I, oh, hold on. So this guy and Conan fans could be happy. Jay should have stopped Again, doing what I, he wanted to do. I'm, a, I'm not even a Conan fan. I'm just looking at it from as an outsider. I, I, I said like this guy and Conan fans. Right. It. Uh, oh, okay. But, but you're missing the point that NBC has moved on from Conan O'Brien. Seinfeld I, I, wanted to I, leave, If Jay dude. said, you know what, I, I'm out, I'm, I'm out, this is ridiculous, give it to Co Conan, I bet you NBC doesn't give it to Conan at this point. Well, and then it comes up with a whole different new solution. There's rumors that uh, Jerry Seinfeld would love uh, a shot at late night. How about NBC should have had more faith in Conan... And just let Jay go across the street and compete. How go. about that? that? That is true. That is true. But as soon as Jay, Jay didn't have to take that 10 o'clock show. So he should have turned down a multi-million dollar fucking primetime spot in a network? It, it, well, he could find something else to do. He's a talented guy. Holy shit. Out of his ass. Does he need more money? How many fucking He should have found... Money? Conan could have found something else to do. This asshole needs. Wow. You're just... Here's the bottom line. Jay comes on and explains it. And I am not allowing my bias and love for Leno. I'm, I'm giving you a pretty logical argument. And your argument is he could have found something else to do. <laughs> well, absolutely. I mean, he agreed to, to pass the torch, so to speak. It's like if Carson said, all right, Leno, you're going to take the show. And then Carson opened up shop an hour before. 
I mean, Jay just hovers around the situation. Yeah, you're right. He should have just... No, you're right. He, no, no, Jay didn't hover. Jay said, I'll go to ABC or another network, right. and that scared the shit out of NBC. Of course it's going to scare the shit out of him. So I mean, then why is that Jay's fault for hovering when he was willing to leave? Because he could step back for a year or two, enjoy the fucking success, go on the road. You really are... He always does. He should have... St the fucking <laughs> nerve of you. He should have given up his career on television uh, because he... He's old. I mean, it's just... It's Holy fun. shit. It's 15 fucking years. Dan, is this a frunkus call? Because I'm starting to worry you about you. You couldn't be this stupid. I'm starting to worry about you, Dan. It's a well, little... I mean, what do you want, what do you want what Conan you, to do? So, I mean, what do you do for a living? Do you want... Why didn't Conan step back, buddy? Why didn't Conan go, you know what? This beast... And 11.30 is fucking beating Letterman when he didn't have writers and Letterman did. Maybe I should step back and redo my 12.30 show. Right. Why didn't Conan do that? Conan, Conan was promised a gig at, at 11.30. That's right. I mean, and, and Leno was the one who promised him and said, look, we're going to pay. No, Jay oh, didn't promise him. NBC promised. You fucking don't. NBC, fuck Leno. Jay didn't, Jay didn't, didn't want to Leno. do that. What do you think? The tape you played from that uh, Tyler Durden, he fucking promised. What do you think? Leno he runs five NBC. Years, five years it's yours. You can run with it. They, they told him what the hell was going they, on. The NBC made a decision. Conan wasn't 100% honest back then. Did Conan get on in 2004 and go, you know what? I threatened to leave the network, so they promised me the Tonight Show, and Jay went along with it. That would have been honest. Conan didn't do that either. Conan and Jay both spun it in a positive way because they're both making millions of dollars. They both spun it in 2004. And now that the shit has hit the fan, everybody's telling the yeah, truth. I'm sure Conan well, wasn't happy. He had to wait five years to do... Uh, Guys, you fucking... If you want to go somewhere else, you don't have to tell us you're, you don't have to tell us you're going somewhere else. Why do you Just read these somewhere assholes? Else. Why do you read them. Because I like to uh, bring out the stupidity of the Call or fucking don't have an opinion. I love bringing out the stupidity of what uh, people go through. If you don't like what we're talking about, there's a million choices. Just go there. You don't have to tell us you're leaving. Yeah. You dummy. Well, guy and I'm sure the, the guy's still listening. Uh, of course anyway. he is. So Chuck, what do you got? Hi, Chuck. Well, uh, I'm going off at a, a different angle, a creative angle, and skipping all out of the bullshit. Um, a long time ago, Ernie Kovacs had a TV show, and it was so innovative and so odd, so strange, that it was not a middle America show. And, but, yet yeah, it had its cult following, and it, it, it did well, well enough to stay on the air. And I think Conan's kind of like that same thing. I don't think, I mean, you could ask him, hey, get, tone it down, tweak it, make it a little more palatable for middle America, and then, you know, you, you get the Tonight Show or, or, you know, something like that. I don't know if he has it in him to really be that Jerry Seinfeld, Jay Leno type host. I think he's more of a creative uh, person. Uh, and I'm not denigrating the Leno right, right, right. And, 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 and Seinfeld. I mean, creative in a sense of oh, odd. Just kind of a strange uh, a character. Conan might be, he's a little quirkier, and so his following is going to be narrowed down by that. It's not a knock on Conan, but his humor is is not as broad-reaching as Leno's. My humor is not as broad-reaching as Leno's. I do okay in my five-minute spots. I couldn't maintain a nightly show at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to, it, it's like Conan's humor, he's a tremendous following, but it might, like the way it is, without being tweaked, might not be what is going to succeed at 1130. Yeah. And I, and I think that maybe the whole format, that, that whole format of the, t the traditional Tonight Show isn't made for Conan. But the guy who just called up, it's, a, it's like listening to a guy go, well, Jay promised it to him. It's like, do you really think that's how it works at NBC? Jay goes, I'm tired, let's give it. But no, the guy should have just got out of the way. So what have happened is, if Conan didn't succeed at the Tonight Show, Leno would have been, his career is done and then Dan goes, well, then he could just do something else. And then they just give the Tonight Show to somebody else. It's silly. And Why yeah. would Jay Lee? He shouldn't have fucking left. Why would he? And in those two clips, uh, neither guy's being honest, completely honest. No, they they're were both being be polite in 2004. Polite, trying to be company guys. Yes. And trying to, yeah, yeah, knowing that they have another five years where they are going to be working uh, side by side. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Chuck. Conan You're had welcome, something guys. to work All for. Right. Jay was working basically with his fucking head in a guillotine. <laughs> and he still stayed number one and he didn't bitch. Uh, let's see. I want Jimmy to be honest. If he was on, I can't get to all these calls. If he was on Conan's show, he'd be defending Conan. I'm not attacking Conan. And let me tell you something about Conan. I, I've never met Conan, but the guy who books Conan, I don't like, and he doesn't like me. So this has nothing to do with me liking or disliking Conan, because I'm fiercely loyal to Jay, and I'm not motherfucking Conan, because I don't think Conan has done anything other than just be a hungry performer who wants to keep succeeding. 
So I am completely up with Leno, and I am not motherfucking Jay. I'm, I'm uh, Conan. So don't tell me what I'd be doing. I'm being pretty fair. And I, and I said, play Conan's audio. Hey, Conan was funny when he said that shit. I'm not attacking sure. Conan. I think Conan is so much better than Leno. Fair enough. Was. Okay. These are just some of the phone calls. I think it has more to do with the baby boomer uh, generation being Leno fans. Leno killed the ratings by going to 10. If his show wasn't there, would Conan's ratings go down as well? John, by the way, Johnny was about, thanks, Dr. Steve, 66 or something when he retired. And again, you have to realize Carson was in a different boat yeah. than uh, Leno was simply because he came up when there was three networks and there was only fucking him. Leno came in and had to compete against Letterman, who had an established audience, even though he was moving down in time and switching networks. Yeah. He had an established audience. And this is like... You know, uh, becoming a, a king someday, because Brent in Atlanta writes, "It's not Conan's time yet. Leno's not quite done." And the whole thing with late night TV, you wait for the guy to officially be done. Everyone knew Carson was pretty Carson much done when he left because he wanted to. He was done. He, what he wanted to do. He was ready to leave. Uh, Leno was never ready to leave. You got to wait for some reason in this late night thing. You got to just wait, and sometimes it takes a really fucking long time for them to finally, you know, move you in. If Leno wasn't getting numbers and he wasn't succeeding, or he was. Not Number three, like I said, and then he raised a big stink about Conan and blah, blah. then I would say, all right, well, that's one thing. But mm. he wasn't. It makes business sense to keep him there. And in all fairness, I think Conan is the future of late night. So, I mean, it, you know, people are supporting their sides here. Fair enough. I don't say people don't, shouldn't love Conan or support him. I, don't, I never watched him on The Tonight Show. He might have been great. But for whatever reason, it just didn't. But the same. But no one is saying they should have given yeah. Jay more time at ten o'clock. All these people shitting on Jay. Why aren't you saying they didn't give Leno enough time in prime time? And this shit not calling. It's all over the place, to be honest with you. I mean, we could take calls for another hour, but we'll take a break. We'll They're both multimillionaires. Yeah. They're both going to be very successful at what they do. Wherever Conan winds up, he'll do fine. And I think Leno will be great again at 1130. Remind me, one day this week, we got to do the Rosie audio, because she has a lot to say about oh, this. Oh, good. What, what, what is she mad about? The fact that fucking Leno, they wanted her to guest host on Fridays, and Leno said no, because maybe Leno d d didn't want to fucking have other guest hosts, and he wanted to be the only face there. What, is know? Rosie bitter? How do you know that we have that clip. I didn't know you had oh. that clip at all. But I mean, what else could she be fucking mad wow. about? Why wait? Now let me tell you my little Jay Leno story, okay? So right. it was pre-May 95, okay? That's what I know for sure. Absolutely. It was pre-May 1995. Whose cunt was, was she licking then? Exactly. <laughs> Whose cunt was she licking back then? Was that that old girlfriend of the new one? She just sounds fat. Jesus. She really does. Was that, was that when oh, you were shit. was that when you were still looking at the trade centers before the awful U.S. government knocked them down? Yeah, You that fucking is. fat, blithering idiot. Lunatic. It's amazing. I'm mad at her. All she did was say pre-95. I don't yeah, know. Shut exactly. up and listen. Oh, for Shut sure. Up. Absolutely. It was pre-May 1995. I was doing the touring company of Greece that was about to come into Broadway. Oh, wow. And Brandon Tarnikoff came to see me do that. Bobby thinks that it wasn't that, that it was my stand-up tour. I think it was just stand-up tour. Okay, but, but it was one of those two right. things, that I was performing in a large venue. Exactly. And he came to see you me. You can only agent, perform in a Chicago. large venue. <laughs> and uh, he came back, and at the time, Leno had started in 93, and he wasn't doing well. So I think it was about seven, eight months after Leno started. Mm -hmm. And the ratings were not good, and there was a lot of controversy because... You know, Jay had that woman manager. Remember what was her name? Helen. Someone help me. Helen, Helen Kushnick. Kushnick. That's right. Helen Kushnick. She was an unhappy woman and uh, not very kind. You're a and she had only of joy one goal and a lot of fun to people. Jay Leno's advance. Phony. So happy you hate her, Ann. So uh, fucking She's happy. a phony. She really is a fucking phony. That pretty, whole uh, pretty fucking, brave to come out of the closet after the huge success with your daytime the show. Queen Real of fucking nice. brave. Remember that how they were talking about what a Real. nice isn't Rosie so nice and Real her fucking talk brave. show so nice and it's pleasant. It's so much it's so refreshing to see a nice show and stuff. Shut up. What a fucking Jekyll and Hyde she is. You're a bullshit eater, just like the rest of them. Oh, bullshit eater. Yes. What else? <laughs> a lot of pizzas. A lot of pizzas. <laughs> Jay Leno's advancement. So his ratings are bad. And um, Brandon, and he said to me, we'd like to offer you the Friday nights like Joan Rivers did for Johnny. We'd like you to do that for The Tonight Show. And this, like Conan said, was my dream. I'm thrilled. And so after uh, they call them making the deal, they're doing the money, Brandon calls me to say, Jay Leno won't agree. I said, what? He said, he won't agree. He said that oh. he doesn't want to take any days off. He doesn't like vacations. All he wants to do is work. And they can't oh. force him. And I was like shocked. Like, Dude, stop this one second. Right? What an asshole Leno is to not want to take days off and work. Yeah. What a dick. And it didn't work. What a terrible plan Jay had. <laughs> what a terrible yeah. plan. Maybe had he put that fucking, that fucking giant 
fucking corn muffin in on Friday nights, the show never would have succeeded. He's been number one for 16 years. It worked. <laughs> All she's doing is saying that Leno was a hundred percent right, right to proceed as he did wow. with, with a, a good work ethic. They yeah. almost threw the he fucking fat work. broad in. She's she's complaining because Jay Leno wanted to work. Yeah, the nerve of him! What an asshole! He wants to go there every night yeah. and work. Yuck! She does an hour podcast for the for Sirius XM. Oh, Leno's terrible. How about you work? How about you work full time at this? How about you start there? Force him, and I was like shocked. Like you got to be kidding me, mm -hmm. right? What is one day a week? What is he afraid that I'm going to do good and take over the show and he's going to lose his job? Oh, Maybe he was afraid that you would do terrible and hurt the show even more as he was struggling. <laughs> Whatever he was worried about, his worry sure paid off. Yeah. Well, she's going to tell you uh, why the show is bad. Oh, cool. The show that was number one when he was taken off the air. Cool. Mm -hmm. So here I was offered to do Fridays like Joan Rivers, and, and he's the one who said no. So Bobby and I, where were we working? In Vegas? We are in Vegas. We were in Vegas. I was in some, uh, the show, Caesars, the showroom, the big room, and uh, Bobby answered the phone, and it was Jay Leno, mm -hmm. right? And I said I didn't want to talk to him, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, I kept saying no, he's not there, and he knew I had a show. So I kept calling, right, and right, and finally Bobby goes, you have to take it. <laughs> so I took the phone, and I go, what? He's like, yeah, Rosie, I just want to say, you know, I'm sorry about that. You know, they, they, they didn't ask me. If they had asked me first, I wouldn't have had them say anything to you because, you know, I, I, I like to go, uh, I like to work. I don't like to, yeah. I'm like, you know what, Jay, you're selfish. I said, and this is what's... Do you listen Whoa, to hold the on, hold on, hold fuck on. is wrong Again, with this Again, here's a guy, so. first of all, that didn't have to do shit. He has the decency to even call up this fucking piece of shit and tell her, look, this is what the deal is. Was Rosie, give, maybe, uh, maybe she was, was Rosie giving up one day a week on her show when she was doing the daytime show? I don't think Maybe she, hey, Rosie, how about this? How about this, Giver? I'm a comic, and I met Rosie once, and you know she was actually very nice when I met her, so I shouldn't uh, be motherfucking her. Good but for you. how about this? How about you give me a piece of the money you're making from Sirius XM? It's not your bus, Jay Leno. You're lucky enough to be the driver. Can you pause that real quick? nothing to do with it. Really? I agree that that was a mistake. driver. I agree that was a mistake not to thank Johnny. And I think Jay, I don't think it was his selfishness. I think he listened to his manager and he shouldn't have. And I think Jay admits that, that he wishes he had thanked Carson that mm -hmm. night. That was something where I think that he was he listened to Helen and he never should have on that one. That's what my memory of that mm -hmm. is. And I agree. That was that was something he probably would have. Had he Could he go back and do that again? I guarantee you he would do that again. He would, he would do it better. Lucky enough to be the driver. Mm -hmm. Has nothing to do with you. No, Rosie, why do you say that? Uh, come on, kid. I mean, come on. Why do you say that? And then, of course, I proceeded to not do his show for many, many, many years. Wow. Wow. And, uh, I, I mean, he came number one. I just thought one. he was a selfish guy to do that. Right? Yeah, but you did a show before. Uh, yeah, he's a self terrible, selfish guy. He wants to work. He wants to work. He takes a show, he makes it number one, and he wants to stay there. Really selfish guy. Doesn't Not like you, who show. fucking piggybacks 9-11 and blabbers about it to get herself some attention. Yeah. Shut your face. Nice. Shut your face. You want more audio, guys? I'd love more audio of this, but I want a piece of Rosie's show. Can somebody Twitter her or whatever? I'm sure she has a great Twitter. I would like, because she's selfless, and I'm a funny guy, I would like a piece of her show. I would like to get paid yeah. for it and a percentage of it. If she does a yeah. one-hour show, I would like 20% of that because she wanted 20% of Jay's show. I don't even know how long off. her show is. She, don't no be, idea. she shouldn't be selfish. She, she should give it to you. She does a four-hour show. Uh, that's 240 minutes. That, maybe that's 48 minutes. I would like 20% of it just like she wanted one out of five nights, 20%. You know what else I can't stand about her? What? Uh, the, uh, well, uh, the visual aspect, but uh, the fact that she's... Been nothing but an anti-gun advocate yeah. for years and years and years. Yet her bodyguards are armed to the teeth. That's selfish. That protect her and her her children. She's selfish. They're armed, and she knows they're armed. They carry firearms, but no one else is allowed to. What if you can't afford your own security yeah. staff? Then you shouldn't be able to defend yourself. Rosie's uh, protection is more important than yours. She's a hypocrite. A I think hypocrite. it says an awful lot about what he must think of himself. He must have the lowest self-esteem. Who's this broad? The lowest self-esteem to say, no, I can pilot the Tonight Show without you? Who's this broad? Who's this broad who got it completely wrong? He had complete self-esteem. Yeah. That's complete self-worth. She's really He must have the lowest self-esteem in the world if he's that threatened. I don't know. I just think that he only has one thing going on. He didn't go to college, right? He's like a stand-up comic. His dad like sold insurance door to door in Harlem or something. And he's a working class blue collar guy. And um, okay. this is what he did. He started doing stand-up, and then he got married. As he was young, he's been married a long time. They don't have children. He's 
Don't, I don't think he has a big social life. I don't think he's got a lot of friends. I think he's, you know, he and he his wife, and he's got a lot of cars. And I think if you only do one thing like mm-hmm. that, the concept of that one thing going away is shocking. She's but, probably you know, right about that. But to hold on yes. so pathetically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hold on. on so pathetically. Where's the holding on so pathetically come in? He was and the- she's a kook. She's the nut job with the fucking mommy issues and everything. Why, why, why not bring up your past and run through uh, uh, your upbringing in what a Comac? F- what a shut up! What a jealous fatso! You're fucking jealous that he didn't yep. want or need you. And you know what? Had Jay bombed at the Tonight Show and been booted, maybe Rose would have a great point. Sorry, he became number one. It worked and stayed there for 16 years. Yeah. So he knew having you on that show and look at the way you turned out on the View to be a loose cannon. He was smart. He probably saw that in you and realized you yeah. weren't good enough. And I'm not saying Rosie isn't funny or she's not great at, at you know, again, you got to give credit. She had a tremendously successful show. And I like the fact that she talked a lot of shit about Michael Jackson. She can't say she stinks. But the reality is he wanted to do it. And he didn't need or want you. And it worked. And she brings too much of her personal agenda to uh, whatever forum she has. In some places it works. It's good. In others... Uh, like uh, uh, the View and things like that. Uh, she she is she has an inability to be open minded. This woman, she a complete inability to be open minded at all. You know what I think is pathetic. She thinks Jay hold on to his gig is pathetic. I think it's pathetic that you have to have a radio company build a fucking studio in your house just so you can continue being her. Why not just go out wow. and do stand up? When did she start looking cheaper than the fire department knocking a wall down to bring her in every day? <laughs> when did she start looking like Kathy Bates from Misery? Oh, she's yeah. fucking wow. horrendous. That is a icy fucking so bloated stare. and fucking just Do you ugh. She said Jay was selfish for not wanting her to host one out of five nights. That dude, I am literally speechless. Yeah. I have never heard such a delusional asshole. It's it's amazing. I guess Colin Quinn was selfish when he hosted Tough Crowd for not offering it to Norton on Fridays. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Well, I'll agree it's with that. It's shocking, but you know, to hold on so pathetically, mm-hmm. so well, desperately, and to think that you have the right to do that in a franchise that's been on mm-hmm. for sixty years in a gu- to a guy like Conan who for 17 years worked for that company. I don't know, man. I think he's got balls, and not in a good way. Yeah, but I bet, so do you, in a good way. <laughs> Physically. <laughs> yeah, Jay, yeah, it, but, uh, what are you talking Conan's about? been there for 17 years, right. and that's great. But she's not saying one ounce of how Jay did the job. He was number one, and then he shouldn't have wanted to leave when he was number one, and how dumb it was to want the number one guy to leave. Mm. the fuck is wrong with this woman? So Conan, they basically say... Okay, we're going to make Jay, we're going to cancel his pathetically lame 10 p.m. show, mm-hmm. right? Now, ever since Conan's been on the air, what has his lead-in been? That's the other thing. He didn't <laughs> have a chance. Right. If he had had SU... But you, neither- you, don't, you don't get a chance anymore, you dumb media fucking bitch. But do you understand th- that thinking right there? He didn't have a chance. I agree. Conan did not have long enough. But why is it? Why are they saying Leno's show is pathetically failed and not saying he didn't have a chance? You biased asshole! Can anybody look at anything fairly balanced? I am pro Leno, and I admit Conan did not have enough time to really get rolling. Right. SUV, Law and Order, and all of those things leading him in, he would not have the ratings issues that he has now. Mm-hmm. But you know, know what? They sure. cut their own Achilles heel. NBC. They said six years ago they're like Leno's boring, which frankly Leno's boring. He does. They didn't say that. Yeah, that's what they said. He was number one. They said he's boring. They didn't say that. They didn't think he could sustain the the ratings in another five years. They never said he was boring, you stupid fuck. And Rosie, no one's talking about your radio show, by the way. I asked somebody, when is she starting? And they're like, she started. There's no buzz. So you want to talk about buzz. And you want to talk about a boring show. Uh, I don't see them talking about Rosie around the water cools around here. Nobody. Let's try a watering boring, hole. Don't know like here she is. Boring. He that doesn't is have that. a lot to add. He comes up and he does obvious jokes about nothing emotional. He's robotic. His humanity is not very present when you see it, right? You look at Conan and you're like, here's a smart guy uh, who's taking risks, fucking. who's doing new things, who's got children and a life and a whole, you know, her, I don't know. Children. Could I, I, could I think just think to myself, you fucking, her, her fucking idea of having any self-worth is that whole child thing. Like, because she, and it's been documented through the years, she said it herself, she's a manic-depressive mental D. 
disaster area yeah. who had to adopt children in order to feel complete as a human fucking being because she's got such a horrific uh, self-image. So she's, like, analyzing anyone else? And she's saying Conan's more of a complete person because he's got a marriage and he's got children and I guess Jay doesn't have kids for whatever reason his, him and his wife didn't. Yeah. How about, here's something Jay has that you don't, a marriage that worked. Yeah, how about how that? About that? Oh, shit. How yeah. about that? Jay's in a fucking marriage that works and you're not. So I guess you're not a complete or whole person. Yeah. Shut your fucking inconsistent mouth. Children and a life and a whole, you know, I don't know. I, I just think to myself, you know. Okay. But you would, you would. Think, I mean, a, a career is about reinvention. I mean, look at all. Well, the it has things. to be exactly. Really, all the great careers are about reinvention, and that's what he's flatly refusing to do. Ugh. A career is not about reinvention. A career is about succeeding at what you do and loving what you do. And sustaining. And, and sustaining. Which Jay was doing. And if you right want to reinvent, you reinvent. Seinfeld wanted to leave, so he left. Mm -hmm. Conan's not. How is Conan reinventing? He didn't change his show. And heard. not only that, That's when they tell you six sad. years ago, like, you know, they they have to tell. They told Joe Namath at one point. Guess what? Oh, We're gonna have oh my God, a sports now. She's it's just dummy. the yeah. worst. Yeah, I guess we were supposed to uh, watch Joe Namath play into his 50s. Really? Yeah, it's the on. same thing? He was great on the radio. I have really? to piss. So, I, I, my, I can't. I stand. can't even breathe. I, I'm really Can we bad. pause and just piss real quick and finish this? If I, dude, Rosie's I, in the bathroom, tell me right, how big you know uh, her cock is. Yeah, it's probably a nice. I, can we just run and piss? It's not a bad idea. Yeah, we yeah. got a little more from Rosie after yeah. the break. And uh, Nick Cannon's first day. Ricky yeah. Gervais at the Golden Globes. Uh, yeah. Haiti. I don't know. Stay there. This just in, we're going to get back to the Rosie audio, but um, 5.8 earthquake in the Cayman Islands now. Uh, now, that's my spot. That's my spot. I've been to the Cayman Islands twice to do some of that diving. It's amazing down there. Now they're talking about a 5.8 earthquake. Move over, Dan. Near the Cayman Islands, south of Cuba, west of Jamaica. That just in um, uh, from CNN. Wow. What the fuck is going on in that area? Got to fly over uh, Cuba to get to the Cayman Islands. That's a weird experience, just flying over Cuba. Uh, knowing that uh, Cuba is off limits. Yep. Anthony's in the bathroom. We're going to get back to this Rosie audio, though. It's driving me... Dude, it's, it's ruining my day. Really? No, of course not. But I'm saying it's just... it's It really is... It's I enraging, but it's also like... It's typical. It's... Uh, uh, it's, I don't know. I can't comprehend I, it. Yeah, thank you, because I, I just <laughs> lost my thought. I've never thought somebody was selfish for not giving me their gig. Yeah. And I've never thought somebody was selfish because they're a workaholic. Yeah, well. So, but Jay's a workaholic. He was also, I understand, as a headliner. He was one of the most respected headliners in the country before he did The Tonight Show. And the guy was doing nothing but touring and fuck. It's like, so what? I'm a workaholic, so I guess I relate to that. And an earthquake in the Cayman Islands now. Oh, yeah. The whole world's coming apart. Good. Need a little fucking anarchy. Let's rock. Anarchy! Let's how, rock. how many dead in Haiti? We're up to 200,000? Jesus. Jeez. And that's not going to be the final number by any means, right? It's going to get a lot worse than that? Uh, yeah. Oh, I would, are we getting close gather. to finding out exactly? I would gather. Unbelievable. People. All right. Back to the Rosie audio. Talking about uh, Leno and Conan. And, of course, making it about herself. Does anybody understand, too, that Letterman... Look... Letterman has a bitterness towards Leno, I'm sure, because of what happened. But here's another reason Letterman may love the fact that Conan's there. He's beating him by two million people. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Who would want the guy that was w number one? Come. That's why everybody in late night wants Leno to fucking make like a tree and leave. <laughs> because he was dominating the entire scene at a very, very tough time to dominate the entire scene. All due respect to Carson, he never had to deal with a guy of Letterman status across the street. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, the selfish comment just went right through all of us. Rich in Florida about the selfish comment. Rich? Yeah, I got a question. They talk about selfish, and I don't. I don't the only time I listen to watch Leno is when Jimmy's on it. Uh, so I don't really care about either one of them. But hell. If anybody's selfish, it's damn uh, Conan O'Brien. He had a great job in New York City. His kids were there. His wife's there. They're doing great. What does he do? He moves his family out to Los Angeles 
just so he can be an 11.35 slot. I'll be dipped in that. shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and again, I understand why Kona would want to do of that. Course, but. but if you want to play that angle, you got to play it both ways. Like you said, why didn't why didn't Jay just go do something else like that idiot Dan said? Why didn't Conan just go, you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We're both successful. Let's just keep riding this for another couple of years. Yeah. And, and Pat in Cleveland, if Leno was so big, he should have told NBC to fuck off and they told him they were going to move him. In the end, uh, uh, Le Leno didn't have a choice. But why would you? His contract was up. The Leno had no fucking choice. Oh, he, he means at 10 o'clock. And Jimmy's so biased. Uh, this is what this guy's saying. Jimmy's so biased. Leno's cheesy, cheesy, even if he's number one. Set up, punchline, symbols, zing. Yeah, uh, how unhip to do set up and punchlines. Yeah, that's terrible for a late night comic. Set up in punchlines. <laughs> what is that asshole thinking? But see, yeah, no, no, that, that's that hip thinking. Yo, man, <laughs> don't do punchlines, man. <laughs> Shut up, stupid. <laughs> Set up in punchline. He's a late night Look, comic. That's what he does. Look, it, it, it <laughs> might idiot. not. It might not be your cup of tea, but that's what was working for Leno to 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 make him number no, one. No, no, this guy's right. Fuck Leno. Set up punchline. That means you. Why would he do that? That means you're not watching, which is fine. But in the end. He was number one. Now, Jay should stare ahead ironically and nervously fidget during the, uh, you know, because a joke doesn't work. That's what he should do. No, nah, don't do set up punchline with brilliant joke writers. That's silly. And then hit a gong. Change it up and just hit a gong after every punchline. Well, let's get back to the Rosie audio before yeah. we run out of time today. Well, and not only that, when they tell you six sad. years ago, like, you know, they, they have to tell. They told Joe Namath at one point, guess oh, what? Oh. We're going to have another quarterback. Mm -hmm. But wait a minute. I'm the guy that threw that pass, huh? I'm the one who said we were going to win when nobody thought we could have. Could someone fucking send fucking Rosie O'Donnell footage of Joe Namath at the end of his career? It's so different. Joe Namath could barely walk. Yeah. He could barely walk. What are you talking about, fatso? It's totally different. Yeah, nice analogy. What, 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 Michael Jordan was supposed to play well into his 40s and 50s, really? Uh, actually, and, and, she was supposed to take over for Jordan on some of the games, <laughs> but uh, Jordan said no. Yeah, Jordan, the, Jordan didn't want to travel to Cleveland anymore, so he offered Rosie that game. Yeah, Rosie was going to Rosie, get you're going to be the, the starting game. guard for the Bulls so because I, you know, I don't want to go to cold Cleveland in the winter. No, I guess no. You know what? I guess Rosie's right, and Jordan was selfish for wanting to play as long as he did. Did the Chicago Bulls squeeze Michael Jordan out? He left. When he was ready to leave, did the fucking Bulls? You want to use sports analogies, stupid ass? Did the fucking? Uh, how about Jeter? Hey, Jeter's been playing for a while. Here's what the Yankees should do, oh, yeah. Derek. Regardless mm. of your stats, by the end of next year, we're putting this other guy who's a good player in your position. They didn't do that, Rosie. So Rosie's why don't you use that playing. analogy? That's what I hear. Rosie's taking over. <laughs> well, Rosie's, you know, obviously just not informed. She's if not. she was going with the freaking quarterback analogy, she would have had a little. Uh, uh, she would have done better with the Brett Favre thing that kind of happened. Quarterback. Brett Favre really didn't want to retire, and he found another place to go. Quarterbacks leave when they're usually no longer effective. Usually, the athletes are the ones who don't want to leave, and they're no longer effective. The stronger athlete. Jay's an effective guy. <laughs> That's a terrible analogy. That's horrendous. We were going to win when nobody thought we could, and then we did. I know, but guess what? You're too old now, and we're mm -hmm. done with you. And really, football's not about you, Joe Namath. Mm -hmm. Really, it's just it's football, and we got to get a new guy, and he's better. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. This is college radio. Who the fuck hired her? <laughs> Holy really shit, is. this is stupid. Oh, we did? Does she not? Pleasantries, have... Anthony. Nothing but pleasantries. 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 Oh, she's just using... Pleasantries. I'm pleasantries. a company guy. Pleasantries. Good for you. So all you people that are bashing Leno, congratulations. This is the mentality you agree with. This blithering fat monster saying that Jay was selfish for not wanting to split 20% of the pie, as it were, please with get, her. Please give me Joe Namath's uh, stats at the end of his career. It's going to be laughable. No, that's a very accurate thing. Too. That's a it's great thing. It's going to be thing. laughable. Because the Yankees did say to Jeter, you got to leave. Because you're still ignoring, Rosie, the fact that he was uh, still on the top of his game, this Jay Leno. Th how about this sports analogy, Rose? They let Joe Torre, as the Yankee manager, not win for seven years yeah. before they finally cut him. They didn't cut him. Did they walk up to Joe Torre during his third World Series and go, regardless of what happens in two years, you got to step down, right. Joe. You're too old. Mm -hmm. We want to bring okay. in Joe Girardi. Yeah. No, they didn't. All right, Dan, what year you want to go with? 1973. Is this his uh, thing? 1973, Joe Namath.
uh, was uh, where are we looking? What am I? What do I want to do here? <laughs> in, in '73, how many games he played? Six, I guess. He had five touchdown passes in '73. '74, he played in. Uh, where am I at? All right, 14 games. And he had 20 touchdowns. 1975, getting a, a bit older. He is that the team record too? The three and ten and all that, or uh, or that was his record in the games. Team record. Okay, team record in games he started. All right, that's key to this. So 73, the team was two and three when Namath was in. 74, he was seven and seven. 75, his his team was three and ten. 76, he was one and seven. In 1977, he was uh, two wins, two losses. He got to play when he probably shouldn't be playing anymore. Yeah, that's why Joe Namath left. If you want to do an accurate sports analogy, and Namath went to the Rams. Let's not forget in 1977 for one final shot at it. He went two for two, and he had three touchdowns. He's selfish. He's selfish. He took somebody else's spot. So way to go. Oh. Way to go with your comparisons, Fatso. No, you know so what? We... Rosie's right. You know, by the way, here's what Jeter should do. And by the way, that that was easy to do before you're doing your dumb sports right. analogy. You look up the stats before you go with it. But you're <laughs> you're probably just another lazy radio host that'll get nothing done. Jeter should give up out of 162 games, 20 percent. Of his games to another guy at shortstop. So Jeter should not do 34 Yankee games just to be nice to another guy. Of course. Right. Let's good, good, good call, Rosie. And we got to get a new guy in. He's better. It's all right. Yeah. This is how it works. Now go on and do something else. Well, so few people know when to walk away or have the courage or the strength that it does take to walk away. Who is that but, you know, lump she has with her? Yeah, know. what is that? Who is that annoying-voiced I, woman? I, I think uh, I think they gave one of uh, Rosie's skin tags like the hosting gig. <laughs> oh, it's Rosie and one of her skin tags. It was, it's so uh, large. They said, you know what? Uh, do the show with Rosie. You're with uh, her all the time. Uh, one that's usually hidden under a flap of <laughs> Fat. It's the first time it's ever happened in radio. Rosie and a skin tag are doing a radio show. Oh. But, you know, Leno had six years to deal with it. You know, six years to get yourself a new gig. Six years to figure out what you and me, your wife are going to do at 60 years old. Mm -hmm. At what age is he going to say, finally, I'm done? And then uh, what's... I don't know. Maybe when he's not number one anymore. Well, he wants Let's to be done. Let's go back to the when he's not number one anymore. Maybe she should have said that to fucking, you know, Uncle Milty. Or uh, Bob Hope, mm. people that were still, you know, fucking <laughs> crawling out on stage in their, relevant. in their 90s and, and 100. Yeah. What and, about, uh, what about George there. Burns? Yeah, what about George Burns? What was there he supposed to retire? George Burns. What about George Burns? He should have thought of it. How about Dick Clark? Why are none of these brave oh, souls challenging perfect. Dick Clark? Dick Clark, and I admire the well, that's All kidding aside, the guy has balls. Why are none of these people that's saying, a, step down, Dick if she was saying that about Dick Clark, I'd be right there with her. Why isn't now, she? Now that's selfish, and now that's taking up space. No, that's courageous. Although, that's courageous. Although, although that's maybe, not selfish. You know what? Although, maybe not. Got to keep it honest in the show. Fucking Dick Clark was number one by far with that <laughs> person, <laughs> with that train wreck. All I want to do is turn that rodeo down in a big, fat, fucking <laughs> tight cunt. <man. laughs> and then do some weird county thing, and, you know, whatever. Well, why isn't Dick Clark being criticized? He's praised yeah, for she being... she should have criticized... Uh, yeah, Oh, here comes the... Thank you, Ryan. She's your son of a fat fucking hole. I'm fucking taping this today. I've had it with this shit. What? <laughs> with this... Oh, lumpy? Lump of oh. shit walking down the hall and giving us a look every day. Curb your appetite. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. <laughs> so why hasn't... Uh, I want to know why... And again, Dick Clark shouldn't be criticized. Yeah. But it's like that crazy inconsistency, man. It makes me sick. Yeah, absolutely, Jim. You make a very, very good point. To call, to very, call Jay selfish is unbelievably silly. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get back to the... Uh... Is he going to say, finally, I'm done? And then, uh, what's going to have happen to Conan's chance? Or to, you know, I don't know. I, I think it's just unbelievably shitty of him, right? Mm -hmm. And so, Conan basically says what he says. Basically, I'm not going. And you're going to have to pay me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, good for him, man. We have the same agent, by the way. Ari Emanuel, oh, way to go, oh, Ari. <laughs> now it makes sense. They have the same agent. No one would say, okay, I'm just going to leave. They would all go for the payout, by the way, Rosie. You know how that shit works. Every single person in entertainment would go for the payout. Uh, all right, we're almost done with the Rosie audio. But the truth is, I was not surprised. I got mm -hmm. news for you. When it's the Rosie O'Donnell show or the Jay Leno show, 
Jay Leno and Rosie O'Donnell understand what's going on with the program. Right. <laughs> so here he's acting on his show like, so I, I don't know what's happening. It's crazy. <laughs> Courtney's a good guy. I, I don't know what's happening. I, I, I know what's happening. Yeah. You are jet water skiing and, and uh, you fell and you refuse to let go of the tow rope. Yeah. And you're getting hit in the face with the waves, and you're wondering why people aren't cheering yeah, for you. Yeah, see that? Why of course, the fucking whale uses the ocean analogy. <laughs> <laughs> but the, let me correct. Let me correct Rosie again. He didn't fall off the jet ski, stupid. He was knocked off while he was still jet skiing better than anybody else. And you're mad that he didn't want your fat fucking ass on his jet ski dragging him underwater while he was trying to stay afloat. So for 12 years, he jet skied successfully. And he was the best jet skier. They knocked him off. And you know what? The guy behind him wasn't jet skiing as well. So they gave Jay back the jet skis. Stop using shitty, easy-to-destroy analogies. I think it was water skis. No. Were they really? What's the difference? <laughs> for, for what? Whatever it is. She should say, Whatever. she want to use an accurate thing, Rosie? But so Jay's diving skiing, right? with barnacles on it like I do, <laughs> and he's coming up for oxygen because we are mammals. More importantly, Shut we up. now know uh, who she's doing the radio show with. A piece of plankton that's, <laughs> that's that attached is. to her fucking Some whale krill. Body. A krill. A piece of krill <laughs> would be better. fucking Rosie and krill. Rosie and krill in the morning. <laughs> Rosie and skid Rosie tag. And krill. I like the skid tag one better. I love, could somewhat animate... That for me, Coke Logic, please. Rosie doing her show with with one of her skin tags. Rosie strains the krill through her baleen. Uh, well, you're not even skiing, Jay. You're just desperately mm -hmm. holding on to the tow rope, man. Let go. Mm -hmm. Let go. Holy shit. Jay, let go. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what they're doing. I, I don't know what they're doing. The Leno fucking impression is not working, Rosie. Is anyone giving you feedback on your show? Enough. Stupid. Stupid. I, I don't know what they're doing to, to Conan or, or to Jimmy. Sounds good guys. I love him a lot. Real good guys. <laughs> Just like he didn't yeah. know what happened to me. I, I, I don't know what happened there. I know what happened, Jay. I said in Vegas. Brandon told me. You don't want me to do Fridays. You. Yes. And then I even said I'll do once a month. No. No, no. He didn't want the competition. If he really, really feels that he's still got the goods, like Evander Holyfield. Right, yeah. And then and get in the freaking ring, man. And you know, his cocky ass Leno going... There yeah, well, go. so, you know, they fired me when I was uh, number one. Yeah, you were number one because of your lead-in. And your lead-in was strong, and NBC right. was unbeatable. And if Letterman had that kind of lead-in, he would kick your you, ass, too. Letterman right? had writers, and Jay didn't have them, and he won. Jesus, shut your face. She is. Yeah, the whole strike. Leno did a show without writers. Without so, writers. How about you bring that up, Rosie, if you're, if you're bringing all this stuff onto she the table? She has a fucking Maybe because she ate that Leno. part of what yeah. was on the table. Jay rejected you. She obviously has a problem with Leno. Oh Jay rejected God. you. He didn't want you. And he succeeded tremendously without you. Yeah. And that's the bottom line. And he's good at what he does, oh. and he was number one for a long time. Go invest in another bomb fruit play from on Broadway. Dummy. What'd she so do? I hope you lost all your fucking money on that Did she one. have a bad play? Oh, yeah, that's a Boy George thing, right? Boy George fucking some weird thing. Boy George She play. thought it was going to be a big hit that everybody would want to go run and see the Boy George fucking story on Broadway. You, you fucking out-of-touch dummy. And if Letterman had that kind of lead, and he would kick your ass, too. Yeah. Right? And Conan had no chance to kick anyone's ass. Right. Why? His lead in sucked. It was Jay Leno. So, oh, like, did Jay have a chance news. to kick people's asses then? How come Conan didn't have a chance, but Jay did? Yeah. Ugh, I fucking can't stand her. Phony, she you really phony. Is going off like just a One more fucking clip. idiot. And you know what? The people that work with Leno love him, and I've been around it enough. Everybody around this guy is in a great mood Not because he takes care of his fucking people. He's good to his staff. Everybody who works with him, the writers, the producers, they're all nice. I can't believe she's pissed because he didn't want to give up part of his show to her. That miserable fucking lech is yeah. mad at him, and yet everybody he works with, and I've done the show. When I first started, you know what he does? Oh. He comes in and he talks to you. Yeah. And he makes you feel better and relaxed and welcome. Fucking engorged tick. 
and Dave puts you in a meat locker, makes you freezing. Yeah, <laughs> and walk yeah. out on that stage, and you, you don't even get to meet the guy ahead yeah. of time. Letterman's a weird guy, but, but it but works I love for Letterman, him. It does work Jesus for him. Christ. Yeah, it works for him. It does. <laughs> Way to get the upper hand. Put your guests in a meat locker. Let them freeze their asses off. Their lips are blue, and then you go out there and meet them for the first time. How come she doesn't say Dave is selfish <laughs> for wanting to compete against Conan and not Letterman? Yeah, let's go to Mark and Cleveland. I mean, not Leno. Mark Gay. Hey, Hey, boys, how you doing? Hi, Mark. Marky Mark. Mark. You know, listen to this fucking whale cunt. It's absolutely fucking dry. Dude, I'm just expressing my opinion. Oh, <laughs> oh her. I'm sorry. you got to remember, she's part of the whole fucking rebranding process that Zucker started this nonsense, where she was going to do that fucking variety show at least one or two nights out of the fucking week on NBC, and it bombed. They had it, like, over Thanksgiving, like, yep. a year or two ago. And she fucking bottomed out, and... Conan only ended up with the NBC gig. You can go back to 2004 and find the articles where uh, NBC was catching all this shit because the demographic was so old compared to the Daily Show and all these other cable hits that they were getting. Entertainment Weekly were writing about. So fucking Zucker turns around. He's like, oh, we got to skew younger because Jay and Dave are too old. So he shows Jay the door when Jay wasn't ready to fucking leave. It's absolutely stupid, and these people who are apologizing for Conan and whatnot have no goddamn clue as to why this whole thing bottomed out the way it did. You're, I forgot really about her bomb of a show. You're right. Her, where, yeah, exactly. Whose fault was that, Rose? You think your show fucking, your, your show Enola Gay, is that, whose fault is that? How is that Jay's fault? <laughs> well, it had nothing to do with Jay. It was because no one fucking likes her. You know, and I don't want to make it political, but you look at Zucker, you look at the whole NBC issue, that's what really what the fucking core of it was. It was this whole, we have to be the fucking Daily Show. Who the fuck cares? But do you Who's understand? Demographic? What a great move he made by not having that fucking albatross around his neck on Fridays. Because when she exactly. got her primetime shot, right, she really bombed. Yeah, absolutely. And she had Liza Minnelli on, I think, right? Yeah. She bombed monumentally. So what do you think she would have done every Friday? She would have made his show there fucking fall into the toilet. A bucket of shit. Thank you for reminding me that. I totally forgot. Yeah, right on, bro. Her Mark tanking. and Cleveland, good call. Yeah, and her career is so bad, she's got to do a radio show. From her house. Boy, yeah, kitchen. <laughs> Jay sucks. <laughs> Getting up and going to work every day and wanting to be a fucking workaholic. He should just sit on his fat ass at home and make them film the Tonight Show or Jay Leto show in his apartment. Yeah. You fucking dope. Last clip from Rosie and we can move on and kiss Finally. each other like men it's like Jay Leno was some devious evil plotter you know mm -hmm. they tell him six years ago by the way we're going to get a new guy to drive the bus enjoy the six oh, years we paid you a god awful amount of money he has enough money to never ever worry again about so do anything. you so do you yeah, so do you Rosie so do you so do you so do you so, so why are you doing a radio show? so why don't you disappear stop it's talking that would be impossible Actually, yeah Stop looking for attention. Why do you have to do radio? Why don't you just fucking? Why don't you just call it in? There's plenty of hungry radio guys who would love your spot. I'm getting. I'm having such a hard time here getting a certain amount of money. Why don't you? Why don't you, Rosie? Why don't you self selflessly step aside and allow me to collect the money that they're giving to you? Ooh, I would like that. H how about that, Rosie? Show some selflessness. Worry again about anything? Not enough for him. It's not right. enough. That's the point. You've got it. Oh, Go do something else. Talking. Right, but instead, not only the did phone? he say no, he, like, plotted how he could do this. And, you know, I'm going to go somewhere else unless you keep me NBC and those idiots. Yeah. Who the hell is it, Zucker? Is that Zucker. who it is? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I don't know. He's not long for that job, I can tell you right now. Really? Yeah. He's really not. Nice. I think when somebody <laughs> puts your feet to the fire and they say, if I don't get this, that's when you're right. Oh, why the hell they would yeah. listen to him? Yeah. Feet to the fire? The guy, like they know, do with Rosie like when an apple in her mouth? 30 minutes of lame-ass <laughs> comedy up front. Yeah. It's lame. Most of it that he takes from Howard Stern. I hate to say that. But oh, oh, here God. we go. Another person oh, that feels like they have to fucking Rosie. lick Howard's ass to do a Rosie, radio didn't show. Didn't he call you a big fat you pumpkin head years ago? <laughs> didn't Howard call her a big fat <laughs> Pumpkin head. Uh, now I know what this is ago. about. You got to kiss Howard's ass to do a radio show. She thinks that Jay's writers are stealing from anybody. Come oh, on, Howard's all over the thing. It. Howard hates Jay, and he's been pounding Jay. So I guess Rosie feels yeah, like they don't well, like I better, each other. Fair enough. I better follow suit and do what Howard does because that's how you oh, how you get successful with a radio you, show. You fucking kiss Howard's ass. Give me some old worm. clips of Howard. What he used to say about Rosie during her fucking uh, daytime show. Oh, the stuff he would say about her. Didn't he march right to her fucking studio one time that to confront the, her? I think that was even after the fact. I, I mean, know. just early on when, when she started uh. making the scene, he would insult her weight, her big fat head, her adopted kids. Like, she, he would pound her. What a fucking phony. And now phony. what? Because she's working under the serious moniker, she's got to fucking be like everybody else and, and kiss the ring. Come on, man. Oh, she's an embarrassment. 
She is a big fat embarrassment. And her show is not compelling. No. It's of lame ass comedy up front. Mm -hmm. Lame. Yes. Most of it that he takes from Howard Stern. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. Oh, he does. He, he does. does. He steals all the shit from Howard Stern. Yeah. Howard Stern has really funny ideas about, you know, Ugh. like the jaywalking, you know, mm -hmm. his ideas. I don't know. It's how it's it's like man on the street interview. Holy shit. Um, by the way, Steve Allen started that with a giant microphone. <laughs> if you really want to talk about the man on the street shit. I believe, uh, and again, I don't know. All, I don't know when jaywalking started, uh, but I think that was before Howard did his thing. I don't even know which thing she's referring to with Howard, but I remember stuttering. John got some shit for posting something on Facebook that said jaywalking was on first. So somebody else may know the details of that. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't actually know it, so I can't pretend I do. Mm -hmm. His idea—I don't know. It's Howard Stern, frankly. He doesn't have an original concept. And then when you go on that show, you know, for the first few years, I didn't do it, and then yeah. I did it when I had something oh, to promote. Brave. And you know, he wouldn't oh, even look. Didn't. He doesn't look. Why, why did she? Why? Why? Oh my God. Why? It's a failure. Hey, selfish. Why not go on no. Letterman, who had a better show? Why not? No. Selfish. No, you just heard what she said. I didn't do his show, but, but then says, well, when I was promoting something. Yeah. But that's the only time most people do the late night shows is when they're promoting something. No, but selfish. Why did you go on his show? Why not show a little fucking loyalty and go on Conan's show later or Dave across the street, who you obviously like better? You fucking phony. Why'd you smile in Jay's face? He's the plotter. So Maybe you were plotting to fucking promote your shit project, so you went on the biggest show. And someone is reminding us, uh, Keith, actually, Niagara Falls, he had a fucking Rosie puppet. Did he? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Rosie puppet. Yeah. He would pound her. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. And dog shit sniffer from Woodside, the dog that's shit sniffer. It's not his real name. No, that's the real one. There's some imitators out there. Oh, okay. I have a whole new look on the skin tag on my asshole. It's my new buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's your sidekick. You know, for the first few years... I didn't do it. And then I did it when I had something to promote. And, you know, he wouldn't even look. He doesn't look you in the eye when he asks the question. And it's not because I'm so good. I'm just telling you, these are the realities that you're not allowed to sort of get around just by saying, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. You know, Jay, and you know what? You're 60 years old. You should have learned it by now. Sharing is caring. And everybody has to retire. Why don't you, yeah. Rosie? Yeah. We'll then right leave. <laughs> yeah, there's radio guys would, that would love your spot. How about you a fucking retire? A lot of radio guys that have way more experience than you that are uh, not working right now. So why don't you do the right thing? Yeah. You're, you're pushing what? How old is she? 500 pounds. Oh, yeah. She's got to be Age. 55 years old at least. She has to be. Maybe pushing 50. a fucking catapult. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you step aside? There's a lot of guys that are starving that would love your spot. This that, is why that, she's so a, hateable. have a lot more experience in radio. You actually said that Jay, you thought Jay screwed you. So Jay actually called her to talk about it. Like he'll call comics who badmouth him. Jay is a, an upfront guy. He's not a phony who hides behind a bunch of people. He'll pick up the phone and call somebody personally to go, what's going on? Why are you saying that stuff? He calls people out. So you didn't like Leno. He didn't want you on his show for Fridays. And why would you fucking whore yourself, Miss Integrity, and go on his show? Sharing is caring, unless it's a cake. <laughs> she didn't. Why didn't she just go on Letterman's show? Yeah. Why would you go on Jay's show if you hate him so much? Miss, I have some integrity and some honesty. All right, let's say uh, the other side of this, which is fine. Uh, All right. Noel or Noel. Hello, Christmas. In Massachusetts, born in December, up, I'm boy? assuming. Yes, Noel, how are you? It's Noel, but who gives a fuck, right? Who gives a fuck? Out. Take this out. Jimmy, I love you. Thank you. Oh. End of discussion. All right, go ahead. No, no, it's not the end of discussion. You got Jay Leno's cock so far down your throat, it's crazy. What are you going to say stuff about me now because I don't like Jay Leno? Not at all. Dude, listen to me. I don't mind hearing because bad things. Hold on. I want people to hear you, though. The, the anger. You're going to attack me. No, I'm not. Really hard. What I'm angry I'm at, saying? dude, is I not... Wait. I can't wait, Jimmy. Shut up and let me talk, Jimmy. I'm not Shut angry up. at people not liking <laughs> Leno. Talk, what I'm angry talk, at man. is people spitting out facts incorrectly. Like, if someone calls up and they go, Conan's funny, Leno sucks. That's a comedy that, opinion. Jimmy. You're allowed to have that. You know the, show. the guy just wants me to yell at him. I'm, dude, I'm not going to yell at you. My frustration is not with listeners. It's with <laughs> Rosie and people in the business. That is the inconsistency. Yeah, you're going to act all calm now because of what I said, Jimmy. You're going to pretend that everything is cool. He got you, Jimmy. That you He's got you. What position are you yeah, taking on the Conan Leno thing and why? Excuse me? Jimmy, Jimmy, I don't know Jay Leno, Conan, nothing, but I know O&A show, and I listen to you every morning. As you should. I hear the anger in your voice every time somebody, uh, a clip, or somebody calls in and they don't like Jay Leno, you just go fucking crazy. Have I gone you crazy over people not liking Leno like or over people you know reporting things inaccurately? You off the 
show, when he kicks you off the show, Jimmy, which I hope he doesn't because I fucking love you. When he does, everybody remember this. You're going to hear Jimmy Norton talking so much fucking shit about Jay Leno. Mm -hmm. you know Not what? true, dude. I really, I got to tell you, Noel, I don't think he'll. I, I'm a loyal I really, dude. Yeah, I really don't think he would. I really don't. I'm a, dude, I'm a loyal guy. I, re I really don't think he would. When Opie and Anthony were off the air for 26 to... months, I didn't talk shit. I didn't go on certain radio shows at the risk of not promoting shows. So don't tell me what I would do, I, brother. I think Jay has been so good to Jimmy. If, let's say, Jay goes back to 1130, God forbid there's not a spot for Jimmy. I don't think Jimmy comes back Never. on our show and trashes Jay. I really, yeah. don't, I really don't. I really don't know. We'll see about that. All right, we'll see. I got to move on because there's too many calls coming in. We got Eric in Virginia. Eric. Hey, bo -bo boy. Hello. Uh, all right, Jimmy. I I, I got to play devil's advocate here. I really. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's about well, time. Listen, listen, caring is sharing, and you know what, Jimmy? You should really see her side of the argument and give up twenty percent of your shows at the Richmond Funny Bone, January twenty eighth through thirtieth. You're absolutely right, hey, sir. Why don't you give up one of those shows, Jimmy? Thank, Thank you. Jim. It's time, man. Thank you. It's time. Uh -huh. It's time. I know you're one of the, the biggest comics out there, but it's time. And I'm it's not. Time. And I'm not mad. I'm mad at Rosie bad mouthing Jay's act because she's a stand up and she knows what he does is good. I, but I'm not mad at people who don't think Leno's oh funny. Oh my God! Keith from Philly says Rosie turns 48 this year. Yeah, I think she's younger than 55. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Not good. Let's go to Bill in Georgia. Bill. Hey guys, I think I know what uh, Rosie's sidekick's name is. Yeah. I think it's the Rosie and the Remora show in the morning. <laughs> I know what a Remora fish is. <laughs> Jesus. My brother's a marine biologist. Hey, Very, Jimmy. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, I don't blame Jimmy for standing up for Jay and all. If he gave me a fucking shot on TV show, I'd have his back all the way. I really do. Uh, and I am very biased and pro-Leno. But I don't feel like what I'm saying is irrational or, or ignoring. I'm, I'm listening to the other side. And I don't think, think what I'm saying is so crazy well, and so biased that it's wrong. No, it's funny. Um, people have their sides, which is fine. They're either Team Lennon or uh, Lennon, Jesus, Team, team Leno Lennon. or Team Conan. But a lot of the Team Conan people fucking hate the Rosie audio. Yeah, I'm sure they do. They're like, ugh. But that's but that's the same mentality, and that's why it's so frustrating. I'm not bad mouthing Conan, and I'll probably never do Conan's no, show. Right. These people don't like me. Okay. Uh, moving on to a couple of things. I'm sure we'll be talking about this further tomorrow. Um, Rosie. Oh, boy. Have fun with that one. That was just... Enjoy that lesson. Ugh. We got Leno stuff. We got uh, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is going to be back. Brock! <laughs> what is that sound? I don't know. By, uh, what the hell is it? Steve I aming me. Yes! Is it really? Hello, twink. What? <laughs> What is he writing today? I'll find the clip. Give me a second. Hey, do we have any Leno? Because I think Leno hit back. Uh, you want to hear he, Leno instead? I, I do. Only, I want to hear both. But I think right, we'll Leno hit Leno. Lesner. Brock Lesnar uh, spoke for the first time in a while since that horrendous okay. sickness of his. Yeah, what was I don't it? know what the fuck I don't that know. is. I think it's intestinal. Back, intestinal bacteria. Ugh, that's ugly. <laughs> Leno takes a shot at Letterman. Okay, let's yeah. see. Oh, wow. Still I thought it was a it. funny joke, too. Letterman least... was on fire. I've been watching Letterman clips lately. <laughs> On YouTube, literally, man. is he is he burning? He's, oh, no. <laughs> he's he set himself on fire. Fucking guys, I'm telling you, he's great when there's some shit going on. He should be like that every night. Yeah. Ah, oh, he's taking shots at everybody. <laughs> he, he sounds like a fucking shock jock at this point. Shock jock. He's taking on everybody. Here's uh, Jay Leno from last night. Letterman, Letterman's been hammering me every no, night. Weird. Oh, that's going weird. after me. Hey, Kevin, you know the best way to get Letterman to ignore you? What's that? Marry him. Okay, that's the best way. Oh! Wow. Looks like Leno has finally had it. Wow. The gloves, the gloves are off. God bless him. Yeah, the gloves are off. God, that's a great that joke. Is, God, that is a. And I Twittered that joke though. last night because somebody sent it to me, and people were like, "Oh, you're sucking Leno's dick." It's like that's a great joke. How could you be such an unbiased nerd that you don't think that's a great joke? Yeah, it's a good one. That's a funny. That's a. It's a fucking gloves, gloves you know off what? joke too. Wow. Wow. I, I think I'm sort of team uh, Leno just because of Jim Norton. Uh, that's probably why. I, I, I never really watched Conan a lot. I'm not saying he sucks by any means. Right. But uh, I'm probably in uh, Leno's corner because we've been on the show once. Uh, Leno's been nice to us. He's plugged our show. And Jimmy's on all the time. But with that said, I'm loving all of this.
Yeah, I don't give is. a shit who where the shots are coming from. I think you're. I don't care see... when Conan fights back and punches hard. I, I'm loving I all agree. of it. I agree. I do too. I think you're going to see this ratings is just great go TV. up on, on everybody's uh, on everybody's show. No, of you're course. You're going to see ratings go up. I think more people are watching late night. I don't, well, they're definitely watching the clips on on YouTube and all the other sites because uh, they're getting hit a lot. Mm -hmm. Louis C.K. wrote a pretty interesting thing because Louis C.K. Um, started Louis. with Conan. And I think Conan gave him his first job, and Louis wrote an interesting little blurb about the the whole, as a guy who knows. What was his take on it? I think he said that he, he feels bad for Conan, and he likes Conan, but uh, I, I think he's saying that what Leno did was pretty incredible. He I don't think he thinks that Conan's getting fucked. Yeah. You know, Conan's not getting fucked. I don't think so either. Of course not. He's it is just a bunch of... He's walking away with a lot of money, and he's also going to walk away with the opportunity to work sooner than later. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fucking fine. I don't feel sorry for Conan. He's going to be just fine. Actually, this is going to really, really help him in the end. You know what people are forgetting is that a new company came in. Comcast Cable bought NBC from GE, and a new boss came in and said, this is what's going to happen. That happens when a company... You know, after we merged, it went from fun to yuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way it is. People are forgetting there's a new boss in place, though. That's pleasantries, though, right? Yeah. Pleasantries. Yeah, yeah. Pleasantries. Nothing about pleasantries. Here's more Jay. Winston Churchill said, success is going from one failure to another without a loss of enthusiasm. Oh, what he meant, and he was a little early with this, but welcome to NBC. All right, Arsenio Hall, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. We didn't need that. Why is Arsenio there? <laughs> Arsenio's been popping up lately. Yeah. How has he? Yeah, I think on Jay's show a few times. Oh, now. I haven't. Uh... Yeah. Um, I don't have confidence in these other two clips. Who pulled these? What do you think? What? Steve, he's the king. That of... clip sucked. Steve's the king of the late night of coverage. Yeah, I have Letterman's monologue where he takes many shots at Leno. You want that? Yeah, let's hear it. All right. Is it going to hurt you, Jimmy? No, Not you know. Please, no. Because, you know, you're sucking Jay's dick and all. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh damn. B bigger, than, uh, bigger than Dave's Fallon's and Conan's combined, from what I hear. <laughs> I hear Letterman, I let us quite the coxman. Look, let's be honest <laughs> cool. with each other. If you had to suck a, a late-night host dick, it would have to be Jay. Because you know Jay wouldn't tell on you. <laughs> He's, he'd keep it under his hat. Right. He's quiet. <laughs> But it is amazing on Twitter how people react. Like, no matter how logical your argument is, <laughs> they're like, oh, you're just a paycheck. Your fans don't like it because you're just trying to get a... Shut your faggot face. Shut it. Shut up. I haven't... Mean, I have not... I'm very much with Leno, and I have not once shit on Conan or Letterman. Mm -hmm. And I'll probably never do Conan show. I have not bashed Conan. I don't think he stinks. I don't think Letterman's... It's like, how can I be fucking... I think I'm being kind of fair. I just think that Jay is right. I think he's in the right place. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't blame a guy for wanting his number one show back. Sorry. Sorry, you fucking underachievers out there. Sorry, but he fought for fucking 16 years and he stayed number one. Sorry, I don't think he should have to give that up. <laughs> I guess all you people think that he should be fucking taft Hartley'd into a fucking gig. Uh, you know, maybe Conan should get it, but I think that when you're number one, you should stay there until you're fucking done. Sorry, folks. It, uh, yeah, it's ridiculous to think that uh, it's his fault. I don't, I, it's a lot of entitled fucking people out there. And I'm not talking about people that love Conan or hate Leno. Those are both fair opinions. Well, you right. got to respect their, you know, their protecting their guy. Well, too, you know? Protecting their guy is one thing. I respect that. Uh, I definitely respect the Conan fans for, you know, rallying for Conan and all that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I absolutely do. But the sense of entitlement, I don't respect. But logically, yeah. you could see that, you know, this makes sense. Anyone who thinks... As far as NBC goes. Any of these fans who think the number one guy should be taken out, so the guy they like should be put in, is one of these entitled motherfuckers who doesn't want to have to fight for and earn their position. Go to fail block immediately. They have the weatherman clip really? before they yank it. Sam's got it. Sam's got it. Oh, you got it? Let's go back to that, and then we'll do the Letterman thing, and then we'll get Rich Voss in here. Here's, uh... It's on. Down now our wind chill factor about 23, okay. humidity 85 percent, a north wind at 13 miles an hour. Picking up some snow, are we? Yes, we are. In Princeton, we picked up nine inches of snow. Bill Ricca had seven, the biggest amount that I could find, almost as big as me, about nine inches. <laughs> Bill Ricca said, wow. 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 You know what? The camera. You know what? Manic, about two and a half. Brookline picked up about two. You know what? When you see the video, it worked perfectly. Yeah. It really did, Jimmy. You got to admit. He stepped into the camera. He and stepped he, yeah. up dramatically, paused, and then delivered. <laughs> it, it it works with the visual element. Fuck, that's balls. Yeah, that yeah. is good. Boy, is he fired. He's so fired. Not <laughs> even just fired. So <laughs> he fired. He is so fired. So fucking fired. Uh, here's Letterman. 
In uh, Southern California, it's pouring rain. It's one of those times of year in Southern California when it's raining like crazy out there in Los Angeles, and there's flooding all over L.A., flooding everywhere. So I'm thinking to myself, whoa, it's a good thing Conan O'Brien is getting sandbagged because <laughs> <laughs> flooding... Yeah, was... Okay, here, here's what's going on. They got the floods, they got the mudslides, and as usual, the only thing left standing is Jay Leno. Hey! <laughs> He's there. Let me ask you this. In uh, contractual negotiations, are you fascinated by legal detail? Listen to this. Uh, Conan O'Brien, he had the uh, Tonight Show, and now he's uh, leaving, and NBC is negotiating with him, and it's that um, intellectual property. He can't take his signature comedy bits with him. But, but that's okay. Jay will take them. So it's uh, going to work out just fine. Not a problem. Uh, not a problem. <laughs> And they're saying Conan O'Brien, bless his heart, gets uh, $32 million to walk away from NBC, to leave NBC. And I was thinking, you know, when I left NBC, <laughs> all I got was a restraining order. That's all I got. But things are starting to settle down now, and uh, Jay, I guess, will be going back to the uh, Tonight Show at 11.35, and uh, he's been off the Tonight Show for seven, eight, nine months or something like that, so he's got to get back in shape. So he's spending an hour a day working out on the Chin Master. So that'll be, that'll be good. Just pause for one second. It's done. Now, I, I like, uh, if you notice the guys hammering Leno the hardest, whether it was Rosie, who felt slighted by Jay, yes. Conan, who feels slighted by Jay, and Dave, who lost consistently to Jay. So the people that are hitting him the hardest are people who have a vested interest in him not being there. Yeah. And I just wish that a lot of the people who, who are hate Leno, if you don't think he's funny, that's totally acceptable. But it's almost like, of course Letterman doesn't want him back because he was fucking winning. You know, and that's not a knock on Letterman. That's common. I wouldn't want a guy back who was winning either. Yeah, true. It's, 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 it, nobody is saying that stuff. It, like, why are fans not saying that stuff? Who, who, so Letterman you, can't be happy that uh, Leno's getting his old spot back, right? It's amazing. Would you be, um, can you, do you understand the irony? Now, again, I think he started Conan's show, so I'm sure Letterman has very genuine feelings towards Conan and very genuine dislike for Jay. But there, he, Conan is his competitor. He's kicking the shit out of Conan, and he's on TV kind of lamenting the fact that Conan will no longer be there. And the guy who was beating him is coming back. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he, does, he cannot be happy. I wouldn't be either. That's human nature. All right, let's go to Paul in Jersey. We don't want to spend uh, too much time. Yeah, on not this, at all. Because we've done a lot of time on this one. We got to get. To, uh, I think Letterman's stuff been in. very funny, and I think Conan's been yeah. very funny too. Let's try oh. to make this fast. We got two calls, then we go to break. Paul in Jersey, what do you got? Hi. Good evening. Hey, Paul. Good evening. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? I just want to start off by saying I, I do completely agree with you, and I, I don't think Leno's in the wrong at all. But I think people like bash you on Twitter because of the fact that the way it comes off, like. Letterman's been killing Leno the last couple nights, and you don't hear nothing about it. There's been some funny jokes, but as soon as Jay dropped the joke, you're like twittering it. I hold and on. I agree with you. I twittered. Well, I'm not going to interrupt you, but I, I twittered one Leno joke. Well, we should interrupt him. Jimmy loves comedy, and it was a great hey, line. And we I had laughed at that line. We played a lot of Letterman's monologues. We said how funny Letterman has been. I didn't say Letterman hasn't been funny. Letterman's been very funny. I, I never, I, and I, and I don't like what he's saying about Jay because I love Jay. But a, a good joke is a good joke. But let that I, joke, somebody, I retweeted that Leno joke last night, but you couldn't see the retweet because it was too many characters. I just, I read that on Twitter and retweeted it. it was a funny fucking line. Yeah, that's all. It's a, Jimmy, it was a hysterical line. I agree. It's just, though, I, know, I agree with you. I agree with you. But I'm saying the rest of these morons, they probably seen it as. Oh, look at this. As soon as Jay said something funny, Jimmy tweeted it right away. He's kissing his ass. But they're wrong, and Jay's right, and he is the king, and that's why nobody wants him back, because nobody wants anybody who's better than them back in their time slot. And this move is hurting me. Don't people, like, people don't seem to understand that. Like, I think I've been pretty fair in the discussions. I haven't slammed Conan at all. Not even once, not even not even in a backhanded way. This move is not good for me. I was getting spots on primetime television. Will I be a part of the new? I hope so, but no one has said I'm going to be. I may just go back to where I was, which is a guy that they like to have on once right. in a while. So the move is not good for me either, brother. It's not like I'm up, I'm moving upwards. It's right. not a good move for me. 
Very good. They all love you, Jimmy. You're going to the top. Uh, <laughs> thanks. This is the year of Jimmy Norton. Norton. And saying that since 01. <laughs> True, but they forgot about that. Uh, Steve from uh, Germany slash Huntington writes, Holy shit, I see shades of you guys and Howard in this late night war. Absolutely. Howard should not be talking about anyone fucking over somebody else. Why? Trust me on that. Trust me on that. Howard should shut his fucking mouth about fucking people over. Oh. <laughs> uh, John in Jersey. John. Hey, morning, John. Morning. Hey, uh, John. That was just a quick shot. Hi, Relax. John. It'll be all right. Over the bow? Just a little quick shot. Because he has I, a lot to I, say on this. Really? Like you didn't live that fucking, uh, fucking uh, life there, Howie? Go ahead, John. I do not understand how you guys could say that Conan didn't get fucked. I mean, I understand that Conan didn't get fucked by Jay, but Conan most definitely got fucked by NBC. And, you know, I just think that for people to side with Conan because he got fucked, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I just think that it's important to make the distinction that Jay was not the one who fucked him. Can I, I mean, you're right, you're right. But can I ask you a question, though? And I, and I, I, get, I really like Conan's fans. They are hardcore. They love this guy. And in a way, I understand why they're saying he got fucked. And I think by the network he did. I should amend my statement. But how come nobody felt Leno got fucked when he was forced out of The Tonight Show yeah. and stuck at 10 o'clock? It's almost like the leeway they're giving Conan. He didn't have enough time. And they're right. He didn't. No one said the same things about Jay. They were like, fuck him. He sucks. After two nights on the air, they were killing him. So it's like if there was a balanced uh, support, like, yeah, Leno got fucked. I, I I would kind of go with it, but they're not doing I that. I think a lot of people think Leno got fucked, but uh, Conan's fans are, are more proactive. Yeah, Leno I agree. fans are not proactive then whatsoever. Right. They might be a little older, and yeah, I don't know. They're not as internet savvy. I don't know. They're they, not into the social networking as much as the Conan people. They're just not as interested in talking about. It. They just go home and watch in the rating show that they watch. Right. Like, but you're right. They're not as as internet proactive. No, I don't think. I think so. there's a reason for that, though, Jimmy. I think because. Like right now, Conan's getting fucked, and everyone's talking about how shitty NBC is. But when NBC made that move five years ago, I mean, you guys played the clips. Yes. Everyone was acting like it was all happy and hunky dory. So no one felt like Leno was getting fucked because he was going on the air saying everything was fine. No, you're right. And, and him and Conan both did. Both of them kind of towed the company line. Yeah, they both did. I mean, they're both again smarter people than we are. Leno does seem to be able to sit there and just go, like, hey, well, whatever. You know, he. he without really bashing yep. the company in a way where they'll tell him to go fuck himself. Like, the guy knows how to keep his job. Gee, what an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> and, and how to... To me, the amazing part is we've worked under... It's really hard, especially as a comic, to keep your mouth shut. It's really hard to do that when you're annoyed at your bosses. And I have had to bite my tongue here so many times, and I've let it, like, seep out the resentment... And watching him on that last episode, he had Conan on. Like, you'd never know there was any resentment. He's just, yeah. he's just a smart dude. True. And again, Conan, too. You'd never know there was uh, anything weird going on with him, either. Yeah. I don't know how you live in that. Dude, I... I don't know how you live like that. I, I, I wish I could live like that a little bit. I wish. I just can't. I hold a fucking grudge. It's horrendous. Just think about what would have happened. Think about what would have happened five years ago if Leno was saying, yeah, they want to do this and, and move Conan here in five years. But fuck that. I don't want to do that. And, if, and he was on the air, you know, bashing NBC, saying the same shit. There's right. no way they would have made that move back then because they knew that at the time Leno was number one. And that's when really, you know, he had all the power because they didn't think five years from now he would still be number one. But, you know, they didn't do that. I think it would have been a different story if he did. All right. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it just made no. Obviously, there was, it made no business sense to do it because the way it's worked out for him. You know, he got what he wanted, I think. All right. And that's we're going to leave it right there today because we spent a lot of time on that subject uh, yesterday or the day before. And it'll keep popping up. Uh, of course. But uh, a couple headlines. I think uh, NBC, Conan O'Brien has reached a $45 million exit deal. That poor bastard. Wow, that's amazing. That is breaking news. NBC, Conan O'Brien reaches $45 million exit deal. Wow. I, he was hanging in there to get some money for his staff, which is pretty damn cool. They, yeah, they said that they did. I think it was $7 million. Again, this is the rumor. I heard yesterday that he was looking for $7 million for the staff, but he didn't want it to come out of his money because NBC was going, well, you're making the decision to leave. Yeah, it's like, no, fuck you. Personally, I think NBC didn't handle this one more. What are some of the details in that? I, I, I can't really see that, uh, Sam. Well, the staff is now getting $12 million. It says O'Brien gets more than $33 million, NBC said. The rest will go to his staff oh, okay. in severance. Wow. Twelve million. Uh, he's got a big staff, though, right? That money's going to get thin fast. Well, he really wanted to take care of, you know, 
his little, what, his co-host, what's his name? Andy there? Richter and his producer. Yeah. His producer's name is Jeff Ross. I guess yeah, you know Ross. Uh, I, I hear he's what? Jeff Ross is producer? I don't know. No, you're thinking of Ross. Oh, I'm and, thinking and, of Bob Ross. No, you're thinking of Bob Reed and Ross Mark from The Tonight Show. And, uh, okay, right, right, right. This Sorry. is, uh, Jeff Ross is his producer. He's walking away Who with Jonathan knows nice. well, and he says he's a great dude. I've never I'm met him. sure he is. So there you go. That's breaking news. And, and the other uh, thing, uh, the rumor... Oh, uh, what, Sam? Conan will be free to begin another TV job as soon as September. Jesus, that's... Well, they didn't pay a plan. They sat him for a few months. September is what? Ten I mean, months. September is kind of now. far away. I mean, October, yeah, November. Months. No, it's about eight years months. or anything, but... Yeah. September 1st? He gets a nice vacation. as soon as September. We're yeah. almost uh, at February. So, so March, April, months. May, June, July, August, September. Seven, eight months. 30 days. That's not that bad. September, April, June, and November. It's, they say it takes that long just to get a new show on the air, so... Yeah. yeah it's so and and uh, I guess it's not a rumor anymore, then that probably means Conan's last show is tomorrow, because they've been... Yeah. It says uh, Conan, his final show will be Friday, so tomorrow, and then uh, Leno will return to tonight on March 1st. March 1st. Well, they got the Olympics, the that's Olympics. why. Yeah. Uh, and supposedly Conan's having Tom Hanks on tomorrow. Look, we're promoting Conan's last show. And supposedly Will Farrell is stopping by. Wow. It's going to be a biggie. Well, he, he could have literally Sam Roberts and Jim Norton, and people would tune in. <laughs> of course. Well, not good Sam idea. Roberts. You like how he threw good me idea. in to be polite? <laughs> I really wanted to say Sam Roberts and Danny Ross, but yeah. I threw me in just to kind of show some fake humility. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have Louis C.K.'s thing? Because Louis yeah. C.K. Like, no, uh, knows Conan. I, it's not that long, I don't think. Oh, what did he say? Hmm. Um. I guess Louis was being interviewed. During his panel, however, one of the last questions was about the whole Conan-Leno debate. You'd think Louis would have sided with Conan, who gave him his first shot as a comedy writer. He did, but he had an interesting take on the matter. Why would Conan want the old Moldy Tonight show instead of a show with his name on it? After saying that Conan will be fine, CK said that when he was watching late night TV, uh, he felt the Tonight show was more of a show for parents, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't know why you'd give up your own show to host the Tonight show which is just this old shitty thing CK mused. He thinks Conan will be able to be Conan on whatever new show he's on, not having to conform with whatever being the host of The Tonight Show is. It's a little presumptuous of me to tell Conan that his dreams are misguided, but they are. Uh, he said he talked about, he, even though Jeff Zucker, that ah, whatever, it's just, he, but he, so he didn't, uh, bash Leno at all, but he said he thinks that Conan wanting to be the Tonight Show host is a little misguided. Mm. He should pretty mm. much just stay with what he Yeah, it does. was. What he does, what he did best is the after, after the Tonight Show guy. Yeah, or just go to another network and do your thing and be quirky on, on a network where that, where that, you know. And you know what? Tony brings it. We'll, we'll end with Tony before the break and we'll get Rich Voss in here. Oh, we'll go right to break after this. Tony, go ahead. Hey, how do I get a job where I fail miserably and then I get paid millions of dollars? Look at all these athletes who, you know, oh, you know, you should get all this money and stuff <laughs> like that. For what? You know what? If I don't perform in my job, I'm out on my ass. And it's this is all showbiz bullshit. is amazing, and, isn't yeah. it? And it's your job as the average Joe to feel sorry for the guy <laughs> that he's walking away with that much money. <laughs> this is an insane world. Thank you, Tony. Rich Voss next. Uh, stay there. We have a little of the Tonight Show Wars. Oh, still going on? Well, Dave and Jay now, are, I mean... Gloves off, huh? Gloves yeah. off. It's gloves all about off. those two now. Because uh, I guess uh, Conan's last show's today. Yep. So he's out of the picture, for real. You know, And now it's all about Jay and Dave just fucking taking... Duking it out. Taking going shots. To blow. Boy, and this battle goes back a ways. Still some bad blood in this battle. Yeah, Dave of the late of night talk shows, if you remember, a movie was made. How weird is that to have a battle going on for many, many, many years? It was 17 <laughs> years ago, is it? That that fucking Fuck battle? Yeah, man. The, uh, the, the big battle where the movie was made. and What's ours up to, 10 or 11? <laughs> Could be longer than that, to tell uh, you the truth. Ours? Yeah. With, like with, with, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that goes like since the, probably the yeah, mid-90s. Uh, Probably 15 years. I, I tweeted what I had to say about that fucking thing. Fucking asshole. Yeah, I didn't hear it. Trying to have power over us. Shut it up. Use everything as they a bargaining sat, chip. Have they fun. sat me down and said, Best of luck. Do you want us to fire those two? Shut up. Best of luck. Godspeed. I, I, I was looking for the Leno Letterman stuff. It's in the mm. paper today. Some brutal shots. Yeah, there's do you have it in front of you? There, I there? do, yes. Yeah. TV Friday. On, TV in the, Friday. In the post. Is that remember. Richard Huff's uh, column? No, 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 this is Huff's Daily News. This is uh, oh. Michael Starr and uh, Michael Shane mm. wrote this. And they're just taking shots at each other. And they both have 
really good writing staffs. I mean, Leno, I know, I know Leno's writers are great, and, and I know some of Letterman's writers are fucking great writers. It's going to be fun to watch yeah, yeah. everybody attacking each other. Letterman's all in. He ain't going like to uh, let this go anytime soon. Well, I don't. I, He's all in now. People think that the public will eventually get sick of it, and they will. Once they're head to head, it'll be interesting for a couple weeks, then no one will give a shit anymore. People don't fucking. I'm care. worried about Jay. Really? Oh, I'm not. You think he's going to be right back where he was? Oh, as far as rating? I'm sure people will tune into both worried. to watch them attack each other. No, I'm not. Right. No. You think he's going to be right where he was, though? I don't know. Mm. I, I think it might he's take taking, a little while. He's taking a beating in the last six, seven months. But little, I think when you see him worried. back in that worried. familiar territory no, where he's doing that monologue, having the guests, he's got the set, he's got that. I think people are going to... Go right in like he was never gone. All right. That's yeah, we'll see. He's doing the White House Correspondence Dinner. Uh, he got invited to do that. That's a oh, huge gig. Yeah. And he, and wow. he's going on Oprah next week. Yeah. Him and Oprah are very good friends. Uh-oh. And now he's going to sit down to get that nice guy image back. I that, think Leno will be fine. That was stolen from him. I think he'll be fine. Well, so what are the now? big shots in the paper right now? Um, well, the ones that we, the one we did last, uh, Letterman said, uh, last night on the Jay Leno Last night on the Jay Leno 10 p.m. NBC Variety Show, Jay Leno said that this NBC Tonight Show mess is not his fault. And I said, I know, I know it's not his fault, but isn't it funny that he always turns up at the scene of the crime? <laughs> and uh, Leno said, boy, remember the more innocent days of late night TV when the only thing people cared about was what intern the, ho what intern the host was nailing? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to those days? <laughs> oh, Dude, these, are, these are big shots. Now they're br just brutal. Yeah, they're and, brutalizing. These uh, are overhand rights. Leno, this is the one we played last week. Leno, Letterman's been hammering me all every night. You know the best way to get Letterman to ignore you? Marry him. And then Letterman <laughs> said, five years ago when NBC said to Jay, you know that Conan's going to take over your job in five years? That's when you say, okay, fine, no hard feelings. You call ABC, you call Fox. You try to get my job, you leave, you don't go, okay, I'll be in the lobby if you need me. <laughs> oh, shit. That's great. Watching just Good two stuff. grown men with great gigs pounding each other, it's hysterical. Do you understand, though, how much I like this? Because in the end, Leno and Letterman are stand-ups. Yeah. And you're watching two stand-ups. Yep. And again, in, in the best way they can in that forum. They can't do yeah, it like a yeah. club. Slug it out. We've mm. heard right here in our forum uh, stand-ups sit here and beat the shit out of each other and still, you know, have respect or whatever you comics call it. I doubt it's called respect. But uh, still, you know, friendly, whatever. Yeah. That, But they beat the shit out of each other. And it's good to see them actually doing that. What does stand-ups do? Well, people people are expecting it from Letterman because he's always been kind of cranky, and people know Dave does that. A lot of, I mean, people who know comedy understand that Jay's a comic. He's not. People think he's this fucking mom and pop guy who was raised on a farm by Christ and Mary. Yeah, he, he was. Yeah. He's a stand-up. He, mm -hmm. he was a national headliner. Yeah. So like, what do you think? He's not going to fucking smash Dave back. Mm -hmm. I mean, just like you know. But people kind of expect it more from Letterman because he's got that crankier. He'll, he'll he'll shit on you sure. quickly. Image. It really I've, is great to see him going for that big fucking hit on, on shit that they're both sensitive about. No. Adam in Texas, uh, this is like Coke versus Pepsi, this Leno yeah, Letterman true. thing. And then uh, someone from Minnesota wants to stick up for the state. Trucker D, what's up, Trucker D? Morning, boy. Hello. Good morning, Trucker Hi, D. Hi, sir. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Thank you, Aww. Trucker D. You know, we didn't really elect that douchebag. He, you know, bought the election, stole the election. Coleman tried to sue him, but you know how that goes. Oh, Al Franken? Yeah, that was one of those things where if it was the other way around, they would have really uh, been going crazy. It took forever for them to figure out and count votes and absentee ballots. But uh, Franken got in, and whatever. We'll see uh, uh, h how he does. So far, uh, not too impressed. Yeah, I'm not impressed, and, you know, then, too, I was fun while it lasted. All right, sir, let me go to Scott in Cincinnati. Scott. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. I, pretty good. Uh, the two of the most popular people on TV are on the left, Stewart and Colbert. It yeah. It seems like making fun of the right is a lot more popular than trying to get serious about it. Well, that's, good point. That's what it is. Uh, John Stewart, um, I find him funny, but he does get very... Preachy, even in his comedy, you could see through it and go like, "All right, he's trying to make a a political point." Colbert, on the other hand, is doing a hysterical parody of those right wing uh, Fox type uh, shows, and it's done so perfectly and and so on the mark that you can't help but laugh. 
and see that he's completely on the left. When he's taking the side of the right, he's goofing on it so much, and it's so obvious, but it's funny as fuck, so right. uh, well, but the, I think it's great. The point is, these lefties do have an audience yeah. of people are watching or yeah, listening sure. to them. The problem is, they just can't figure it out as a whole network, like yeah. as Air America tried to do. And you need somebody as talented as, like, even John Stewart or Stephen Colbert to be but able to put that message across. It sounds uh, like John sarcasm. Stewart or Stephen Colbert would never do Air America. Maybe, were they ever mm -hmm. guests? No, I, were they I, ever guests on Air America? I don't know. No. 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 And, I, and Obi, I, I'd like to apologize for calling you a fucking asshole a few years ago. Oh, I don't care. Oh, was You're it out live or was it on the, the air? You were trashing the, trashing the girl from the Oscars that you didn't have any material a few years ago. Oh, we were just talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> now, you, now you piqued my curiosity. Who are we trashing? It was the girl you uh, that, that was called in and did a phoner for the Oscars. Yep. And she didn't have any material. All she did was go to the party or something, and you, you really got on her about it. And you called me an asshole over that? Yeah, well, it was. You had to have been there, man. He was. <laughs> he was. He's open. He was there. Dude, we, we, we destroyed that girl because she called up. She was supposed to be our exclusive Oscar cover. She had absolutely nothing, so we, we almost made her cry. Yeah. Exactly. She was so That's bummed out and depressed. Oh, okay. No, I. <laughs> No, I have a good one. I take pride in what I did did that day, my friend. But thank you for the absolutely. Uh, thank you for the apology. I guess. All right, Scott. No problem. Have a good one, man. Scott in Cincinnati. Uh, we'll go to break with Conan and what he had to say about uh, this whole thing. But mm -hmm. now he complete. You know, now he fades out. I think he got like forty five, forty six million dollars. Some of that money going toward his staff. Yeah, sure. I feel sorry for him. He'll be in the poorhouse. Here's Conan from right. last night. The, the Internet, you know, they pick up things, they run with it, and the general terms of the contract are now all over the Internet. But there are some provisions in the contract you may not know about, and I want to tell you about them right now. I am prohibited from coming within 500 yards of 1130. I must return the Etch-a-Sketch my contract was written on. I'm not allowed to make fun of NBC programming. I have to let the programming speak for itself. The cop who escorts me off the lot after my last show must have the rank of lieutenant or higher. Max Weinberg must surrender his key to the women's locker room at the NBC gym. I have to watch at least one NBC show every weeknight in order to double ratings. Effective today, NBC will stop paying for Andy Richter's medical marijuana and medical Jack Daniels. I must stop production on my documentary expose of NBC inside the cock, which... see uh, Conan's last show? Nine. Missed it? Yeah. What? It was pretty good. Oh, He's... yeah? Yeah, man. I mean, a lot of people are writing about Conan saying uh, the real Conan came out in the last couple of weeks. He did a seven share to Letterman's 2-5. Seven share to, yeah, like a 2-5. I think, yeah, a little, whatever, yeah. So, so you got to do your last show every night. But you can't. It wouldn't be the last show. Nah. Unless, the, unless there's like uh Five different networks a week. One last show, one first show. Is the seven share good? <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of people. Oh, my uh, God. How many million is that? No, I know it's good. It might be seven million. A million no bazillion, I think. But, uh, yeah, Conan, the last couple of weeks, seemed relaxed. And uh, a lot of people saying, well, that's the Conan we know and love. The highlights from the last show, Neil Young came out and did Long May You Run. Yeah. Which was really good because I'm a big Neil Young fan. But I, I got to tell you, Neil Young starting to look old. Ironic. Starting to look old. Yeah, Neil old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did Colin have anything memorable to say? In his, how did he, what was his final sign off in the monologue? Well, we do have, uh, well, the end. We have his final address, and then he brought Will uh, Farrell out. Farrell? Farrell? Will Farrell, yeah. Farrell. Farrell. Farrell, Farrell, Farrell. And, uh, and then they did Freebird. Oh, yeah? With Conan fucking playing the guitar, because a lot of people were wondering if that was Conan. Conan yeah. fucking could play a guitar. God damn. Did he play some slide, or was he... Uh... He was... He was... Uh... Oh, Dan? Yeah, yeah, he was playing... Uh, I mean, he was going, you know, he was switching back and forth between rhythm and lead, but he wasn't yeah. doing the slide. Yeah, they gave, yeah, him, yeah, a, else. They gave him a lead near the end. But There's, in general, he was doing mostly rhythm. a lot rhythm. of people jamming out. Yeah, I didn't recognize all the people, but it was... Uh, you had Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. I saw him. Oh, shit. I saw Beck. Yeah, Beck right. was part of the band. 
Max Weinberg, of course, and then you had Ben Harper. Oh, that was Ben Harper. Fuck, I knew I knew that guy. Damn. And Will Farrell was uh, on lead vocals. He had the, he had a wig on, looking kind of like he's you know part of like a Southern rock band, a Leonard Skinner type thing. And he had his uh, his chick out there that was like nine months pregnant, and he's making out with her, and she's like a hippie broad. And then they they did Freebird straight up. Wow. And, and it sounded good. It sounded pretty damn good. And then by the end of it, uh, Will picked up the the cowbell and went a little nuts on the cowbell, but still, oh, of course. but still keeping it's it, bit. still keeping it like real. People laughing when he got the cowbell. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't think they were going for a. a they weren't going for a laugh at the whole thing. They were just uh, jamming and having a good time, and that's how they ended the uh, the Conan O'Brien late night uh, experiment. Mm. And, uh, and wow! And it's already in the paper that most likely he's going to be at Fox. Yeah. yeah. And that's why when he was talking on Friday, you know, they're like Conan took the high road. Conan nothing but class on his way out. You have class, and you take the high road, uh, leaving a job when you know you have another job. Yeah, job to go to. If, yeah, what are you going to be mad at? I mean, because if if you have nothing, trust me, it's a little different. I mean, we're all just human in, in the end, right? You're going to be a motherfucker as best you can mm. if you have nothing to go to. But he knows he's going to be okay. All plus, he's, plus he's walking away with anywhere from, what, 32 to 35 mil for himself? Not bad. And then a few million for his staff thrown in there for good measures? Not a bad payday. So this is Conan's uh, final address uh, to the audience. You guys did not um, hear this, so why don't we play this for you guys? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we, uh, we, we bring this rodeo to a close, uh, I think a couple of things uh, should be said. Um, there's been a lot of speculation in the press about what I legally can and can't say about NBC. And this isn't a joke. To set the record straight, and this is true, tonight I'm allowed to say anything I want. Um, and no, it's not a joke, uh, but thanks, sir. Uh, tonight I really am allowed to say whatever I want, and, and, and what I want to say is this. Between my time at Saturday Night Live, the late night show, and my brief run here on The Tonight Show, I've worked with NBC for over 20 years. Yes, we have our differences right now. Yes, we're going our separate ways. But this company has been my home for most of my adult life. I am enormously proud of the work we've done together, and I want to thank NBC for making it all possible. I really do. Um, <clears throat> well, go home and get uh, your fucking shine box. A lot of people have been asking me about my state of mind, and I'll be honest with you, walking away from The Tonight Show is the hardest thing I have ever had to do. Um, making this choice has been enormously difficult. This is the best job in the world. I absolutely love doing it, and I have the, uh, the best staff and crew in the history of the media. I will fight anybody who says I don't. Uh, but no one would. Uh, um, but despite this sense of loss, I really feel this should be a happy moment. Every comedian, every comedian dreams of hosting The Tonight Show. And for seven months, I got to do it. And I did it my way, with people I love. I do not regret one second of anything that we've done here. And, yeah. And... I held, you know, I, I encounter people when I walk on the street now or just uh, uh, who give me a sort of a sad look. Uh, I have had more good fortune than anybody I know. And if our next gig is doing a show in a 7-Eleven parking lot, we will find a way to make it fun. We Be really will. I have, I have no problems. And I don't want to do it in a 7-Eleven parking lot. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, finally... Uh, I have something to say uh, to our fans. Boring. This massive outpouring of support and passion from so many people has been overwhelming. Stop whining. The rallies, the signs. Stop it. All this goofy, outrageous creativity on the Internet. Uh, the fact that people have traveled long distances and camped out all night in the pouring rain. It's pouring. It's been pouring for days, and they're camping out to be in our audience. Really, you, now. here's what all of you have done. You made a sad situation joyous and inspirational. So to all the people watching, I can never, ever 
Thank you enough for the kindness to me. I'll think about it for the rest of my life. And all I ask is one thing, and this is, I'm asking this particularly of young people that watch. Please do not be cynical. I hate cynicism. Okay. For the record, it's my least favorite quality. It okay. doesn't lead anywhere. Nobody in life gets exactly what they thought they were going to get. But if you work really hard and you're kind, amazing things will happen. I'm telling you, amazing things will happen. I'm telling you, it's just true. Okay, faggot, what's next? Good evening. That was great, though. That was a great, uh, great sign-off, man. It really was good. a good sign off. Really, really, really good. He knew he was going to be okay, and he's going somewhere else. Makes it a little easier, I, I think. Not yeah. Kind of. You can't not like the guy after oh, that. Oh no, there's I, no way to not like him. Yeah. That fucking go home and get your fucking. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> that clip is always funny. I know. I don't know what it is about that. <laughs> it's one. never not funny. Um, <laughs> and then Will Ferrell came out. You want to hear a taste of Free Bird? Ant? All right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do something, a movie something about bands. together. And then we're doing the up in uh, up in yes up in air up in the yes. air. Yes. yes. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's make something amazing happen right near. now. Here to close out our show are a few good friends led by Mr. Will Ferrell. Conan. Conan, I just want to thank you for having me and my lady Dawn on tonight. And if you're wondering, yes, she is with child. <laughs> I want you to strap on your axe and get over here. Let's let's lay this sucker down. What do you say? Do it! Huh? Yeah. Let's lay this sucker down. I was finally talking. He's going to be on Oprah, I Talks think. Talks every night. He's going to be on Oprah <laughs> today, I think? Yeah. Ow. <laughs> you keep again. breaking the cases. Hope he's not on Oprah. If he is, I hope he's on his shoulders because he'll be too heavy to carry around. <laughs> Chip. Holy shit. Line of the day. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Leno's talking about, uh, you know, is getting into the whole fucking controversy finally with Oprah. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's a, a preview clip of the big interview that goes down today. Have you talked to Conan in person? I haven't talked to him since all, all this? this. No, I haven't, haven't. Did you want to pick up the phone? Yeah, but it didn't seem appropriate. Why? I don't know. I think it let things cool down and maybe we'll talk, you know. Were any of the things that he said about you hurtful? No, they were jokes. And that's okay. I mean... So jokes don't hurt you? <sighs> oh. It's what we do, you know. You can't... It's like being a fighter and say, when you got punched in the head, did it hurt? Well, yeah, but you're a fighter. That's what you do. Wow, wow. wow. That's a weird tone he's got. He's, he sounds like he's on the verge of tears. He, he's no, he sounded like he was really, like, getting into it, very sincere. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that leads to tears usually. Yeah. Think about not it. with with Oprah. Oprah gets everyone fucking crying. Yeah, I thought that was only Barbara Walters' gig. Oprah's gets, Oprah gets everybody. I don't crying. watch Oprah. You blame it on the race. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I watch a little Oprah every once in a Do while. Do you? A little bit. Fergie! I know. Yeah. A little bit, though. <laughs> not, I, I don't like fucking search it out, but every once in a while she has somebody. Dude, there's not wrong, with a, not wrong with a guy watching Oprah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I do. I can case I'll tune her on and maybe she's... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, Jim. <laughs> I can't admit anything on this show. Jimmy can't just make the sound, which is what really cracks me up. It's radio, yet he pushes the back of his head towards the imaginary cock uh, as he's making the the, uh, the yeah. sound. I got a prop for you, Jimmy. Oh, a Jimmy banana. Needs, Jimmy needs his banana prop. His banana to really do the bit. Go ahead. Well, I mean, it's uh... <laughs> well, he's, <laughs> he's talking, talking into, into the, the banana. banana. It's not a microphone. That's crazy. Oh, uh, you're wacky. I I really okay. You know, I really do. Occasionally, I'll put on, uh, I'll put on Oprah, and I go, oh! <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jimmy. The and, um, pushing of the head into, into the banana. <laughs> 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 what did he do? I turned my head. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> what did he do? <laughs> Let's just say he was, t- he was he was pushing his head into the banana. Yeah. And he's holding the banana with his hand, and then for some reason he just decided to take his shoe off, <laughs> and then he did something really funny. <laughs> 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 Fucking Jimmy! Oh God damn! <laughs> Let's, let's go back to this Nick Cannon thing. Oh, what do you think of the, the Jay Leno? I guess there's not much in that preview. Yeah, I don't know. That was just the one they released. There'll be a lot more uh, today. So, well, today I'm watching fucking Oprah. I want to see what Leno has I to do say. Too. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, we'll do this hot story after after the Nick Cannon thing. A 14-year-old girl was felt up at school. It's a very hot story. I'll say. And, I, and me and Jimmy were talking about this during the break. I just don't get it with uh, this uh, this hate for Jay Leno. I really don't. And and it's gotten so bad that I I actually s- try to step outside this whole thing because you know we have a connection to Jay a little bit. We yeah. we were lucky enough to do the show once. Obviously, Jimmy's doing it on a regular basis. And Leno was just such a nice guy to us. I just I, I just don't see it how it, how it seems like the country is seeing it. And he sat down with Oprah, and I'm trying to figure out why people hate fucking Leno. I can't, and I know I'm very, very biased, too, because of uh, my connection with him. So, of course, I'm going to be very biased. But even stepping back, I can't. I understand why Letterman doesn't like him. And I understand why Conan doesn't like him. Of course. I'm and not now that I understand stupid. why I, I Rosie doesn't like him. Like, why? I just, because she felt slighted. I'm not saying I agree with her, but well, I... How the fuck oh, did she feel slighted? That's, that's delusional. That's entitlement. That's, that's again, fucking, she's crazy, but... It's self-entitlement like Anthony's saying. She yeah. she wanted Jay to step aside and give her one night a week. It's that's ridiculous. ridiculous. Of course it is. But I understand why she's mad. When you want something and you don't get it, you react angrily. Right. So I know why she doesn't well, like it. Well, but him. I don't respect the fact that she's mad. Me neither. All Not right, at all. Good. I think all she's right, ridiculous good. and all self-centered right, thank and you. delusional. Thank you. Okay, now I'm with you. But I mean, I, I comprehend why. And Dave, well, he was losing to him, and he feels like Jay was a guest on his show, and then he, he feels Jay screwed him out of the... So I understand certain people, why they don't like him, but I don't understand why Kimmel doesn't like him. Unless there's obviously stuff I don't know, but I don't know why Kimmel has a thing for him. Mm. And the public, it's weird. It's like these nerds are like online, like, he's our guy! It's like, you don't give a shit about late night television. Yeah. Shut up! They just, he represents something. He represents... What they see is a changing of the guard was happening, and then they see it went back to the old guard because they don't know exactly what happened. And, and all these people saying that that Jay Leno should just step aside. Why? Why the fuck should he? Why the fuck should he is right? And 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 if your company's you know going to you and saying, hey, you can have your old job back, like Jay said on Oprah, who wouldn't take that offer? Of course you would. And, and Jay was number one. Like I could see if Jay Leno was slipping, yeah. even if he was number two. I'm like, okay, maybe uh, maybe his better days are behind him. But the guy was forced to leave because of this weird deal NBC made. He was forced to leave when he was still number one, and maybe Con- by a, a nice margin, by the way, too. And how come the Conan fans again? Or the, and I'm not I'm not talking about the ones who love Conan, but the ones who are just vehemently crucifying Jay. And uh, the guys that have called in, I mean, you're always welcome to call in and express your opinion, but how come those guys aren't saying that it was fucked up, that Jay was number one, and Conan was threatening to walk unless he got promised The Tonight Show in 2004? Right. And again, I understand why Conan would want it, but it's like they're just vilifying Jay for taking the show back. It's like, fuck these people. I've really had enough of these fucking faggots complaining, like all these fans going, he should just walk away. Why should he just walk away? Would you? The one guy called up and goes, he should do a show on cars. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you work all those years. You're a workaholic. And this is in any job. And you're the best at what you do. And you should just step down. Go and, fuck yourself. And the other thing I don't understand, uh, people are just assuming that if Jay walked away, then NBC would have stayed with Conan O'Brien. But no. no. If, if Jay leaves, it. if Jay would have left, or if Jay leaves now... Uh, well, n- now it's kind of too late, obviously. But they weren't going to keep Conan. His ratings were down 50% or 49%, 49%. officially. NBC was making the decision to to uh, go with a, another person for, for late night. Personally, I think it was Comcast. People are forgetting that a new boss took over. And I think that uh, what was happening was the new boss came in and said, this is not going to stay. Fix it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's what happened. But people want to ignore that. If Jay did, quote, the right thing and walked away, 
so Conan could continue uh, with his dream. The fact is, NBC already made the decision. We're done with Conan already. Seven months, in my opinion, is ridiculously not enough time, obviously. Right. But with that said, they weren't going to stay with Conan, no matter what. I just cannot believe when I hear people saying he should just step aside when the guy was still number one. It makes you want to smack people. And then they're like, quit licking Leto's air. Why, why should the number one guy leave? I don't comprehend that. Mm -hmm. You fucking assholes out there who think that that a guy should just walk away because you want your guy to be in there? Just, Shut the fuck up. Just walk <laughs> away. Holy shit. Um, just fucking walk away. asshole. It's never yeah. happened where the number one guy has been yanked off. Well, never. Well, I think Leno uh, put it perfectly. I think we have a lot of clips from the Oprah show. We won't, we won't do that uh, to you, but we have one that I think is worth playing. I think this is the one where Jay explains it perfectly. You yeah. know, they made this offer to me, and I said, do you think Conan will go? We'll mm -hmm. go for this. And they said, we'll ask him tomorrow. I said, okay, let me know what happens. And then next thing you know, I guess Conan had his article in the paper, and that was that. Yeah, Conan said that he thought it would be destructive to the franchise, and that if you well, took Well, if you look spot, at where the ratings were, yeah. mm -hmm. it was already destructive to the franchise. Uh -huh. yeah. But he said that he did not want to take that... The, the hour at 12.05. Well, there was no discussion on it. You know, the last discussion I had was it looks like he, he was going to go for it. And then he publicly said no. And by that time, it had pretty much hit the fan and everything was all over the place. And there wasn't a lot of talking going on. Well, I guess I was wrong. That was not the clip. Do you know the next morning, I was, I was on the, the Leno show the next night. I did a, a panel thing. Right. And he came in the dressing room. And we were just talking about like what was going on, and he just I said, thought you were going to go in tears, in te hugging each other, <laughs> how, holding each other. How awkward would that be if he grabbed you crying? I was just like right in your ear, shimmy, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and just blamed me for the failure. <laughs> yes. And he goes, uh, we were talking, he goes, yeah, I think Conan made a mistake last night when he quit. Like he said he thought Conan made a mistake when he, dis when he didn't agree yeah. to do... Like, he, maybe he thought that a strong 11.30 lead-in, which oh. he would have given. You know, who knows? Yeah. But he did say that, so. All right, I got the, I got the mm. clip. Well, that clip was good anyway, but here's, uh, I think here's the one I'm talking about where Jay explains it perfectly. Perfect. I always felt I was doing the right thing. And you go, how can you do the right thing and just have it go so wrong? Maybe I'm not doing the right thing, I would say. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. This many people are angry and upset over a television show. I mean, I had a show. My show got canceled. They weren't happy with the other guy's show. They said, we want you to go back. I said, okay. Who wouldn't take that job, though? Who wouldn't do that? It, it's fucking amazing. I haven't yeah, seen... That's a great question. Who wouldn't do that? I For real. It's, it's easy to, as you're looking in going, wow, he's got his, he should step aside like Conan, you know, have his dream. But really put yourself in that position with your job or whatever. Yep. You're going to do that? You're going to let some uh, younger guy come in and take over your job even though you're still great at your job? Really? I don't see Letterman Not stepping aside. Us that would do that. Mm -hmm. I don't see Dave saying, you know what, Conan? I feel like you got screwed by a bad guy. Come take my position. I don't feel like anybody who has said, Jay should just walk away, has ever walked away. You know what I got from that clip? Jay is a scumbag. Terrible man. That's what I got from that. Would you walk away? That that is perfect too. Hey, Who? hey, hey, asshole, glass house, rock throwing oh. motherfuckers. Would you just walk away from that gig if the, your boss came to you and said, "Hey, we we'd like you to come back and and have your old job, your old pay, your old fucking all your old boys around you and everything," and you're gonna go, "No, under the principles in which I live." My life, you could take your job. Yes, please, I'll take it. Of course. Shut up. And, and if he says no in that spot, that doesn't mean that they're going to stay with Conan. At that point, they would go and see who else is out there. There were rumors that they were interested in uh, Seinfeld. Yay. And they asked him how he was, and he said he was heartbroken when they took the show. And he's like, yeah, I fibbed a little. I mean, that's just what Jay's way of saying. He towed the company line. So anyone that doesn't agree, it's like, I don't want to talk about this all day, but I, I'm always well, up won't. for hearing people who don't agree. It's like, I have not heard one of you present me with a reason why he should walk away. And once again, the phones are lit. A few people are like, why are you talking about this again? Well, because it's still... Because it was just on Oprah. It's why is it Z? Because it's, a, it's still a hot topic. By the way, what are the hot topics today? Oh, my God. We, we didn't we'll get our that, show we'll, prep from... We'll ask that question. Maybe the listeners will have their hot oh, topics that's for us. fantastic. <laughs> but, um... Oh. And then uh, Jimmy Kimmel had a little clip. You want to listen to the Jimmy Kimmel clip? Yeah, I've clip? not seen it. 
because uh, they talked about how Jimmy Kimmel went on Leno to do the right. 10 and 10 and uh, blindsided uh, Jay. Right. Just making fun of the whole situation, which was uh, which was great TV. It was a lot of fun to, to watch, a lot of jokes in there. And then Jay took it uh, pretty good. Took it re- uh, actually really well. He aired it, yeah. And uh, Oprah asked him about that whole thing. And then uh, Kimmel had his response. Uh, Danny, we got that. Sorry, hang on. Jay Leno today sat down for a very serious talk with Oprah. There was no studio audience, just Jay and Oprah speaking Titan to Titan. And it's kind of funny because, you know, celebrities usually go on Oprah with these intense, serious interviews to get support from the public after they had sex with their father or (laughs) married Bobby Brown or something. Jay Leno went on because they gave him The Tonight Show back. So please, keep him in your prayers. Oprah was um, Oprah was pretty forthright with Jay. She told him that she thought a joke he made about David Letterman was, quote, beneath him and acknowledged that 95% of her audience they polled was on Conan's side. And then Oprah asked Jay about me. You've made a living making jokes about other people mm-hmm. uh, during their difficult times. Right, right. So did you, you thought you were fair game? Even, oh, yeah. even for Jimmy Kimmel, when Jimmy Kimmel was on? Again, I had Jimmy Kimmel on my show. And, yeah, I got sucker punched. You're known for pranks. What's the best prank you ever pulled? I told a guy that five years from now, I'm going to give you my show. And then when the five years came, I gave it to him, and then I took it back almost instantly. It's my show. I could have edited it. But I said, no, no. Put it out there. I walked into it. Did you know he was going that that far? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh. Yeah. The jokes about the cars and you only okay, have cars. Got, that's okay. I got sucker punched. But you know, when you get sucker punched, you just get right back up again. You don't whine and complain and go, oh, I'm going to take that out. He said something bad about me. That's all right. Now, I don't know that I would characterize going on a comedy show and making jokes qualifies as a su- sucker punch, right? I mean, that. but as long as Jay's talking about it, you want to know what the real story is, what really happened? Yeah. yeah. But by the way, It'd be funnier if you said no. Nah, we're <laughs> kind of sick of that. Make fun of the Gosselins or something. All right, here's the story. A couple weeks ago, I did a show where I dressed up like Jay Leno and impersonated him, and Cleto dressed like his cackling band leader and impersonated him. And we had a lot of fun at their expense. We really did. So the next morning, Jay calls me. I was in a the meeting. They said, Jay Leno is on the phone. And I said, oh, great. This will be comfortable. <laughs> But he got on the phone and said, oh, I thought it was funny. Now, I'm almost positive that was a lie, but I take his word for it, because why not? So then about an hour later, the Jay Leno Show calls, and they asked me to do the 10 at 10, which is where Jay interviews somebody via satellite and asks 10 questions. So I said yes, assuming that we're going to talk about what's going on in late night. Now, before they do these 10 to 10 interviews, our producer calls to go over all the questions. And then you're supposed to go on the show and act like you're surprised by the questions as they come. So I get on the phone with the producer, and he goes through about 30 questions. Almost none of them have anything to do with what's going on in late night. The questions are like, what's your junk food weakness? And, you know, I say to the guy, you know, a little bit of this is fine, but I really think we have to talk about what's going on with Jay and Conan, because that's what people want to hear about, not about my my junk food weakness. I, I weigh more than 200 pounds. All junk foods are my weakness. So he says, he says, yeah, I know, um, and we'll talk about it, but there's been a lot of talk about this stuff, and we don't want to beat it to death. But what he did not understand is, I did want to beat it to death. I wanted to, I like beating things to death. And so I did. Because if I go on that show and answer 10 questions about junk food, I'm the one that looks like a jerk. Oh, hey, Jay. Oh, I, I love raisinets. I really... Now, if, there were, if I made any mistake, it was thinking Jay would have anything to say other than what was written on the cue cards during the interview. I figured I'd start in, he'd get into it, we'd mix it up. You know, at one time, he was a comedian. So, but he just, he didn't do that. He, he stood there, and he just kind of read through the questions like a robot, and then he goes on Oprah and rats me out to Oprah. That's a sucker punch right there. Hmm. He's a paddle cat. Oprah and I had a wonderful relationship, and now it's ruined because of Jay. <laughs> and by the way, watch out, Oprah. Don't think he won't take your show next. He's... I you know, um, I I don't. Uh, I always thought. 
television was different than radio. <laughs> it's, mm-hmm. it's all the same stupid business. <laughs> My only issue is like, like uh, yeah, I understand why Kim Mulder wanted to talk about, it, of course. Yeah, but it's like when you, when you say like, I promised the guy my show in 2004 and then took it back five years later. I mean, it's a funny line when he did the 10 of 10. Yeah. But it's almost like you know better. Yeah, you know he didn't take the show you back. You know what happened. So it's like, not that you can't be funny like that, but it's like, come on, man, you, you know what happened. So don't get really angry about it. So And, and fast forward, you know, Kimmel's an older guy now and, uh, this, you know, the same offer is put to Kimmel. He, he's going to step aside, really? These yeah, guys are really going to step aside? Don't take the That's the question. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. They're going to step aside? Yeah. No, they're not. None of these guys are going to step aside if it was about them. Uh, let's go to Mike in Connecticut. Mike. Hey. Mike. Hi, I'm Mike. Hey, guys. Hey, I guess the question I have is um, when they first came to Jay, whenever, way back when, when they told him uh, they were going to, you know, take his show away from him and give it to Conan in five years or whatever, and he had the number one show. He was number one. You guys keep on talking about how he was number one. He's the number one show. At that point, why didn't he just tell them to go fuck themselves? Listen, I'm number one. I'm not doing it. I'm not going for it. You know, so they say, hey, okay, yeah, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I'll hold on, it. hold on. Let me answer you. Because in a position like that, you're under contract, and it's almost like when they kill a character off. I'm sure they've killed characters off on TV who didn't want to be killed off, but they do it. It's not like they don't show up. Why don't people say, well, if you don't want to be killed off, just don't show up to work that day and, and film the scene. You have to. And maybe he could have done more, but to me, that would have been self-destructive, and he's a smart dude, and he didn't whine about it, just like he didn't complain that the critics were killing him. He didn't whinge about it. He just stayed number one. So that's probably why he towed the company line. And if you want to say, why didn't Jay be honest? How come you're not saying, hey, how come Conan didn't go on his show that night and go, you know what? My people said that if I didn't get the Tonight Show, I would leave in five years, so they gave in. Mm-hmm. How come Conan, both of them towed the company line? Isn't that fair to say? Yeah, they're both well, BSing. I don't, up, I, that, that night. I don't stay up that late to watch Conan, so I really don't know. Yeah. But I'm saying they replayed the clips recently. So you don't, Do you understand what I'm saying? They both towed the company line. Plus, I, I would love to, you know, know what uh, Leno's contract was all about. Right. Maybe it wasn't that easy just to walk away. If you really think he doesn't have an agent, like he says, uh, I, I don't believe that. I really don't you don't have that. to. You don't have to believe it. But I know how he negotiates with his own writers. I understand that you, he is a lawyer. He's a very, very big lawyer. <laughs> He's probably the most powerful guy in Hollywood. And right a now. lawyer is just as big as, uh, you know, yeah. having an agent. If if Ron you really want to know from, the truth, uh, yes, is it Ron? Ron the lawyer. <laughs> So, sir, let me ask you, what what should he have done? And, and you're not saying that Conan should have done the same thing. I don't think Conan has had as much, as much juice as, as Jay. I mean, he, I don't think Conan could have done that. I think Jay could have done that because of who he is. He didn't, he didn't have as much juice as Jay. He got he got them to get, promise him The Tonight Show while Jay was number one. That sounds like a lot of juice to me. What have the goddamn <laughs> Jews got to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir, I thank you. It sounds more like... It sounded like it was more like an executive decision to do this with the two shows, not really Conan saying, get, you know, co- co- convincing them to do it. It sounds like it was a, an executive do you, do decision. Do you have any idea how naive you sound? It was executives who ultimately made the decision. But Conan has come out and said he had a lot of other offers. And what was happening was, look, Conan could have went 1130 somewhere and made a shitload of money. So he put it to NBC. I'll leave. Or you promised me that you're not Conan himself, but his agents. That's how it works. Now who sounds naive, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works, sir. Yeah, Conan was really hot. NBC didn't want to lose him. They figured, okay, in five years, Jay's probably not going to be number one anymore. I mean, logically, as they sat down in their dumb boardroom, it made a lot of sense. But you fast forward, Jay's number one right to the end. And then they're like, fuck. They keep Jay under contract. They give Conan a shot. And within seven months, they lost 49% of the audience. And now mm-hmm. NBC goes, well, we still have Jay under contract. And he was number one when we said goodbye to him seven months ago. Let's, uh, let's put him back in the spot. That's their logic. But do you hear how Mike, and Mike, I know you're being truthful, but do you hear how people are just, they refuse to look at Conan like he is a very powerful guy and a businessman too. Like he just continually, no, Conan didn't do that. I didn't hear what Conan. Sure. Like you just can't acknowledge that there were two very powerful guys in the business and this is how it wound up working out. And Dingo Warrior from uh, Glenn Gardner, I'll humor him with with his stupid instant feedback. You guys... 
Sure loves sucking the Leno cock. Just, oh, well, stop. Question, if Jim were not on Leno's show, would you take the same stance? Yeah, no. 100% yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, dude. I started this discussion by saying, like, I'm confused that there's so much hate toward Jay. And like Oprah said, 94, I think it was 94% of her audience yeah. is like Team Conan. So I'm like, what am I not getting here? And I really try to step outside and really think about it, and I still don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. And where, where was all this support for Conan when he was having a tough time in the ratings? Where, where was all this groundswell of support? Really? Yeah. It, it would have kept him in his spot if people were uh, watching. Anthony in Staten Island. Anthony. I'm here. Hey, guys. How you doing? Mm. Uh, quick question for Jimmy. Sure. Um, I know you're not best friends with Jay, but you know, in hind like hindsight, would, do you think Jay would have uh, <clears throat> wanted to do something else? If he knew all this was going to happen, you think he would have said, oh, hey, listen, I'm going to go to ABC or I'm going to go to... You know, Fox, I'm going to do something else. Do you think, you know, when I'm, I'm still number one in the ratings, maybe I should have done this differently? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Like, if he could see the way this would play out, would he have said, fuck it, and just went across the street and competed? Had Maybe. Um, but like he said in Oprah, there's something that's true. I don't know if Jay's OCD or not, but I've been in the dressing room, and literally, dude, there are 30 of those denim shirts and 30 of those denim pants. He is fucking a creature of habit, and he said, I know everybody here. I know the lighting guys. I know this. It's like that's been his home for 20 years, so yeah. it's like I kind of understand that, too, where it's like you don't want to have to leave and get to a whole new system. It's like if you could just stay. So I don't know what he would have done. I don't know him on that level. Yeah. Right. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Fun All right. And then you got, uh, you know what? Uh, Jason in D.C. Jason. Hey, guys. Look, hey. I, I equate this to the following. Let's let's suppose that, you know, the asshole Howard had better ratings than you guys, and it was a choice between a, pro, uh, a network putting him on over you guys. I'd be devastated. I'm the same way with this. I understand that Jay's ratings are better than Conan's. I get that. But Conan's flat out funnier. And moving forward, I mean, it, it, Jay's, what, 60 years old? I mean, how much longer are people going to buy into like a senior citizen doing late night television? Well, I mean, I mean that. I, look, I mean, it's the same thing. I, I get the ratings part of it, but, but I mean, it, in five years, what's what's the end game in five years? That well, that's what they said five years ago, and the end game was. Jay was still uh, doing very well, and he was still number one. And Letterman, dude, Letterman is good. Letterman is fucking funny, and he has a really good show, and he's a great interviewer. Uh oh, Jimmy's going on Letterman. But I'm saying, like, when, and he couldn't going beat on Jay. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? It's like if you, if you, if Letterman right. can't beat him, and, and Letterman is quirky, but not as quirky as Conan. They that's sort, saying something. They're kind of from that same genre, yeah. Letterman and Conan. I mean, they're in different uh, uh, areas of their careers right now, obviously. But, but they are. You're right. But they sort of come from the same mold. Uh, I think Conan should have went for the 1205, less pressure. And, and like this caller is saying, which is pretty smart, yeah, Jay is at the end of his career, no matter how you look at it. He's now 60, I think, or 61 maybe, or somewhere around but there. But five, six more years he could five, definitely Five, six more years. Think, like, like, well, like, wait, wait, wait. Conan goes back to his old slot? No, it, it would have been at 1205. Mm, yeah, they, he wouldn't have would okay. done that. Well, and the reason why he didn't do that, by the way, because he knows he has offers, offers somewhere else. So all the Conan yeah. fans are going to be... Uh, more than happy because you you'll see Conan by the fall on another network, and then you know what? Then it's going to be game on. I'll be watching. Absolutely. And now it's yeah. game on. All right, we'll see who's funnier, and we'll see who could get the you know the the, the big ratings. So don't worry about Conan. He's fine. I, I, he pretty much has another deal, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm sure Conan will be, will be absolutely. Walks fine. away with forty million, and we're like boo hooing Conan, and he's going to work for somebody else within seven eight months. Come on. Mm -hmm. and, to, and by the way, to the fans that say Jay should have walked away, to you, to you naive people who are just saying that because you, you just, you, you, why didn't Conan walk away? Like when they when they promised it to him, why didn't Conan five years later and go, you know what, this guy is still killing as a Tonight Show host. Maybe I should switch networks. Maybe I shouldn't try to take yeah. a job that he like. I'm yeah, using that same logic. It's like why? Yeah, yeah. Conan should have been the, the the nice guy and walked away, going, well, this sounded like a good idea, but now that. We're at the end of the five-year period. I see uh, he's still the king of late night. He's still number one. I should probably just step aside. Yeah, so where's all the people <laughs> saying that? Like, where's you're not being balanced at all. You're not looking at it both ways. They'll never uh, listen to you talk about Leno and not think you're just sucking up. But it's, again, yeah, they're, it's they're, they're, I'm being very logical. Situation you're in. Look at him with his denim. <laughs> We're just looking at a picture of him. He looks so disheveled, yeah. Jay, walking out of some 7-Eleven or something. 
He's just a slob eater. With just, yeah. with just that denim rolls, shirt. Yeah. And just, they had him, uh, I don't know, TMZ or somebody had him just eating pasta or pizza. He just, he don't give a shit. He's a slob <laughs> eater. I'm hungry. I'm uh, hungry. Trey from Brooklyn writes, Opie, maybe this will help you get it. And that was all in capital letters, so I better get oh, this. Oh, get it. You better get it. Uh, if Jay wasn't super rich already and driving around in his dumb million-dollar cars all the time, people would feel bad for him. Now we want his accelerator to stick. Yeah, but Jay doesn't do it for the money. He's made that perfectly clear. He banks all his uh, Tonight Show money, right? Yeah. And lives off his uh, stand-up stand money. Boy, and Conan is not rich? Conan's you filthy rich. It's amazing to me how they act like Conan's a guy He's who's living a guy. in a one-bedroom somewhere yeah. in the fucking <laughs> Lower East Side He's struggling. He's not just a guy like, like you would think a guy is. He's, he's a multimillionaire, too. Yes. They both are. All right. I just haven't heard one good argument from anybody... One logical argument from anybody who thinks that Jay should have walked away. That's fucking idiotic. Uh, Forget that I'm connected to him. How does that make sense to anybody uh, who loves what you do for a living? Oh, yeah. wow. Roy might be onto something, which is very interesting because it's something we talk about a lot. Okay. Roy, go ahead. Hey, man. What's going on, guys? Hey, Hi, buddy. This might be a generational thing. Go ahead, Roy. It, it definitely is a generational thing. I'm 41 years old. I don't watch either one, but I see this all the time. People are like want uh, Leno to step aside for Conan because they're the same ones that want all the kids to get a turn at bat, all the kids to get a touchdown. It's the same generation, and uh. that's the generation that watches Conan. Mm. So they say, okay, it's time for Jay to step aside and let someone else be the num number one. Or, he can't be number one forever. As opposed to fighting for it and earning it. You know what? Right. That's a there's really no good point. Anymore. I kind of like your, uh, yeah. your, your thought on this because there's a lot of... We're talking to a lot of parents out there. Some are frustrated and some aren't, which which drives me nuts, where you have little Johnny. He, he has no business being on the fucking baseball field, but Johnny needs exactly. a turn like yeah. everybody else. When I was growing up, guess what? I wanted to play football and baseball. I sucked at, at football. I wasn't big enough. And baseball, I was scared to get uh, up at bat. So guess what? I found another sport. Yeah, I They didn't force me sport. in and say, no, no, you get a turn like everybody yeah. else. I had to learn a lesson and go, I guess I'm not going to be a Major League Baseball player and I'll, I'll figure something else out. Sir, you raise a great point. It comes to, um, I couldn't earn it. And again, this is not, it sounds like I'm really shitting on Conan, but I'm not. But it's, it's the same mentality. Why didn't he just hand it to our guy? Why didn't he yeah, just hand it to him? That's, that's, because it's the same generation. Excellent point, man. Yeah, I like your point because no one should be handed anything in this world. And you shouldn't just same, be handed these stuff. These are the same corporate guys. The same corporate guys want to do the same thing in corporations. It's like, okay, you were president for a long time. You're doing a great job, but you know what? Let somebody else be president and see what kind of job they can do. And then when they fail, they crucify it. And, crucify it. And for the people that say, well, Jay was handed the Tonight Show, Letterman and Jay, the decision was made between those two. They just thought Jay would do better ratings. There was like him and Dave kind of fought it out for the Tonight Show. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just handed to Jay. He was a guest host. Oh, he had a relationship yeah. with the affiliates. And people, you know they gave it to him because they thought he would do better in the ratings. And and as far as being Team uh, Leno, I'll tell you this much. Uh, at the time, I wanted Letterman over Leno for the Tonight Show when Johnny stepped aside. Ooh. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was bummed when it didn't happen. But guess what? Kind of like what's going on with Conan. Uh, I knew Letterman would be fine. And what? He shows up on CBS. He's been there for how long now? 15 years. 15 something like years. 17 years. And that's what's going to happen to Conan now. He'll be just fine in the end. But that is why. That's a yep. great My point. My guy didn't win at the time as far as this late night crap goes. I wasn't. Yep. Everybody can't have a trophy. Like even the Conan fans should be saying, you know what? That's a good point. He was, he was actually still maintaining the ratings. Maybe Conan should have said, hey, I don't want to take your guy's job with maintaining the ratings. I should. But you're right. They but want the, that. The, they don't bring that into the discussion. Not once. None of these people. But I'm too biased, right? Great. That's a great point, man. Yeah. All right, guys. And you anyway. Know. <laughs> They really, uh, a lot of people just are not uh, cutting Jimmy slack. Don't think you have the... I don't um, give a fuck. Fuck yeah, all of them. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yelling and screaming, and I will logically fucking smash any of you who are taking that position because your position is wrong. None of you would do it, you phony motherfuckers. None of you. Exactly. Not one of you would give up a higher paying job. Like, let me ask you, how many postal employees or whatever it is you do? All of a sudden, there's a younger guy who kind of wants your job, and then the, the boss says, hey, we're going to give him your job in a few years. But you know what? You're still the best at it in five years, and you're going to go, you know what? Let me just step aside. You f you're full of shit. Yeah. You're you're full of shit. I'm with you, man. Holy shit. Fucking entitled I'm idiots. Be quiet. As we move forward on this whole thing, uh, 
what worries me, not that I worry about this and then, um, you know, lose sleep over it, but Leno's pretty fucking damaged, man. Um, well, He's got beat up uh, pretty bad in the in, in the public eye. I wonder. I wonder what happens now when he moves back. If not people forget be, all that, or does he go back to number one? He'll he'll be okay. He doesn't play golf again. What? It's the same oh, thing, though. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's a feeding frenzy. Yeah. It, it is the same as Tiger Woods. Yeah. When, when, when people start, you know, it's just the way it is. It's that group mob mentality. But once it co cools down and Conan gets his gig, they'll pipe up again. But then they'll compete. I think Jay will be. I fine. wonder. That's yeah. going to be uh, interesting to see. Absolutely. All right. I, so, again, anyone who has a logical argument as to why I'm lapping Jay's ass and not making sense, you feel free. But I'm I'm right there with you on this one, Jimmy. And I'm not, you know, we're not going to be on Leno anytime soon. Yeah. That's pretty obvious. And we were on uh, we were on Letterman, so it's... Uh, yeah, I was too. And, I, and again, I like Letterman. All right. By the way, phone's lit, so obviously, you know, they I, still want to talk. I just have not heard one logical point. As to why Jay should have stepped aside when none of these people would, none of them would. Of course not. I mean, how how would you have felt like if this gig. show? People who love this show, you compared this show to Howard's show with this show as the underdog. But put this show when we were on. Uh, let's say right now we're doing very well on XM, and let's say look, we're going to remove Opie and Anthony and put in this other show. Let's say Jason Ellis, okay, who's also on this channel. Some people like him, some people don't. So let's say they were going to put Jason Ellis in here. But yet, after a few years, this show still had the fan base, and they said, "You know what? We're putting Jason in any anyway." Would all you O and A fans be going, "Hey, you know what, man? It's time for O and A to leave. Let Jason do it." You'd be That's screaming. And then if Jason tanked, and then they say, "Hey, guys, we want you back in. We're supposed to go." No, no. Like almost when they, when they offered this show the uh, the terrestrial radio after David Lee Roth didn't do well. Yeah. I guess we should have said, "Hey, we were already on that uh, platform and, and and got fired. We no. shouldn't go back." Oh, yeah, we had great ratings. Well, uh, we got the boot because of the stupid controversy with the church yeah. and everything. Yeah. Uh, but uh, should we take the gig? No. no! That's, that's why I don't understand Howard's stance on this whole thing. He wouldn't step aside for a younger guy. He just doesn't like Jay. Just, yeah, that's just, you but know, you know, know that yeah, so they don't has like to, each other. So he has to fucking do those. Taking it very personally. Yeah, but, but I don't mind when people don't like each other. I can accept why someone who has a personal relationship and don't like each other roots against them. Yeah, but I think Howard understands, you know, logically what this whole thing's about. He really does, but his hatred toward Jay, you know, gets in the way of really discussing this topic, uh, you know, um, uh, logically. 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 Is there anybody there that has a point that's, you know, not a writer in her, but just a caller who has something that's, you know, again, I don't want it to sell you. We only take pro Jay calls. Fuck no. I'll go from the top to the bottom. I, I mean, I'll just read them, though. This is NBC's fuck up, not Leno Conan. Agreed. I exactly. agreed. Yes. When Carson was on, they would have never have done this shit to him. It's all the executive's fault. I agree. Well, they did kind they of. They pushed Carson out. They did push Johnny out. Was he number out. one when he was, uh. I, I don't know, but they said his ratings had slipped a lot. And Wait, he was, he was the only game in town. Yeah, he really And he was well. also. So very, very old, and Dave was going to do something. They had to make a decision. I, I think they didn't want Letterman to host the Tonight Show. Yep. Because um, they probably thought at the time he was too quirky. Yeah, and they thought and, he wouldn't. And when Letterman moved to CBS, uh, executives told him basically, you got to go a little more mainstream. I mean, Letterman's show is very different. Mm -hmm. And I, a rumor has they were trying to do that with Conan. Whether he did it or not, I don't know. Well, Dick Eversall said that. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't watch enough uh, Conan shows to. So I can't really say. Uh, Jimmy definitely sucking up to Leno. If he was well, on Conan, he'd suck up to him. Hold, put that guy on. Let me talk to that guy, please. Uh, Doctor S from Connecticut. Doctor S. Hello, James. Hi, Doctor. Hello. S. Good evening, everybody else. Hello. Good evening. You uh, are sucking up to Co um, to Jay Leno because if you were on Conan, you definitely would be seeing it the other way. You he's your piggy bank. He's your piggy bank, and you said you want uh, Conan to walk away. No, uh, I know. That's don't. contradictory to Leno. I mean, that's Dude. what you said about Leno. Do how could a doctor miss the point so much? I didn't say I wanted to call it. What I was saying is, why are the people who are saying Jay should have walked away not saying Conan should have? Right. That's what he said. That's what I said. Oh, you I, misdiagnosed I, 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 his, his comment. Yeah, you just, you just totally kind of said something I didn't uh, say. No, no, vice versa. You said that you wanted Conan to... Why, did, why didn't Conan? Why didn't Jay? Why didn't Conan? It could go either way. You're on Jay's side because Jay's your piggy bank. You suck Jay's ass. But I also think Jay is right, dude. I really think Jay is right. I really, okay. honest to God, dude, even in my private thoughts, well, I wouldn't badmouth Leno. I wouldn't shit on him if I thought he was wrong because I actually, he, he is good to me. And honestly, man, I'm telling you, I really do like the guy. 
Like, and I see the way he treats his guests and his comedians. And when he comes in, he's a very warm dude. He's not some detached scumbag. He wants everybody to be comfortable. His staff loves and worships this guy. When we met him, he comes across like just a regular guy. Dude, he really does, He was man. interested in what we had to say. We were just small talking with the guy. I was like, wow, you don't get this, you know, from the media in general when you do these TV shows. Usually yeah. it's like very well, cold and, and there's no real uh, connection between you and the host. Right. and. And and you feel uncomfortable and and and, and then you you go out there without even ever talking to the guy ahead of time. So Jay you, comes in the in, into the dressing room. He's in that dumb blue denim. And he's yeah. sitting down, just hanging out. I'm like, me and Ann, I remember thinking, don't you have a show to do? Yeah, because we're just small oh, oh, oh. talking about everything. So, dude, how, you just you just totally misquoted me and said I said something I didn't say. Like, and, and, and took me out of context. No, 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 no. I'm saying that if Conan were your bank. You would be totally on that side. That's all I want to. All right, but that's, that's your not opinion. true. No, no, hold on, it's, that's it. just not true. Yeah. You're not, you're not going to change his opinion. Not, I, 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 change his, I, I don't agree yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. He's that. That's your best argument. Like, not th this is a doctor, and your argument stunk. You didn't point out why Conan was right and Jay was wrong. And Jimmy kind of proved uh, you wrong because he talks nicely about Letterman. Yeah, I don't dis I think Dave I mean, is hilarious. If I'm, you I'm really think he's on Team Leno, then then uh, Jimmy should be following suit and not talk nice about Letterman, but I, he does. I haven't badmouthed Dave. I told you this whole experience. I like Conan more now than I ever did. I thought he was very funny through this whole thing. Right. I'm not shitting on the other guys. I just think Jay is right. Uh, why is this such a big fucking deal to everybody? I don't know. I don't either. Look at the phones. Look it at the instant is. feedback. I don't know. It just it's, is. Maybe because it is a generational uh, thing. Two but, generations fighting it out. I but, don't know. All right. What else is there? Why are people mad at NBC instead of uh, Leno and Conan? Agree. Jay should have had a better contract. Uh, Jimmy, do you think Jay can repair this damage? We kind of talked about that. Conan failed because Leno was his lead in. Hold on. Let me go to that guy right there. Uh, if we could. Uh, let's say hi to Pat in Buffalo. Hi, Pat. <laughs> hi, Schnookums. How are you today? Hi, Pat. How are you? Normally, I agree with just about everything that you say, Jimmy. I'm a, a huge fan of yours. I got an autographed copy of your book. Thank you. I live in Buffalo. Don't hold that against me. But my my problem is is the the, the weeknight lead-ins were terrible. He did not have the same kind of ratings going in to the Tonight Show uh, for the local news uh, that they did when they had programs like ER and stuff like that. It was... For, and the thing that I resent about Leno is that for him to go out and say it's a colossal failure on, on Conan's part, it's not totally true because uh, after his initial week, his ratings dropped like a tank. when uh, or His ratings completely tanked at the 10 o'clock slot, so he gave him no strong lead in there. Well, he actually... So Jay actually, entirely on Conan, and I resent Jay for saying that. No, no, Jay actually did say his show failed, too. Jay acknowledged his show failed. It really did, and I hate it. Look... He said it did what it was supposed to do as far as the networks making the money, but the affiliates didn't want it, and they are the really powerful. And you're right, Conan didn't have the lead, and he probably should have had. But I don't know, over the last 17 years, when Leno has stayed number one, did he, every single time he won, have the number one lead in? I don't mm. think so. I think these well, guys become, I think lead in's important. But I also think the guests you're getting are important. I'm not saying lead-in didn't hurt him, though. I mean, that's the point. But uh, NBC... They absolutely killed him. What, what was brought up on um, Oprah? I don't think it killed him 49% loss, though. No. I don't think that explains that's... half the audience leaving. No. It's brought up on uh, on Oprah that Leno thought he had more time, too. Uh, the executives came to him and said, look, we've never done this 10 o'clock thing. This is going to be uh, an uphill uh, you know, battle or whatever. And uh, they said, look, you know, but when summer hits, when everything goes into repeat, yes. I think we have a pretty good shot at it. They were pretty much kissing away the first, uh, how many months was he on? I don't even know. Uh, he did about four months. He uh, did about four. Because yeah. Conan did seven and, and Jay sat for a while. Uh, they said, look, you know, it's going to be tough the first few months as, as, as there's original programming from all the other networks. But when it goes into replay time in the summer, we might have a shot at this. And Jay said. And Jay really thought that's was their long-term plan for that. And he said the thing at 10 o'clock is hard. He said you're competing against different shows every night. Like, you know, every night it's Dave and Jay or it's Conan and Ferguson. You know who your competition is. But competing at 10 o'clock with that show, you're competing against fucking, against brand new, different shows every night. It's a and, new guy getting in the ring. NBC just panicked in the end because yeah. they also said uh, that, the Jay Leno show would be a lot cheaper. So even if they're not number one, as long as they do okay, they're not spending. Some of these shows I I, I read, it's like over three to between three and six million dollars an episode. Yeah, absolutely, they're spending, spending. Jesus, 
That's that means three to six million a week for how many how many uh, shows? What is it? Twenty something maybe? Yeah. Something like that. That adds up quick. So they said this show will be a lot cheaper if we don't get if we're not number one. That's okay. We don't need to be number one. But that all obviously that, changed. Yeah, that changed real quick. Yeah. So. But the guy who said the lead-in point, that's a good point. But it's like the people who say Conan didn't get enough time, I agree with you. How come those people aren't saying Jay didn't get enough time, too? That's all. They're just not saying both of them didn't get enough time. Look, I'll, I just don't get it. Yeah, I, know. Yeah, yeah. I really tried to try to see it the other way. I just don't get it. You know. Here's what you argue with. When a guy like Dr. whatever his name is Dr. gets on S. the phone, gets on the phone, and he goes, you just laugh at Jay's ass because you like him. He's a paycheck for you. And they pick you It's like, that's what you got? <laughs> that's your fucking argument? You stink. Your argument stinks. But everyone's, uh, wow, they're all about this. All right, why don't we take a break? Uh... What was your take on the uh, Letterman, Leno, Oprah commercial? Did that give you a little holy shit moment? That or... gave, no, that gives you that money buys anything it wants to buy. Yeah. <laughs> it buys you, you pay them, and they'll do what they told to do. They're fucking corporates. What I liked about it was the fact that in this... I was going to say in this day and age, ugh. Uh, I don't know how they kept that secret. They said that uh, Jay was walked right into the front of the theater with a fake mustache after the uh, after the fucking. Well, he had sunglasses and a hoodie. Right after not even taping, everyone's waiting around the side and they walked him in through the front of the Ed Sullivan. Not even uh, after, street. while the show was taping, they, oh, okay. they got him in and then they put him in what's called a secret green room. There's an article online about the whole damn thing. They flew say- Oprah in separately. They flew Leno in separately. Leno walked in, like Jimmy said, with a hoodie and a fake mustache. I don't know how they hid that fucking head of his, but no, they did it. No good deed goes unpunished, man. And and what I mean by that, oh, Conan, for having his fucking integrity, is on the outside <laughs> looking in. Right. That's, wh- that's what I'm saying. <laughs> fucking Leno, who just... Yeah, I know that's your boy, Norty, but it, it's just... What the fuck, man? But he did what he should have done. They offered him the show back, and he took it back. It's they not never what he should have done. Sure it is. Mm-hmm. Why not? It's not what Are you going to step aside for somebody someday? I might if I have a zillion When you're still on top? I might have. How, how do you step aside if you're still on top? I, I don't give a shit about the money why part. Why did he leave 1130 anyways? He was, he was forced to. He was forced to five they years ago. forced him to leave five years ago. 2004. They, they came to Jay, and they said, in 2009... Because Conan was going to leave for it on the network. So they said, don't leave. We'll give you the Tonight Show in 2009. So Jay's number one. They say, you're leaving in 09. He goes, okay. And then he acts like he wants to retire. And Conan gives the same phony line. Like, hey, I'm going to be patient. They both gave the company line. He was forced out. Well, I'll tell you what. And, and he was still number one. That's five the years problem. seems like a long time when they tell you. Five years, you go, ah, it's five years. Ah, it's so far down the road. And then all of a sudden, it hits you. And, and five years goes by, and you're like, wait, I don't want to leave. It more hits Fuck you that you're still number one in the yeah, time yeah, you leave. Exactly. Conan, there's a lot of people that have took that 1205. Yeah, I think Conan should have fucking hung in there. I, I'm, I'm, I think glad, that that he, I'm glad he, he made the. I think he made the right move is take none and take less. But like at the end of the day, that move it's is the right move if he shows up somewhere else. In the context of this business, the right move is always the wrong move. And and Fox isn't you know jumping up and down saying we're definitely going to you know uh, oh, uh, hire Conan. Yeah, they might not. I they're, mean, they're uh, starting to talk about well, we'd like to, but we're not sure if we could. Uh, that could be a negotiating tactic. Yeah, we'll though. see. Can we make mm-hmm. money? That's good. Th- 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 can we make money off him? We don't know if we can make money off him. You know, that's that's just negotiating. But wasn't the the Leno Letterman thing just nothing? No emotion, Patrice. The the Leno when, Letterman when you saw it like holy shit how the fuck they get this no because they they fucking they per, they for sale I don't what's the, the, the like okay I'm not being a, what, a douche about it but what is the shocking thing that any of them would have fuck well I don't, there's a dignity call there they oh just, no I don't give a shit about any of that stuff the fact is that these guys haven't been seen together in fucking twenty some odd years man because no one offered the correct well, money I, I to get put it. them together I get that part of it but I'll it be honest like, I wow. wonder if this was a big money thing or if this, I think Leno probably did it because his image took a beating and this is a way for both of them to go like alright the bullshit is done and I'm sure Letterman in, in some way took a beating for it because he where, said some oh, where does Oprah stuff. come in she's like a honey child she's a better uh, woman the she, bre- she breastfeeds no, no, no. both of them. No. I, don't, I don't get it. <laughs> you, no, you're missing the obvious. You're missing the obvious. Two or three years ago, Letterman and Oprah did this type of commercial. Yeah, the same one, but so they're kind of going back to that theme. Oh, they did. And they added Leno. Oh, well, that was oh, forgettable yeah, yeah, yeah. then, because who the hell remembers that? Yeah, it was just Oprah and uh, Dave see. checking out the Super Bowl. Was together. it Chicago in the Super Bowl or something? Is that why? I was don't it? remember. The, Chicago, Indianapolis. Am I wrong? I don't remember to be honest with you. Oh, it might have been the last time the Colts ran because yeah. 
Letterman's got that uh, Indianapolis angle yeah. to the whole guy. Uh, yeah, thing. he's a Colts fan. And someone asked, oh, here's the original. I want the Colts, but we... What year? You want the Bears? Oh, I want the Colts, but we okay, both win because we're in love. Honey, don't talk with your mouth full. I'm oh, sorry. Say, wow. That's a takeoff on that. And, she, and, and uh, she didn't stop eating chips after that commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, did she get big? Yes. Wasn't there a, a thing like that can they we, didn't like each one? other? Yeah, Back they, then they were that. That's kind of why that worked, I guess. That's right. They had a little issue at the time. Yeah. They and had then an you issue saw that. and um, the Oprah Uma thing that he but, did what was, during the uh, here's Academy this Awards. But too. someone asked yeah. what this commercial was for. Was it for Dave's show? Late was Letterman it Doritos? Show. Was it for CBS? What it was, was it for? Leno and Letterman, really. It was. It was for Letterman. Letterman, technically, but it yeah, promoted yeah. both of them. This is the worst Super Bowl party ever. Now, Dave, be nice. Oh, he's just saying that because I'm here. No, oh, he's just saying that because I'm here. I think they could have wrote it a little better. Yeah, Anybody? right. Right, wrote something. I mean, you got the, you got those two guys together. I mean, it was good, obviously. That everyone's talking about, but I think they could have got another line or two in. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I wonder if they talked at all. And dude, you know, we don't have real friends in this business. We know a lot of the Letterman people. You know, Letterman people and Leno people, and not not one of these fucking guys giving us a little hint that this was going. I down. bet you none of them knew. I bet you Jay's people mm. knew. Jay's a smart dude. That's why he fucking is where he is. He's not a blabbermouth. He knows when to keep his mouth shut. They probably just flew him in, went in, shot, and left. Mm. He's not a dope. He doesn't have to call people. And go guess what I'm doing? Right. And they did. And that's Twitter exactly. Is. <laughs> the commercial took 20 minutes to film, and then they were out of there. Yeah, they were fucking out. But of I it. wonder if they talked, if they, they shook were, hands, or if they just stay uh, away from each other. A little pleasantries, not much though. You think? Yeah, th there's a whole article on it. Slight pleasantries. Slight pleasantries. Very professional, they said, and they did their thing, and that was it. They didn't hang around and fucking have a cigar together either. <laughs> and you don't give a fuck. None of us give it. Like, yeah. <laughs> like after you watch it, you go. You know, gives a fuck. It's like people go, oh my god, I can't oh. believe they're together. But you just go, who gives who cares? that? Shit? I like the ass. Cares. I like the fact that it came out of nowhere. If they because it's down. so hard to keep a, anything a secret in <clears> entertainment. <throat> so for this, it was like, holy crap! I like if they would impressive pan down and Oprah's just giving both of them a hand job. <laughs> I would like that a lot. <laughs> both hands out, just yeah. jacking them off. <laughs> I wonder if Conan wasn't allowed to do it. <laughs> Probably. I bet you they reached out to him. I bet you. No, they douched him off. They probably got a little, uh, yeah, he can't do shit for, that's why you haven't seen him. He's a ratings loser. He, and they just he walked off, off with 40 million or whatever it was, and that, but that also means you can't talk for a while. That's why you haven't seen Conan. He'll be back uh, a couple of years and on Fox. Not even a couple. He's allowed to start back up uh, six, seven months from now. Jimmy Kimmel tore into Leno. I, I love that oh, shit. Yeah. I fucking love that, man. Oh, he, he was just being a dick. But I, I, love the fact that, I love the fact that Jay allowed it. That was a pre taped piece. They could have said, you know what, fuck that. We're not all right. that. <clears throat> Fair enough. I mean, if, if Jay's a guy that's taking all this attack in stride, I'll, yeah, I'll fucking, I'm down with him. You know, yeah, he that. seems to. He, he must just look at, like, think of all his cars in his bank account. And, and guess go, who's going to make fuck out, you. <laughs> out of everybody? Jeff Zucker. He'll get a promotion <clears throat> after f just fucking it all up. <laughs> exactly. Jeff Zucker will fucking, he fails all the way to the top. They all, it's, it, that's he'll be just God management. next year. The next, his next debacle, he'll be right under God. He'll be Jesus' yeah. assistant. <laughs> fucking around like it, 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 he does nothing but bad things ever since uh tartikoff is gone yeah M yeah nbc selling uh their, their uh comcast is buying nbc yeah and they're buying comcast is not buying it for nbc nbc is part of this whole big conglomerate mm -hmm, yeah and, and it's like okay we, we have to buy it uh, we gotta take but this they're too. buying it for usa bravo mm -hmm. That those companies make more money, of course, yeah. than fucking NBC. And I'll bet you Comcast is why the whole shakeup took place because Leno had two years guaranteed. I'm sure Conan had a couple years guaranteed as Tonight Show host. But when NBC, when Comcast came in, I, I guarantee you that was them going, no, no, this is how it's going to be, and that's why Zucker changed it. Hmm. Fucking <laughs> management can fuck up royally, and they and never just get fired. Their jobs. Everyone else gets their fucking head cut off and thrown out of the building, of and management just goes, "Well, all right, let's try this." <laughs> and it just end up oh. so well with a package. <laughs> uh, I'm just playing for this for Jimmy because he kind of was part of the Jay Leno 10 o'clock show. Kind of. How many appearances did you do, Jimmy? Six I, or seven? It was ten or eleven. You did ten or eleven of those? Total, yeah. I did, I think, five of the uninvited guests and uh, wow. at least five of the other. It may have been eleven. I'm not sure. Wow. Well, and I had a couple more scheduled. One was canceled. because They did just switch the segment because of the Haiti benefit. And one because 
I found out why they moved it because Jay didn't do a show because he flew in and did a commercial. Right. So there was no show. The there. famous commercial with Letterman and uh, Oprah. Yes. Well, he ended the ten o'clock show. Yes. And uh, this is how he ended it. And I'm playing this because you just didn't you, you didn't know how he ended. I did not. I, I did DVR, but we wound up watching Lost last night. Right. And Bob Levy, I think, is ready for his uh, Jim Norton story. He's telling one every hour for us today to help us through the Snow Day show. Uh, here we go, though. This is Jay from last night. Jay? Yes, yes. A satellite feed coming in from New York for you. A satellite feed from, from New York for me? Oh, it's probably one of my Hollywood friends, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, let's see who it is. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's Donald Trump. Donald, how are you? Donald Trump. Oh, very nice. Do you know what's coming, Jimmy? Do you know what's coming yet? Um, <laughs> Do you know what's coming? I think... The end of the Jay Leno show and Donald Trump on the satellite feed? Do you know where this is going? Any ideas? <laughs> um, He's probably going to wish him well. Uh-huh. And say good luck. Uh huh. Back at eleven thirty. There you go. Oh, very nice. How you doing, Bill? I just wanted to tell you. I just wanted to tell you that your bosses and. Oh my God. He wants to make sure he does it right. <laughs> Had to say it twice. Just want to tell you. Just want to tell you. I'm guessing. I just wanted to tell you that your bosses at NBC have asked me to pass along a special message to you, Jay. Oh. You know why? Because they don't have the... What's the special message, Jimmy? What could it be? It's probably going to be, uh, do the best job you can. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Let's see if you're right. Wouldn't it be funny if he said, leave Jim Norton off the new show? <laughs> oh, no, you know why? Because be they don't have the guts <laughs> to do it themselves. <laughs> well, what? what is the special message? You're fired. Fired. Thank you. Thank you, Donald Trump. Couldn't get him a better guy. <laughs> I think he realized he was running out of breath, though. Like, that's why he did it twice. Your bosses. Yeah. He probably, had to, he probably had to swallow and redo it because he didn't want to run out of steam. Your bosses wanted me to. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to get yeah. enough air behind him. He didn't even have any energy behind it. Hey, uh, where's E Rock? Is he ready to try out to be the extreme weatherman? He better be. All right, go see if he's ready to try out. Or else the we can give man. Donald's message to him. That's right. <laughs> and, You're uh, fat. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, Leno, I want to know what, you know, if anyone saw Leno and how I, was it? It was his first day back. Do we have any of the audio? And also, do we have any of the, uh, I want to see what the new stage looks like. I want to see if it's the same or, cause I know they made certain changes. Right. But I don't know exactly how much they changed visually. Uh, I heard the stage was different. Is it is, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not all in yet. I had to, I had to go to bed early, get some sleep, so I didn't get to see the, the Leno. Here. I canceled my spot last night. I just had to go over a line. I have a lot of lines today. What's the audition for? Just some guy who's involved in a kidnapping, but I just had to, you know, I wanted to be, as they say, off book oh, for it. Very good. We're, here comes Sam. Sam, you know anything about Leno? He doesn't. He's taking his time. I know. He's just meandering. Sam, I'm not 100%. You can't take your time. Yeah, today. Sam. I'm sorry. And the boss needs you, and you're yeah, fucking lo lollygagging. I can't hear you. We're all tired of it. Oh, did you see Leno? Yeah. And? It was good. It was like, uh, it, it was more, it wasn't like a spectacular rebirth, but it was kind of like continuing on what he had started. It was the Tonight Show right. that I kind of remembered. What did the, uh, what did the set look like? Uh, it, it looked like a, a little bit of a combination, like the the front of the stage area kind of looked like the Jay Leno show stage area, but ev the other stuff had changed. The background had, had changed. It was like a hardwood looking background, Ooh, and the desk is back and yeah, everything. Yeah. And I pr I actually preferred the, the, that Tonight Show set he had because just as a comic, the construction of it, the new Jay Leno show set was was it was a, an amazing room. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a TV studio. It's it's you know, fucking a masterpiece, but it was a little long. And you'd come out to perform, and you were right by Eubanks and the band, and you were kind of stage left. And there was a garage set up all the way stage right for the bands to perform, like the special guests. And it was just, it was a very long, because Jay would do the monologue right in the middle, which is perfect. But off to the side was a little, a little uh, strange. Yeah, I prefer oh, being in the middle. God, I hope, I hope it gets a little bit of a buzz. Did you hear about Conan O'Brien? What? God, I know he had 200,000 Twitter followers. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 200,000 in the first day. Signs up for Twitter. 
two hundred thousand. Now it's well over that. But well, his 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 people are very like they're younger. I think in, in some areas than Jay's, and they're probably very. They're all computer guys. You know, I mean, they they understand Twitter, and that's what they do. Well, I hope Jay gets a buzz on his uh, comeback here. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fun. It's too early to tell, I guess. Uh, I'm meaning too early today. Yeah, people are still just waking up and shit. First few weeks, people will check it out out of curiosity. Oh, what's he doing? You know, it's and then it's, that's it, when they said it. You know, then. That's when the real ratings will be important because sure. the first two weeks is, like you said, curiosity. People are just going to check it out. I think he'll be fine. Dr. Phil about Leno on late night calls him a boob. A boob. Yeah, let's hear that because I didn't hear that. I didn't hear it. A boob. A boob. Well, Leno is sixty today. Yes, Big six zero. Wow. Happy birthday to Jay. Big <clears throat> birthday for Jay. Yes, this went down with Letterman. How did you make it through all these late night wars with everybody? This was like a bird nest. I loved it. Oh you, right? no, I loved it. I thought it was very exciting because uh, you're it, like, don't y'all get over and kick the out of each yeah, other? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was it was a great fun. And then uh, and then Jay, I love Jay uh, summing the whole thing up. Yeah, yeah, well, we both got screwed. And uh, <laughs> I said, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, Jay. You both got screwed. Yet you're the only one that ended up with a show. How did you get screwed exactly? Oh, no, he got. He got a bum rap in this deal. I think he got a bum rap. In no, he got everything he deserved. And I like Conan. <laughs> Believe me, he got everything uh, he deserved. I, got, I like Conan as well. But, I mean, come on, are we really going to go home and cry? Everybody's making $30 million a right. year. Yeah, well, I mean, I so you got to go to a different studio. Yeah, but it was, it was good fun, and, and I couldn't get enough of it, and I wish it was still going on. <laughs> yeah. And I, I love Jay saying, yeah, yeah, well, you know, I, my show got canceled, too. Yeah, but you got you got your old show back, you know. It was just hilarious. God, I'm sorry I asked. I didn't know you had saw this pen up. No, but it was fun because I've, I've known Jay it. since 1975, and he, uh, when we first met, and we're hanging around, and everybody loved Jay because he's so funny, he's so so engaging, so compelling. You can't not love him. But then there's also this other side of him where, and and I think he would own up to it. He's just a complete boob. <laughs> he, just, he can't he can't help himself. Yeah. He can't help himself, and uh, it's just a lot of fun now that we were able to see. Oh, here's the Jay we all remember. Yeah, no, there's room for everybody. We'll all get a show in the morning. Now we both got screwed. Now we both got canceled. I like working on cars. Yeah, Conan, <laughs> Conan likes working on his hair, you know. I... Oh, my God. Holy shit. He's been uh, working on that Leno oh, impression. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like Letterman. I think he's really funny, but I kind of wish that he would be really honest about what bugs him about Leno. Which is that he had Leno on his show, and he <laughs> helped him, and now Leno kills him. This guy would annoy him. That would annoy me. If I had a guy on my show, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden he took the job that I thought was mine, and then killed me in the ratings, that's what all of it's about. That would be annoying. Everybody knows that. Gather. Yeah. Yeah. You want to you smash Leno? Beat him. Yeah. Or anybody. Anybody. Anybody who doesn't like anybody. Beat him. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm working my <laughs> work on my cars. <laughs> I work on my cars. They uh, have known each other for a long fucking time, sure man. Yeah. Long time. I want to congratulate Rape Kit. You just uh, mm. spent an hour on hold officially. It just went past the hour mark there, sir. What do you got for oh, the show? Thank you. Thank you. I feel so relieved to finally get on the air. All That's right. From space. Harlem, Rape Kit. What do you got, buddy? Uh, well, I just wanted to uh, shed some light on the uh, Conan O'Brien 60 Minutes thing. I, I know that you guys, especially you, it seems, Opie, doesn't like to, uh, don't want to talk about it, but I... Wait, wait, I I'm, I'm not admitting defeat, by the way. I just don't get it. I, I just don't, I don't, I just don't get it anymore. Well, that's why... I I'm not I seeing it Conan's <laughs> way. I don't think I'll ever see it Conan's way, but I'm officially saying I just don't get it. Well, listen, I don't even like Conan O'Brien or Leno for their shows, to be honest with you. I only watch when there's milestones, like when Jimmy's on or, you know, the last episodes of, you know, when they were going off the air on the respective previous shows they had. Right. So, I mean, I'm like, yeah, I watch Colbert and, and Daily, Daily Show and shit like that. So I, I think that my opinion is, you know, it doesn't have any bias to it. And when you watch Conan last night, he was basically reiterating what people wanted to hear from him from his mouth because he wasn't he was forced not to say a word after he got let go i mean he was on a, a, a no he, he, he contractually well, couldn't say anything until may 1st well i got so, just to stop you for a second that's normal by the way when yeah. a company lets you go uh he he got off lucky we weren't allowed to say something something for over two years yeah, he only wonderful. had what three or four months not to talk yeah 
God, that's right. that's well, a cakewalk. No one's saying that, you know, he, he's obviously, you know, I mean, even he admits that he's, you know, he, he, he laughs at the fact that he got off with $30 million. He already has a new show lined up. Um, but the problem is, is that his expression of, he was so surprised that he worked for a company like NBC for so many years. He started in Saturday Night Live as a writer, and then, you know, he got brought up by Lauren Michaels himself to have his own talk show. He was Jeff's. The one thing I didn't know is Jeff this? Sucker. Conan, Jeff this is your life? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you're yeah, really, you got to get to your uh, point, uh, right, kid. You know, he was born in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> you don't tell us I mean, in real time. Guy, guy <laughs> yeah. You want to talk about, like, you know, has, as far as uh, Leno being a company man, I remember Jimmy saying a lot of times when this happened that Leno was a company man with NBC. Well, Conan O'Brien was a real company man. I mean, he fucking was a Harvard roommate with Jeff Zucker, for crying out loud. Were they roommates? Dude, our classmates. They're a classmates. They're a classmates. They're a classmates. I don't together. think they room so, I mean, together. He, he Could you read his thesis now so, on the so air? So basically, for us? they were classmates. So Zucker obviously really loved Conan, and they were friends. So when Zucker promised him this thing, he probably didn't want to go back on it, even though when time came to do it, it didn't make sense. Mm. I agree with you, Jimmy. You know, I heard all your arguments months ago when this happened, right. and I agree with you that it didn't make sense for NBC to say to Leno, "Look." You're number one, and in five years, it doesn't matter. We're still going to take you off the air. But let's look at things in reality and perspectives. These guys are high-priced high entertainers, and they have very good agents, better right. than Bob Eatman, I bet. Yes. And, I mean, you have to look at it that they probably, for, for Leno to let this happen, um, I don't know what the hell's wrong with him, his agent, or NBC. Honestly, dude, force him out like he is the best lawyer. Honestly, he is one of the best lawyers, if not the best lawyer in Hollywood. And that's why he's still where he is. He has a great agent. It wasn't. I don't personally don't think it was a piece, a point of agents. I think when NBC says we're gonna we're giving this to Conan in five years, <clears throat> NBC is bigger than the agent, and there's nothing the agent can do. This may be true, Jimmy, but you know Leno had. I mean, look, I'm gonna, I'm not saying he should have taken other options. I think what Leno did is fine for what he prefers an entertainer and for somebody who still commands a number one audience. Right. But he did. He did have options. Now but, I'm not saying he necessarily should have taken them. What were they? But like you know. He had options to, to, to get paid a lot of money and leave NBC I, and go and do something else. You know, when they told him, he could have balked and said, fuck you. You don't think I'm still deserving of the show and I'm number one and you're still going to push me off? He could have done that. Or, no, that's what, and that's what Conan's saying. Conan's saying, well, you know, I'm not saying what Jay did was not honorable. I had, I would have done something different maybe, but. Well, wait a minute, though. Or well, how about the option Jay took? Which was not to self-destruct and be stupid and give up what he felt was rightfully his. But how about the option to just continue doing shows and not be a baby about it and, be, and stay number one. And then all of a sudden, instead of being bitter or leaving or whatever, you're now in a position where the network cannot afford to lose you. And, Wait, and that's what, hold on, let, let, hold on, let me, let me finish. You just, dude, hold on, you just talk for five minutes. Let me fucking respond. You just keep, come on, man, you just talk, I'm responding to you. He, so Jay's option was, you gave the option, why did you do this, why did you leave? Well, the option he took was to shut his mouth, stay number one, and then, hey, look, he took the show at 10 o'clock. He probably didn't want to. Conan probably didn't want him there. And then the option was when they offered him the show, he took it back. So right now, he's still the Tonight Show host, and he's number one again. He's number one again. So what's the issue? He, what he did was obviously right. He got, I think, NBC made a terrible decision. And he obviously handled it pretty well because he's back hosting The Tonight Show and he's number one again. I think the only issue that I would have... My, it's mind-bending to me. Well, this is why, yeah, I, this is why I, I give it's up. It's mind-bending to me. I, I don't see it Conan's way, but I officially give up. I give up. You're saying it yourself, Jimmy. I give up. You said, you said that I quote just now. You're like, oh, well, he, you know, he took back what was rightfully his. Yes. Well, yeah, but at the same time, Jimmy, if, if the people he's working for felt that he wasn't working out and they wanted to try something new, then I think Jay, in, in the, in, as far as, you know, his own publicity, he kind of screwed up as far as, you know, taking the, the lesser role at the 10 o'clock slot and basically, and, it was, and, and the experiment and everything, everyone knew that it was way too risky to work because of the fact that nobody is going to watch, you know, Leno at 10 o'clock when his time slot is 11.35 is where the, the audience is. It's like the, when you go to bed, that's where it is. 10 o'clock, nobody's the, watching it. Nobody's then why did they do it? Let me ask you a question. Why didn't they just tell Leno to leave? 
because they wanted to save money, and they knew if they held on to Leno, they would have saved money. They knew he was much more, he had much more value and worth in dollars than Conan O'Brien. And even Conan said it last night in 60 Minutes, that Jay Leno to buy out would be 150, I think it was like $150 million or so, some ridiculous number, whereas Conan O'Brien took $32 million. Yeah, sounds like Jay's agent was pretty good then. Oh, no, <laughs> Fucking 32. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a terrible agent. <laughs> He could have pulled to, to say, you know what, fuck you, you're not going to take me out in five years. And, and, and when he knew that it was impending, it shouldn't have even been an issue. It should have been, you know, it should have been at that point that he drew, drew, drew the line in the sand. Or, why, how come everyone is saying what Jay should have done to be honorable? Why have you not one time implied... Nothing to do with honor. I'm not even talking about honor. Whatever, whatever it is. Honor. All right, whatever it is. Jay should have done this. Jay, why have you not one time... Say what Conan should have done differently. Why have you not said one time, hey, you know what? Maybe Conan should have taken the quote unquote high road and seen that Leno was still number one and said, you know what? This should not be my slot right now. Aha! How come one person hasn't said that? Well, All you're saying. For the same reason, for the same reason Jimmy, that it's it, because it, of how it turned out. If it turned out that Jay Leno got the raw end of this deal in the end, as far as, you know, getting pushed out of NBC. I probably would be calling, and it would probably be Jay on, on, on the No, you on, wouldn't, on, dude. On, on you you would not. He'd probably be the one getting the highlight. Here's what would happen. If Jay went across the street to ABC, he would have fucking beaten up uh, Conan, and uh, that would have cost him. It would have hurt NBC a lot, so they kept him there. Personally, and I've never, he's never said this to me. It's, a, it's something I've always felt. I personally think one of the reasons he took that spot was because he knew that if Conan didn't do well, he was still at the network. And I firmly believe that, and I've never said that to him. I doubt he'd admit it, but I mean, that's personally my feelings, is that uh, he's not a dummy, dude. And uh, he might have on some level thought, if Conan doesn't do well, I'm right here to take back my show. Why should he, like, like we've all had management make dumb decisions. And hard, imagine working all those years and giving up every f five days a week. You're constantly working. You're an animal. You're fucking doing it. You're number one. And then management just comes and takes it away. Do you know how frustrating that is? To, to yeah. fight for that long and, and be loyal for that long, and you're still doing your job, and they come and take it from you, and then you're like, fuck that, I don't want this cocksucker in management, because he doesn't want to admit he's wrong, take my gig. So he stuck it out at 10 o'clock, knowing that, number one, that he's still good enough to be a number one slot at 11.35. Number two, well, he yeah. knew it was... Yes, he was he number one when he left, so he knew that why show wouldn't he think immediately. that? He knew that show was a failure from the get-go, Jimmy. No, I don't, I don't think he did because it had never been done before. I don't, look, dude, nobody goes into a show like that and knows they're going to fail. I mean, everybody has an ego. Leno's set for life. Uh, believe me, he didn't go in there thinking, oh, good, we're going to fail and get the Tonight Show back. I think that he thought if Conan didn't do well, he was still there. That's just my guess. Uh, All right, Red Kid, right. that's I mean, it. Man. But he's number one again, that's dude. It. He's it's like, I don't get how people can... Yeah, I, Jesus Christ. This is turning into uh, arguing about abortion. <laughs> so, right, well, you know what I mean? Guys, you're never going to change the other guy. And guys I want someone to give opinion. me the, the lead in. The, the, uh, the, the bigger lead in. Let's, let's go to Joe in Las I Vegas. We'll just have Joe. to agree that he's a douche. Joey. What's going on, guys? Hey, Joe. I was wondering why you guys aren't really into Conan that much. I mean, you guys love Jay, but how come you and Jimmy don't make appearances on Conan O'Brien? Well, we were never asked to be on Conan. We, we actually oh, had good. our people approach Conan O'Brien. He has no interest in Opie and Anthony on his show. Maybe Jimmy. I don't know. I can't speak nope. for Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy says nope as well. And this isn't about who's funnier or whose sense of humor you like, like more. I'm, I'm yeah. just looking at the situation, and I don't understand why people don't see it our way. And, and that's fine. It's fine. I, I can't argue it anymore. I, I give up. I, we, I do give up on this argument. I've never been on Conan's show uh, because it got to a point where, and again, it's not Conan. They don't they don't walk up to Conan and go, "What do you think?" It's there's bookers yeah. and stuff. And uh, they got to a point where I had done seven Tonight shows. I had done five stand up and two panel, and they all, all gone very well. And Letterman had booked me twice without making me run through. I mean, you know, Letterman was very cool. They just they said we'd like to see the set. We'll we'll give you a date first. Conan's people, the guy who booked his comedy, wouldn't give me a date until I auditioned for him. And my manager even said, because I, 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 I told him all along, the guy booking for Conan does not like me. And I know he doesn't like me. And I'm not going to audition for him. If Seven Tonight Shows isn't enough for him to go, yeah, you can come on and do stand-up, 
And then I would have showed him the set. It was like a principal thing. So, uh, but I don't think that had anything to do with Conan personally. Did a woman come out from back and hand you the tape back and just go, we like some of your stuff. It's ve uh, your one-liners are very strong. But we think you need more time in the comedy clubs. That's funny. Uh, that's really like, good. I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait. wait. I'll yeah. wait. Just, uh, did Jerry listen to the tapes? Did Jerry listen? Just sitting there like a douche. Yeah. Doesn't get the fucking hit. All right, Joe. Thank you. Thank All you. Right, guys. Do you guys want to hear Conan? No, sir, you're not on yeah, the I'm list. Yeah, I'm curious sir. what he said. Oh, yes, sir. I'll look at the list, sir. Yes, sir. No, you're not no, on the sir. list, sir. <laughs> you know, he wasn't an actor. All right. Uh, we know. No, yes. No, no shit. He wasn't an actor. <laughs> Worst acting more. job ever. You're not on the list, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to play all these. I'm going to be honest with you. What? So you got Conan did not think they would put Leno back in if he did poorly. Conan says NBC hurried him to make his decision in terms of leaving the show. Conan talks about his non-disclosure agreement. Says he did not. I don't know. All right. We'll start with the first one and see how this goes. Conan O'Brien on uh, 60 Minutes last night. Uh, we're supposed to feel sorry for him. Yeah. He walked away with $32 million and he's got a new deal with TBS. So. Booty who? Less than one year after Jay Leno handed the Tonight Show off, handed the Tonight Show off to Conan O'Brien, NBC decided to cancel Leno's disastrous primetime show Ow. and move him back into his old time period at 11:35 period. Eastern. Conan's Tonight Show, which was losing badly in the ratings to David Letterman, was to be bumped back to 12:05 the next morning. Was it in the back of your mind that look, if I don't do that well, they could just pop Leno back in. I'm a paranoid person. <laughs> and I think uh, I'm the kind of person that can come up with lots of negative scenarios. Uh, but I remember thinking that seemed like a that was a stretch, even for me. He sounds gay when you just hear his audio. His voice sounds gay. Jesus. Just an observation. People also have to remember he didn't get fired. He did leave. And again, they, I think they yeah. squeezed him out. But he actually could have kept The Tonight Show at 12.05, and he could have stayed well, and then really forced them to do something that was obvious if they had to. Uh, yeah, they were squeezing him out. I think so, too. Um, they wanted to save the money, so they're like, you know what? You could stay there, knowing that he would be kind of bummed about that and possibly would like want to negotiate it now. Yep. Or he would have stayed there for long. They finally would have said, all right, beat it, stupid. Scram. Yeah. So, And I don't mean stupid in a bad way. I don't need the Conan fans calling now. Yeah. I actually like Conan. I, I really have no uh, bad feelings towards the guy at all. I mean, I he like, seems like a nice enough dude. And I think he did it a bad deal. I, I do like his humor. I think, I was telling Anthony, we were discussing this before the show, I think when he got The Tonight Show, he had to make a decision if he was going to go mainstream or not, and he decided not to. And I think that hurt him. Yeah. He's a funny guy. He will do very well at TBS, absolutely. But when you get the Tonight Show, I think you got to sacrifice uh, some uh, uh, credibility, whatever, uh, how you want to put it, and, and go a little more mainstream. And he wasn't really willing to do that. Yeah, he's a little more niche. That was the decision he made. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work out in his favor. His ratings were horrendous after six months. The two guys that are angriest at, Con at, at, at Jay are Letterman and Conan. They're both guys who, are, have, who have the same job Jay does. Yeah. They're both great at it. And they both want to host the show Jay had. It's so <laughs> obvious to me, like, why they're annoyed at him. Yeah. It's almost like, it's like, it's like being annoyed that, that Howard has a bigger studio. Because it's, it's a bigger studio. It'd be nice to be in that studio. Wouldn't it? But you know what I'm saying? It's like the same thing. It's so obvious as to why you'd be annoyed. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't blame Letterman. I'd be annoyed too. Right. Yeah. What yeah. followed were some unpleasant discussions with NBC's West Coast Brass. It just felt like the tone went very quickly from... Take your time. We understand this is a tough decision to, um, you know, let's go. You know, and that probably helped me a little bit feel like, you know what, this environment doesn't feel right. And I've been with these people a long time, and I don't like, I really don't like the way this is going. And when it started to get toxic and I started to feel that I'm not sure these people uh, people even really want me here. Let's just, let's just, I can't do it. Do you think they wanted you to leave? Uh, yeah, that's crossed my mind. Um, I don't know how thought out this whole thing was, but if they wanted me to leave, it worked. <laughs> See, he chose to leave in the end. Why didn't they just... If, if everybody wants to talk about why didn't Co Jay just leave, why didn't, <clears throat> why didn't Conan just go, you know what, let's just stop this mess. The whole thing was a mistake. 
Jay at 10 was a mistake, me at the Tonight Show. Let's just go back to doing what we were great at. Mm -hmm. Why well, would that? Because it would have been a little ego defeating. Well, I was going to say, because you mentioned earlier that we all have egos. That's a, that's a, that's a tough one to swallow if you're Conan O'Brien to admit that it didn't work and go back to 1230. I, I, I don't see it that way. But why, uh, That would be rough. But it's like it's people are so fast to say, why didn't Jay just move on to greener paths? And no, not one of those people says, why didn't Conan just go, fuck it, man, it's not working out. Jay was actually killing in this spot. Let me go back to 1230. And he'll go, like, what was the big deal about that? Nah, he probably it, wanted more time. They probably told him they were going to give him more time. And then when things were bombing, yeah. they went back to, you know, but that's that's fucking corporate world, man. Yeah. That's what you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. How embarrassing is it for Jay? Five months and done. I mean, that's embarrassing for him too. People think he came out. He didn't come out smelling like a rose. No. No thanks to me. Steven that is not disparaging the green. Do you have a copy? Because I haven't read it in a while. Um, I, I have keep a copy one in, somewhere. In I my keep bag. one in my wallet. Stop whining. <laughs> Stop whining. <laughs> funny. Stop it. Stop it. People come up to me. Hey, so what's the deal with uh, with Jay Leno? Hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> He's a fine and good man. <laughs> there we go. Put that away. Can I assume that this interview would take a different tenor if that agreement did not exist? No, it, I don't think it would. The biggest thing people come up and say to me in gas stations and restaurants, I have so many people say this to me. Hey, partner, you got screwed. I don't, and I always tell them, no, I didn't. I didn't get screwed. I'm, I'm fine. It just, it didn't work out. Well, you did get screwed. You think I got screwed. <laughs> well, I think most people think you got screwed. I mean, Jay Leno thinks you got screwed. Jay Leno thinks he got screwed. How did he get screwed? <laughs> <laughs> like that part to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Jay's screwed. got the Tonight Show. I have a beer and an inflatable bat. And I'm touring city to city. Who can say who won and who lost? <laughs> Holy shit, I'm laughing because crying would be sad. But he he's not whining, though. I'll say that. He's really not. I he's, mean, he's trying to make jokes. Yeah, well, he's not he's whining because he now has a deal at the end of the road. Fucking, yeah. you know, he's like, woe is me in that statement. But he doesn't mention, well, I, I did get $32 million to grow this right. beard and go on tour and with my inflatable, what was it, a bat? A bat. He forgot to mention the $32 million that yeah, he, yeah. he How received about that? as, as a uh, walking away thing. And, uh, and, yeah, Jay got screwed initially. He was basically told to leave his number one sl slot. Are we done with this audio or do you want to continue? I just, I, I'm only yeah. saying play it because it's fair because it's like, you know, Leno Has got Has Jay out. reached out to you? No. No calls? No, I do not, I do not think I'll be hearing from him. We should get him in here. We should. Is he, is he gonna? Is there gonna be a surprise walk on? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, but he'd call if we. If you know his number, or we can. I'm sure he'd come over. Uh, he may have caller ID. <laughs> he won't pick up. I, I think he, Leno would say, uh, "Look, I was riding high. I was number one, and um, I was still number one when I left. And Conan made this deal with NBC, and NBC said." Okay, Jay, we're going to take you off the air in five years, regardless of whether you're number one or number two or what. Did he? Mm -hmm. I think he felt like he was forced out by NBC at a time when he was uh, a strong number one and was pushed out the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's his argument. It's hard for me to get inside his head and argue his side of this whole thing. Um, Deflect. I Deflect. Deflect. I was well, here's what I can say. That's a great question, Conan. Go I'm ahead. happy with my decision. I sleep well at night, mm -hmm. and uh, I, you know, um, hope he's happy with his decision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, uh, Jimmy. Uh, That's why I give up on the argument. My hands are up in the air. Exactly. It's like that really was a good question. A great question. That's what Jay really does feel. That was the point I had at least been making. I think anyone who's like kind Ex of felt explain, Leno got a bad rap. Explain why Jay shouldn't feel that way, Colin. Yeah. You're right there. And with 60 Minutes, explain why Jay shouldn't feel that way. Right, and that question right there. That is the question. Could have wrecked every argument I've had. Because if there was something contractually <laughs> that I didn't know about, or something, whatever I didn't know about, but... That was the question of the interview. Right? That was the question right there. How, why should Jay not feel that he was forced out? Right. And you deflected and just kind of moved on from the, a yep. really good question. W why shouldn't Jay feel that way? You had your, your shot right there. Like, like, let's be honest. Why not just come out and go, look, maybe he should feel that way, but I wanted it. 
my agent was able to get it for me, mm -hmm. and that's that. I mean, that probably would have been the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Jay lobbied for this? I don't know, but um, what I know is what happened, which is that he uh, went and took that show back. Do you believe he acted honorably during all of this? Uh, I don't. I don't think I can answer that. I don't think. Uh, um, I can just tell you maybe how I would have handled it, and I would do it differently. You wouldn't have come back on the Tonight Show. Had I, if I had surrendered the Tonight Show and handed it over to somebody publicly and wished them well, um, and then uh, I don't would not have come back a couple, uh, six months later. But that's me, you know. Um, everyone's got their own, you know, way of doing things. What would you have done? Uh, done something else. Go someplace else. Uh, come on. <laughs> done something else. Go someplace else. Okay. Come on. Cool. Would you? But you sort of pushed George Lopez to a later fucking slot. You think, yeah. And George, I guess, is a different person. He, uh, come on. Yeah, he, you know... I, I, there's no way George Lopez is sitting there going, yeah, I'll, 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 you know, I'll take the audience that I've built up since uh, right. feeling good uh, about the show, the show where I'm at, and oh, Conan wants to come here, yeah, no problem, I'll move, yeah, I'll, a little I'll, bit. I'll step aside. No, no, when you're talking about egos, no, I'll be the good Mexican. No, he I must guess? have a non-disparagement thing though. The media was like he bashed Leno. He didn't bash Leno at all. That wasn't bashing Leno. He probably has a non-disparagement thing in his in his, his contract you can't trash them because he's not bashing anybody conan's gonna have lopez deported i hear <laughs> he's actually gonna have him thrown out of the country wonderful I'm gonna do a live broadcast from arizona and hope yeah for the best. yeah and just watch him get arrested <laughs> and thrown over the fucking wall <laughs> has zucker called you no um you haven't talked to zucker since this offer was made to you that's right you know at some point i'm sure i'm gonna bump into these people and, you know, I'm not sure we're going to be, have our arms around each other and drinking beer and singing old Irish fight songs. Because I don't think they know any. But, uh, <laughs> but um, you know, I, I wish, this is just, I'm crazy, I do wish these people well. Zucker, uh, Jeff Zucker was quoted as saying, at the end of the day, the viewers voted. And they didn't like Conan as the host of The Tonight Show. Can I take back what I just said? <laughs> right. You take that's, issue with that. That's funny. In my opinion. I don't think that's fair or accurate, but he's entitled to his opinion. I think for anyone to say that the results were in after six months, uh, that doesn't ring true to me. Oh, they said that the, for the first time in history, The Tonight Show was losing money. Um, I don't see how that's po I honestly don't see how that's possible. It's really not possible. It is impossible. All right, two things. First of all, it's not impossible. They were used to making a certain amount of money when Jay Leno had The Tonight Show, and that number was way down. So to them, they were losing money. Technically, they probably were uh, making money, but losing money from where... They were used to being, if that makes sense, right? Yeah, but I think they expected that. I don't think they expected right. Conan to come in and take up exactly where Jay left off. He was right. number one. Right. I don't think they expected but, that big a drop off. Though. But I think it was a yeah, it, it was a big enough drop off where everyone got nervous. Like we are losing money from where we were, and more than we thought we would lose. Five months though, six that months is, or six months. That's yeah. like. That's brutal. <laughs> I was I was going to go the other way with it. I think uh, f uh, he said six months. I think six months is an eternity when you're talking about network fucking oh, TV. Yeah, but when you're trying to build a fucking talk show. Well, you, but it wasn't building. You had a guy that was with the company for many, many years. That, uh, many of the people were already familiar with Conan, what he had to do. Mm. If it was a brand new guy, then I would understand. Yeah. But they already knew what Conan was capable of doing when they moved him down. I think that's the so. Big that's why yeah. I think six fucking months was in the eternity in this situation. Mm. For a new guy, not so much. I agree with you, but someone like Conan, who was with the company a very long time. Yeah, Jay was a new guy when he came in. So people like you get to know him. Do we like this guy? Do we not? But I think Conan has been famous enough where everybody knew whether they liked Conan or didn't like Conan. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Again, who the hell knows?
And that said, Loser. executives like that. It was. It is oh, NBC. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's where everyone's in agreement. <clears throat> NBC really fucking dropped the ball big time in this yeah. whole situation. You got thirty million dollars that you didn't have before. You got a a, a very lucrative new uh, gig on TBS, which has mm -hmm. a. An audience that uh, very is young audience, custom made for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I, it, George Lopez wasn't all bad. George That's Lopez. the point I keep making. George it's Lopez. crucial to what me. About George Lopez. That right. what about George Lopez? Anyone seeing this take, they take anything away from this. It's I'm fine. Uh, is George Lopez. Uh, I'm doing great. Is George Lopez. Um, I hope people still find me uh, comedically absurd and ridiculous, and. Um, I and I don't regret anything. I do believe, and this might be my Catholic upbringing or Irish magical thinking, but I think things happen for a reason. I really do. I thought the Lutherans believed that. Oh my God, it is Lutherans. <laughs> okay, I believe that if I experience any joy in life, I'll go to hell. That's what I believe. <laughs> All right. I officially give up, though. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, I really You've do. Given up? I'm not, it's I official. I don't agree with Conan's uh, side or whatever, but I, I just give up on this argument. I'm done with it. Is Mike Baker calling in? After the break. Yes. Okay. Ooh. He's all set up for after the good, break. Good, good, so. good. So that's it with the Conan J thing. Good, uh, good luck to everybody. I say, <laughs> keep it nice, guys. Keep it, uh, keep it fair, nice. You know, I mean, people, cordial. People are backing their guy. That's fine. Ah, I get it. I get. You know. I know. If you're a Conan fan, I get it. You're gonna back your guy. Yeah, to argue it is silly. Even people in my, are just gonna, they're not gonna change their mind. No one's gonna change their mind. Even in my private thoughts, like you know, people think Ooh. I'm just stumping for Jay. I literally can't. I can't comprehend how people see it another way. And it's mm. not even just because I want Leno to hear that. I, even when I'm alone with my fucking misery, I cannot comprehend it. Yeah. It's just, I don't get it. Mm. Yeah. All right. Odd situation. Here. <laughs> I want to yes. see how Conan did last night. Conan. I don't know. On the Twitter, people are like, yeah, you know. The Twitter. The Twitter. They're kind of going, yeah, you know. Yeah, they're just kind of giving him a yeah, you know. It's amazing. Oh, the, the guy's uh, off for eight months. They don't give him a break. There was a, <laughs> there was a big buildup to his return. So I think a, a fucking blimp. I think the expectations the was a blimp. were way too fucking uh, large for this guy. Yeah. So, he didn't suck or anything, but they're just saying, yeah, he's back. Okay. I think everyone knew he was back when he was coming back. That's one thing TBS did. They sure the fuck let you know when he was coming back. They advertised the shit out of him. Yeah. But What's does that? anybody care? Advertising, that's weird. Yeah. You know, the big boss down the hall was bragging that we're going to be, you know, be in a serious XM commercial. And I'm like, well, they're finally doing the right thing. All right. And he was really, you remember the yeah. meeting? And he was pushing like, whole, you know, you, yeah. you know, and you guys are going to be part of the commercial. Well, yeah, yeah. You know the commercial ran, and not one person has even commented about it because we're we're just mentioned in in a lineup of everybody oh, yeah? else. I didn't hear that. I thought when they, he said we were going to be in the commercial, we were going to kind of be in the commercial. Really? Not our logo for some people said it was on screen for maybe a half a second. All right, <laughs> that's cool. But he was pushing it like we were in a Super Bowl commercial starring us. <laughs> Ah, what are you going to do? Uh, That's all right. Make, I'll take what, care. What, what are you going to do? You just make fun of it. I know. I'll take care crazy. of it this week. I got Chelsea and I got Leno. I'll take care oh, of it. Oh, yeah. damn. We got Hollywood Jimmy. I'll take care of the advertising. Hollywood Jimmy is leaving us in another day, and then uh, he's doing Chelsea Handler Thursday and Leno on Friday. Ooh. Yeah. And I'm doing Comics Come Home in Boston. Oh, what is that? You are doing Saturday that. night. Can I go? Ooh. Yeah. Stephen Wright's on it. Um, I used to love going to that A lot thing. of very good acts. A lot of yeah. very good acts. Yeah. When did you book that? A while ago. I mean, I wasn't hundred percent sure if I was gonna, you know. That's a strong fucking yeah, it's uh, great show, show every year. We've been to a couple of those. They're fun. Oh yeah, yeah. and they stopped. Uh, they used to tape them and throw them on what Comedy Central or something. Yeah, they put them on something. They should be. They should continue doing that. Mm. I don't know why they don't because the lineups are always great every year. All right, listen, uh, Conan. Uh, here's the return to TV last night. Please, everybody, sit down. Please, please. We don't have. We don't know how much time I'm going to get here, all right? <laughs> that lasted longer than my last job. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much for being here. It is great to finally see you. 
Thank you, and uh, welcome to my second annual first show. That's <laughs> yeah, which one now? Yeah. I know what you guys are thinking. Hey, it's the guy from Twitter. That's what you're thinking right now. <laughs> Wait, you mean you're Kanye West? <laughs> Shut up! I'm excited to be here, and uh, welcome to my new show. It's called Conan. This show is called Conan. People ask me why I named the show Conan. I did it so I'd be harder to replace. Had a while to write it. He's out. Get another Conan. <laughs> Not bad at all, right? Yep. That's pretty some, good. Some strong stuff. And then, uh, oh yeah, he continues with the monologue here. I'm going to be honest, though, it's not easy doing a late-night show on a channel without a lot of money that viewers have trouble finding. <laughs> so that's why I left NBC. Ooh. Ow! <laughs> we added those later. But the yeah, weird yeah. thing is... <laughs> I spent all of our money on an owl machine for this show. Ow. Back after the show, we just add, ow! <laughs> the weird thing is this, though. I put myself and my staff through this crazy huge ordeal. All because I refused to go on at midnight. Okay? <laughs> and so I work, you know, and, and then I get this job at 11. It's supposed to be a big deal. Then yesterday, daylight savings time ended. <laughs> right now, it's basically midnight. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm a moron. We got the summer off. <laughs> good point. Really good point. Now, uh, a lot's happened in the news since I went off the air. And I wanted to cover it all in one joke. Just in one joke. <laughs> Yeah, then I realized that's like trying to keep an Icelandic volcano from wearing Lady Gaga's meat dress while a trapped Chilean miner cleans up the BP oil spill, <laughs> comma, Brett Favre's penis. <laughs> Aside from that type of language, which I don't uh, think is appropriate. No, I don't either. That's funny, man. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, Ricky Gervais taped a message. Oh, good. And I, I guess he, he took a little shot at satellite radio. Yeah. I which mean, is it, a little weird, because uh, when he needs to promote something, he certainly is on the phone with us. <laughs> oh, Bubba, you're never safe with Ricky Gervais. I told you that 10 years ago. <laughs> he gets in your, forget it, he gets in your wheelhouse. Do we know who your we're talking wheelhouse. to yet? Of course you do. What's your name? I told you already. What's your name? Oh, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Ricky Gervais on Conan last night. Tate message. Hi, Conan. Um, I'm really sorry things didn't work out at your last gig, um, but I just wanted to wish you the very best of luck with your new show on TBS. I've got a really good feeling about this one. Good luck. As I'm here, maybe I should sort of bang a few more outs in case you need them down the road. I don't know. Um, Hi Conan, I'm really sorry about what happened at TBS, but um, I'm a huge fan of the Food Network, and I know you're going to be a great fit there. Go get them, buddy. <laughs> okay, one more. Um, hi Conan, you know what? Screw the Food Network. Their loss is Good Morning Dayton's gain. I can't wait to catch you doing the weather next time I'm in Western Ohio. Okay, just one more. Hi Conan, listen. Don't beat yourself up about what happened in Dayton. <laughs> now you're back where you belong, with a new show and a national audience. I will definitely be tuning in, just as soon as I sign up for satellite radio. <laughs> that should um, hold you for another seven months or so. <laughs> if he's lucky. <laughs> it, it, it'd be better on radio, because he's, he's, he, he's sort of got the looks. <laughs> Although his voice is a little bit annoying, so... It's pathetic, really. <laughs> <laughs> fucking funny, man. He is Jesus. funny, but with the exception of the, you know, he's got looks for radio. 
<laughs> Thanks, Nana. <laughs> Nana. <laughs> However, he is brilliantly funny. I know that is one of the like. All right. Yeah, you got a face for radio. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's cool. been around for a while. <laughs> well, I'll tell always, you one thing. Mar- a guy Marconi too. heard that. You don't one. want to get on his bad side, Bubby. I told you uh, that such a long time ago. Conan, Ricky, who knows with all these names? <laughs> Helen Bergeron signing off. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Helen Bergeron. I forgot it was Helen. Oh, God. <laughs> Helen. <laughs> yeah. They want, Kevin from Connecticut wants you to name it uh, Bev Sheckler. <laughs> well, that's good. Kevin can name himself. Kevin can go name one of his shoes for all I give a hood, Bubby. <laughs> <laughs> Helen. Do you realize that Leno is is like the only fucking pu- person who publicly promotes this radio show? <laughs> I, know. Oh. Yeah. I, I love the fucking listeners who hate him. I, I, if you don't like his show because you don't think it's funny, that's one thing. Yeah. But I, I love the fucking venom that certain listeners have. Hey, fuckheads, he's the only one <laughs> who promotes this fucking show. <laughs> you assholes. <laughs> Where's yeah. the? What do you mean the venom? I, again, th- this fucking way. I, I love the people that get mad because Leno decided to say that we are the number one uh, no, I'm show talking on about satellite radio. Our listeners that I don't, I'm not talking about that don't enjoy the guy's show because they don't think it's right, funny. Right, that's right. Just, that's just something oh, that's, you don't like. Yeah, that's I'm funny. talking about the ones that go beyond that uh-huh. and, and really dislike. It's like you <clears throat> dummies. Yeah. He's the only fucking person in show business who loves promoting this fucking radio show. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's kind of sick. Oh, I that you fucking hate some of the listeners. It, it's kind of sick if you're a fan of the show and, and you attack Leno for actually I, trying to support the show. That's insane. He's the only fucking guy who supports the show publicly, you dummies. <laughs> We're not saying you have to like his show, but you got to respect the fact that, you know, when Jimmy goes on there, he doesn't have to say on A or Sirius XM no. or the number one show on satellite radio. Which is embarrassing because, uh, you know, obviously we're not the number one show on satellite radio, but it, it, it's hilarious it's that funny. he does that for us. I love it. <laughs> and then you've got these listeners that claim they're fans of the show beating the shit out of Leno. And again, it, it, it's not about uh, you have to like somebody because they like us. It's not about, I, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. My favorite late night uh, show, Jimmy Fallon. I don't really? Getting more and more into Jimmy You're Fallon. You're digging the Fallon thing. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's figured out his groove, man. He's yeah. he's all right. Yeah, absolutely. Figured out his niche. He's carved his little niche in more than a I'm, niche. Uh, I think he's uh, he's very comfortable in that spot now. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. I watched Jimmy Fallon way more than I ever watched uh, Conan. Yeah. You know, I liked the Conan. I like the uh, Conan bits of old. I haven't seen this new I, show. Yeah, I haven't really tuned in. Yeah, but I'm uh, I'm DVRing uh, Fallon a lot. Yeah, and finding myself really, really uh, enjoying his bits and uh, and what he offers. Wrote no TV, mm. but whatever.